Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John. I'm Claire. That's Ted over there. Claire, you were, it's Claire, Claire said it was spinning round mid-introduction. To, to check che- on to Teddy. To check Ted's there. Ted is indeed over there. This is many a true nerd. And welcome back to Robocop Rogue City, which just won a, a extremely prestigious vote of, of various, like, you know, games that are definitely on my game of the year list, which has been finalised. It's, it's a top 20 this year. Once upon a time, it was top 10. A few years ago, I had to extend to 15. This year has been so bloody good. I think this is the first time ever we've had to extend it to 20. I don't think it's ever been 20 the before. The problem is... Yeah. The problem is you're never going to bring it back down, no, are you? No. Well, maybe, <laughs> no, maybe there'll be a worse year. Next, maybe next year it'll be dreadful. Mm. Maybe next year it'll be absolutely god-awful. It'll be like, you know, it's top five. I couldn't find 10 games I liked. <laughs> Which we'll, we'll just have to do that. And we'll have to go retroactively back and hand out awards to games that, like, you know, mm-hmm. I like even more now than when I first played them. Like Soma. Soma yeah, is yeah. such a good game. I, I always I always liked it, but the more I've thought about it, the more it, it's 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 a great game. That 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 belongs on like in a top list of all time. Soma's a great game. Hey, let's say let's let's okay. We're gonna we're gonna start off today. We're gonna start off today. With okay, okay, one, I'm going to apologise for being late. Uh, the reason that happened was because um, the program I use for streaming has two buttons, and one of them says start streaming, and one of them says start recording. And I pressed the start recording button, then was confused why it wasn't streaming. I didn't re- realise that after a couple of minutes I'd pushed the wrong button, and that's why the streaming wasn't working because I was just recording, just recording a blank screen basically. So I've got a video with nothing on it, like just sitting in the videos folder. That's great. That that's why we're late streaming. Also. I would like very to very professional, John. Okay, very I, I, professional. I would like. I'd like to start off, and I didn't tell Clara I was going to do this. I'd like to start off. Okay, I have. I've made a bet in my head what this is, mm-hmm. and let's see if I'm correct. You're not going to be correct. Okay, go on, go on. I I would like Claire to begin this stream by telling you fine people in the chat precisely what you made us for dinner last night. Oh, I I'd like you, you to share to, this. I thought you were going to make fun of me for being sick the other day. Oh, I could do that I too. Ate too I ate too many biscuits. It's, it's too true. Late Claire, 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 up, Claire, ended up, Claire ended up in bed for an entire day because she ate too many biscuits and stayed up till 3 a.m. Okay, That's... number one, we were both up. You were playing Civ. I was playing Civ 6. That's a legitimate excuse. I'm a professional video gamer. What's your excuse? Well, I was playing the Spelling Bee Word game on. Yeah. on, uh, on... You know, that's like a proper... Anyway, I got Queen clack, Bee. Clack, clack. Very give, important. Give, give, anyway, give us the MasterChef night... introduction, because this, this, this deserves to be shared. This deserves to okay, be shared. Okay, so, just as a, as a... You know we've been watching MasterChef The Professionals, yeah. Yeah. and there was a, a person on MasterChef The Professionals who made a comfy duck waffle yeah. with, like, bits of comfy duck um, inside of a... Waffle and John was like, "Why do you never make me comfy duck waffles?" You know, as he often says when something good comes on MasterChef. Yeah, as as a joke, I don't expect Claire <laughs> yeah, to prepare. Yeah, obviously, a, a, as a you joke, know, I don't actually as a... prepare. Cla- expect Claire, and do not reg- do not resent Claire for not preparing professional quality cuisine as per the finalists of MasterChef, the professionals. Anyway, but then, but then, but then, plot twist. But then I procured some duck legs and some duck fat and fine people I made. I made some sweet potato waffles with some comfy duck legs and some braised red cabbage Mm -hmm. and a little... um, a little mustard and maple syrup and confit onion gravy. Yeah. And mustard and maple syrup gravy. And and confit onion. And yep. we have some confit garlic even. We have some more confit garlic in the fridge, by the way. Yeah. Garlic that was roasted for several hours in duck fat. Yeah, procured on a cardo. That's how it works. Yeah. Anyway, sweet potato waffles. We didn't go out and catch our own duck. No. No, no obviously. Sweet potato waffles. With confit duck, mm-hmm. and like I put some duck fat in the waffle batter, yeah, and some maple as yeah. well, just to tie everything together. Mm-hmm. Anyway, now I have some like roast, some roasted in duck fat duck bones yeah. to add to the next batch of stock that I yeah. make. And let me tell you, it was, it was terrible. So <laughs> she ruined. I don't like. I've never seen the reason I'm telling the story is I've never seen anyone butcher 
such um, beautiful ingredients before. It was honest. It was amazing. It was so good. Tell I tell Claire she should apply to be on the amateur series of the Master Chef. She should apply to you be mean on Master the normal Chef. Master Chef. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, just normal Master Chef, not the professional series. You're yeah. not a professional. You should be. You should apply to that. You've got so good recently. Cooking yourself some really cool fancy shirt. Anyway. Yeah. It was very good. Yeah. And John actually said this was the best thing I had cooked in like 15 years. I think one of. I'm not sure I said duh. Ooh, one I, of. What I else? I believe what I else, said. Keep well, giving me compliments. Well, your pizza in general is spectacularly good. You just make a really yeah, solid I mean, pizza. You yeah, make but a that really doesn't... solid pizza. That doesn't count because I like assembling pizza, but I'm not making pizza because I'm not making like all the components. Mm -hmm. And that is how I like it. One day I might want to make a pizza from yeah. start and make like the like dough and everything. Yeah. But I just really, really enjoy. Yeah, people, the, the, the chat is correct. Basically, because you're like French, it's like how it's like a racial benefit, you like a racial proficiency you get in, in Baldur's Gate 3. Because you're playing as the French character, you gain proficiency in cooking. That's why you're so good at it. <laughs> she's about her, she's about as famous as half of the celebrity on Celebrity Master. That's Chef. true. They do like I mean, you, this they, is these days. They let, you, they let like YouTubers on, like you know, I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here and shit. Like why not? You should be. Yeah, you could be on the Celebrity series. That would okay, be easy. I am not going to go on. I'm a celebrity. Uh, let me out of here because they let some uh, real trash humans on. They that. do. They do. But uh, you could be on MasterChef, the yeah. MasterChef celebrities, because that won't be easier than normal MasterChef. That'd be easier. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, I wanna. I I'm if if I'm applying to anything, I'm gonna apply to that like woodworking woodworking show. show fair yeah, enough. That'd be cool. Anyway, welcome to Robocop, which is a video game we're gonna play today. I just, I just oh, wanted to yeah. talk about. So I, I just wanted to talk about Claire's duck waffles. They were really good. <laughs> Are you just buttering me up so I make you more good? Yeah. <laughs> Seems like a good idea, to be honest. It wasn't actually the plan, but it seems like a good idea. <laughs> Welcome back to Robocop. If you can't remember or you weren't here last time, etc., etc. This is obviously the game of the 80s film franchise, which contained two and only two films. There was there was no re there was no remake. There was no uh, or remaster or whatever they called the new one. There was there was no third one, which actually, no offense, the third one was so dumb. It's kind of worth watching. Just gets so hilarious. And you just need to be Robocop. You just you just clop around. This is the fastest you could go. And the UI actually jiggles in time with your footsteps because you're a big heavy robot. It's great. It's just <clears throat> it's it's such a good game. I'm a robot, motherfucker. I'm a robot. The oh, fuck, Clem. That I. I don't know why Claire just said that. I'd like to apologise to everybody in general. Because of that one time you drove a van and had a van driving I did song. have the van driving song. That's true. So, yes. And it was obviously very different yeah. than what I just did. But I just wanted to, um, you know, I just wanted to uh, impress upon everybody the fact that I will never go to... I will never go on any celebrity singing based show. No, for this obviously reason. not. Obviously not that. So, okay, basically, the situation is. Ooh, missing children. I wonder if that's going to be important down the line for some reason. Uh, the situation is. This uh, is this, by the way. We, the last last we did for this was six hours long. I played for about three hours uh, making the videos. Around, like, you know, nine, ten hours in. And just out of interest, I looked up the quest list of this game. We're about a third of the way through. This has got a really decent length wow. campaign. Like a 30 hour campaign or whatnot. That's, that's not bad. You know, these days you get plenty of 10-hour campaigns. So that's fine. If a game should only be 10 hours long, let it be 10 hours long. Don't drag it out unnecessarily. But, like, seriously, that's, that's you know, I, I'm impressed by the length of this game. So, yes, you just kind of go around. Normally, like, you're in police mode. So, I, I can't just, like, you know, randomly shoot people or boop them or whatever. If you shoot innocent people, they're... Well, that person just blinked into existence, so we all saw it. I feel like that should be a crime, damn it. Uh, yeah, but you've actually got to go into, like, you know... Areas where you can use your guns to be allowed to use your guns. The UI is lovely. It's proper I RPG stuff, etc., etc. So, yeah. Today we're going to start off with a little kind of like tiny submission. We've got ourselves, yeah, the main mission is Spike in a Haystack. So we need to, yes, investigate Wendell Antonowski, who we need to track down. He's the bad person behind everything. He's blatantly creating robo corpses, but we haven't figured that out yet because he keeps stealing corpses, etc., etc., and, and brains in particular. So I think he's creating his own robo corpses, and we'll have to fight them sooner or later. We need to meet the old man in one of the ruins in old Detroit. But let's start off with a little kind of submission just to warm us up. So, 
Yes, indeed. A person responsible for domestic terrorism and corporate, en yeah, corporate espionage gathered sensitive data. Investigate the suspect's apartment. See what can be found there. So, okay, there is a suspicious apartment somewhere. So, we're just going to go and, moseying in that um, direction. Yes. Yeah, shout out to Axelfac as well in chat who was pointing out, uh, isn't this game like $40 or something? It's not even full uh, AAA pricing. Yep. That's uh, pretty it amazing is. value. It's, it's, less, it's less than you would expect for a game, I think, this good. I think you get more than you would expect for a game like this. Like, you know, it's got a bit of open world, not like huge amounts of open world, but like enough you can have a good little plot around and have some fun with it. It doesn't it's... feel like you're boxed in. No, it the doesn't. Particular, it's, yeah. it's, it's got, it, it reminds me of Hitman in like the amount of space you've got, like in the Ooh. sense of, not like, you know, in, in any other way, but like in the sense of you get given like a little adventure playground to play in. Like it's big enough if you could go around and find your own fun, but it's not so big you ever could feel like you could get lost or anything. So... All right, let's kick off by doing some domestic terrorism and whatnot. What solving it, not not doing it. <laughs> yeah, like, I was gonna say Robocop took a turn. <laughs> well, you know what? It, it's fine. We, it, it, we'll see where the evening takes us. You know, but we'll... well, we need to find a Robo domestic terrorism pun first, and that's going to be a bit tricky. Exactly. Anyway. But yes, we've got ourselves... This game's also hilarious, by the way. I love that this game is actually a comedy. Like, they, they, the best thing they do is they do, like, do you find dumb, some submissions like, you know, you're teamed up with a rookie, you need to just walk him through how to be a good cop while also stomping around and shooting people as Robocop. One mission, you're trying to track down a lost cat. Another, you're walking around the, the police station, getting people to sign a get well card. And it's just, you do it with absolute sincerity and the voice acting and it's the funniest shit because like so many games have kind of they defaulted to their, their their type of humor has been like that quippiness and this game's got no quippiness this game's just got incredibly serious robot man doing the most mundane shit in the world and it's hilarious yes this is basically the toy hospital of video games, isn't it? Yes, kind of, it is. <laughs> yeah. Toy hospital, if you, you won't have seen this, it's a dumb show on Channel 5 in the UK where they basically, people bring in their toys and uh, toy crafts people fix them. And that's if fine. You've ever seen, if you've ever seen the, um, what is it, the repair shop show, yeah. it's basically exactly the repair yeah. shop down to how they put a grey filter on the before and after yeah. so that the after looks more impressive. Looks more vibrant and more. Which is but the hilarious thing, because, because they've called it the anyway. toy hospital, they've insisted it be a hospital. Like, people are bringing their toys into a hospital. Like, they've done up a fake waiting room. They make the presenter do terrible medicine puns. Also, All... the presenter is Nancy from Great British Bake Off. She's from the Bake Off, Nancy, not the Sewing Bee. Bake Off for that some reason, Not the Sewing Bee for some reason, which is an odd choice, but whatever. Um, and then, yes, everyone has to wear, like, surgeon scrubs and being an operate and like that all the repair work has happened in an operating theater with a little fake heart monitor in the background and they commit to the bit so hard one of the people on getting their toy back having been repaired said thank you doctor to the person who repaired it everyone's so committed to the bit it's amazing anyway we're going up to department 12 to investigate a suspicious apartment and maybe like repair a teddy bear. This show makes me cry, by the way, because at least one of the toys always has a really, really sad backstory. Like, you know, it's like, oh, my son died holding this teddy bear and now it's, it's got broken. And as a result, like, I uh, mean, it has some, uh, it has some uh, really like tugs on the heartstrings. Yeah. And also, you are like, I mean, you know. We are the same age, and I also... Almost precisely, in fact. We're like uh, three, four months apart. Yeah, something like that. Four. Four, four, four. August, December. Yeah, indeed. Um, anyway, my point is, I saw Toy Story in the theatre when it first came out, as, as I'm I. sure did you. Yeah. But, like, you imprinted on that. Yes. Quite strongly. Yeah. And, you know, I liked the movie. It's very good, obviously. But, like, I think it didn't... It never did punch me in the feels quite like it did to you. Oh, it did me, yeah. Uh, I think, it, it I think... did you, and I think for anything toy related. Well, Toy Story 3 in particular, because Toy Story oh, 3 yeah. is like very, not just the ending, which I will always cry out and never not cry out, but Toy Story 3 is also very specifically, one of the bits that people don't talk about is right at the start of Toy Story 3, yeah. like when Andy is like grown up, but the adventure proper hasn't begun yet. Like one thing the game never specifically at the game the film never like specifically <laughs> draws attention to but like when his mum comes in and his sister comes in talking about his toys 
Like, he very much talks, oh, I don't care about my toys anymore, I don't play with them anymore, the only reason I've not thrown them away is because I can't be bothered to. And you know he's lying. Yeah. Because it's, it's, it's kind of about Andy as a teenage boy having that very socially imprinted, embarrassed about liking kids stuff and embarrassed about still being charged and embarrassed about still, you know, being, you know, and still loving his toys and embarrassed about that sort of emotion. And, like, his toys overhear him say that and think he means it and it's actually quite heartbreaking but it's one of the bits no one ever talks about in toy story but like how his toys actually overhear him basically say pretend and lie that he doesn't love his toys when he actually does and you kind of that's part of why the ending's even sadder because it does contain him actively admitting and like saying where his toys can hear him the oh god i'm gonna set myself up i'm gonna stop talking about toys to a throw i'm gonna cry okay it's such a good film <laughs> Such a good film. Anyway, let's go investigate a thing. And if the, no one answers the door, I assume I'm allowed to kick it in. Because I'm allowed to... Yeah, breach! Fuck you, door! Yes, that'll teach you to talk about Toy Story 3 fucking door. Yeah. Okay. The door made him sad, so... We're in an area of investigation, but don't worry. I've got Robocop vision, so I can check what's going on. Suspect ate some pizza. Suspect... Oh... A sleeping gas. Does that work on me? I'm a robot. I feel like that wouldn't work on me. Because I, I don't know whether I've still got my original lungs or whatnot. It's okay. Keep on keeping on. There's probably more traps. But probably traps that can't actually, like, hurt me. Because I'm a robot and whatnot. So, okay. More things. Scanning box. Locating. Documents, but all irrelevant to case. Scanning. Okay, electronic components. Nothing nothing suspicious. A bit unusual to have, like, circuit boards sitting outside. But then this person is a bit on the tricksy side, potentially. Pizza. Scanning pizza. Scan says delicious, but not actually relevant. Fridge magnet. Ooh. But if it's not relevant to the case, we can eat it, right? Take the fishmonger statement, pick up cat food storage bot. Okay, this is code. This is code right here. All right, he's storing a bill in the morgue. The cat is going to be picked up and turned into food. And the fishmonger needs to have his statement taken. There were some air quotes there, people. Yeah, I think that's that. Oh, it, 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 it's a circuit board. Circuit board, which I found in the suspicious apartment. I'm just going to plug into my head later, which is absolutely fine. So, okay. Keep on keeping on. There's plenty of fans just keeping the gas circulating. And... Hello. Is that by any chance going to be where this thing slides? Is this a secret door? I thought so. Right. Just shove that out of the way. And using my robot hands. All right secret thing. I feel like if you were going to have a secret room, you wouldn't have it off your bedroom. I feel like you'd want it off the living room. I just feel like you I feel like if you were going to have a secret bookcase, you should have books on it because that is sus as anything, a big empty bookcase. Yeah, but you know how heavy books are. You need to be able to move this thing out the way. If it was well, full of books, how would you move it? Well, then design a better hidden bookcase door. Well, if you design it in such a way as it can be easily moved, like you make it heavier, then like put wheels on the bottom so it easily slides back and forth. It's going to be pretty obvious to anyone at a glance it's supposed to move back and forth. What I'm saying is you need to build it into the wall and have it on a hinge. It's not like it's hard. If it's on a hinge, that would mean it would need to swing all... It would, you need to have clearance in the room for all this space I'm walking right now. Like, that would be ridiculous. You wouldn't be able to have anything here. Well, no, you make only one of the doors. And you would also have a huge hinge. obvious mark on the ground all the way here as opposed to just over there, which would be way easier to... I think your hidden room plan is way worse than mine. Mm-hmm. But then again, I suppose if you have it off the bedroom, if you have guests over, they're less likely to discover it because most people politely won't go into your room. So, all right, into the secret crime room and a rental invoice. Okay, a storage unit. Well, that strikes me as potentially of note. We should probably go and investigate that. And someone calling me. Oh, that's concerning. That means someone knows I'm in here. Hello, not Robocop. So OCP is ordering you to break into the apartment of a reporter they don't like? Any comment before I write a story on that? I am here to investigate domestic terrorism. 
OCP sent you to my safe house because they want to know what I have on them after the bank incident. I assume there is more if you cannot store everything here. I found a rental bill for a locker in a storage facility. Make up your mind. First you let me go at the bank, and now, when I'm actually starting to figure out what the OCP scam is all about, you show up and ruin this. Do you want to help OCP avoid liability? I'm going to be honest, I didn't actually know this was your apartment. I'm not sure anyone ever said that to me. I was just sent here to investigate, and I'm going to be honest, you literally set up a trap containing sleeping gas. I mean, that's pretty sus when you think about it. So, illegally obtained evidence is blah, 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 error, error, cannot read words. Your evidence is invalid if you obtained it illegally. I, I mean, to be fair, so is Robocop's evidence. I won't win against OCP there. It turns out I was right. That thing that OCP plans to do with charging residents of old Detroit with additional costs, it is a loophole. It will lead to the illegal expulsion of thousands of people if you help OCP silence me. Explain. Not so fast. I need to be able to trust you first. At the bank, you've proved that you are more than just a tool programmed to obey OCP, but... Now, the stakes are higher. What is it that you expect? Since you're here, I fully expect someone from OCP to go and check my locker. I need to protect what's inside, but there's a meeting I need to keep an eye on. Too much depends on it. I will not be involved in the smuggling of contraband. There's nothing illegal about my request. I need only one box from there. The one with the inscription, Bakery on the Corner. The rest you can leave to OCP to pick up. I need to just spring clean my out-of-date documents anyway. Call me once you secure the box. Okay, the reporter seems chill and on the level. I'm, I'm willing to, like, you know, do that. That's a okay. I can't remember if anyone even told her that, that this was... Ooh, incriminating documents. Okay, so I found some crime evidence there. So that's fine. Like... I'm going to do some crime to help her, but I also just did some crime, like, you know, I'm also going to report her for some unrelated bit of crime. So that's all absolutely fine. Also, I'm seeing your OCP training disc, because that's a free uh, skill point upgrade for me. So that's that's all absolutely lovely. Right over there. So, okay, that is a hang about. Also, I picked up a new Ghibli Jibble. Change board. Which board do I... Do I have a new board? A 3.2. Is that? No, I didn't like the 3.2. 2.1. Ooh, a 4.3. Oh, that looks new. Omni boards. Okay, hang on. What is what is this precisely? This is... I don't, I don't remember this. I think this must be new. Additional gore. Massive damage, but no crits. Laser... Ooh, the puzzles, the puzzles. Full auto. Laser focus, reduce spread. Uh, mm. I kind of we did, yeah. We we t we tested this last time, didn't we? We we looked, so, yeah. We looked at the um, we looked at um, we we're on board three point three, which was the yeah, that one was more gore because that's hilarious. And the auto feed. Yes, this was the shotgun. Yeah, this was, yeah, this yeah. was the sh this was the shotgun that still gets that. I think we thought that was kind of hilarious. We we tried no the crits but more power, and it just did seem to do way less because it's so good with the headshots. Yeah, because now it's like um, now it's like uh, what you don't even need to re you don't even need to reload. Yeah, you don't reload. No, you, you just fired. So and good. More gore is so good. <clears throat> more gore is hilarious. So okay, armor is leading me up to. Exp high damage reduction explosives, high caliber weaponry. Eh, explosives are becoming more of an issue. I've taken focus up to, uh, yes, double critical damage. Yeah, of which course. Which I think is, is hilarious. And if I just keep moving that in the right direction, I get, yeah, additional slow mo. I get, yeah, more and more additional, uh, more and more focus in terms of, yeah, the slow mo. I quite like the slow mo. The slow mo is hilarious. Scanning I could do without that. The instant scanner I can do without that. Deduction I can do without that. Psychology I've taken that to basic. I'm okay without that. Engineering opening safe without another combination. I mean that might pay for itself, to mm. be honest. That and repro reprogramming enemy turrets. Uh, wait. When does it say that? You know. 
Oh, right. that at the end it, of oh, the yeah. sentence you didn't read. I very often don't. I often yeah, read like I the know, first half of one sentence, you. then I just kind of move that's on. That's what I told then you just about kind it. Of go, Then just go on to the next one. <laughs> just go on to the next one. It's fine. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think you need to. I think you need to kind of you know read. I, just show, I was elected You're to so lead, cute. not to read. <laughs> You're so cute. Uh, mm. I am going. To take a uh, reload. I don't like the punching. I think the punching isn't necessary. So I don't think I'm going to take shotwave up to its maximum. I think there's an argument for taking. I feel like the engineering might pay for itself. So let's let's put that in play. Especially as Claire likes the dumb game. Claire does like Claire the dumb likes, game. Claire likes, I'm the, be Claire likes the dumb game. So yes, uh, save current skills, that's fine. So yes, my current Auto 9 was the infinite ammo sh gore shotgun, which also comes up to 72% <laughs> weapon damage. This board, and hang on, let's just check this. So this is, the nice thing about this board is, yeah, it's got four distinct you bonus damage things, which is the important one. Yeah. If we go over to uh, board 4.3, which was the new one, how many bonus damages? It's also four. Yeah. So there's no more damage to be had in here. Uh, all I do, and the special ones are, yeah, more the gore. Cool. The, yeah, no crits. I think I mm, like the crits, especially like yeah. you can even increase crit damage. I think like g well, having crits. Especially is... since you've already. Yeah. Yeah, you've already taken up to double crit damage. You've already invested in that. Yeah, in I your think skill points. I think three point I think three point three is is for the better. I mean, we're gonna keep finding them, so yeah. Let's just take that for the time being. That's absolutely fine. Uh, do is there anything we need to change? Because we do have a few more. Yeah, I've got a few twenty threes and twenty twos now. Any of them? Yep. You know what? That twenty-two. A, yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Twenty-two goes in there for even more damage. I mean, that could even be the twenty-three. That's all the way around. Huh? That could be the twenty-three. That's all the way around. Yep. You're right. The twenty-three could go in there. We've already got a twenty-two on that one. A twenty can go up here. Nice. And that still works the same way, uh, which is fine. A 20 can be slotted into here. It's not like one of the crucial ones, really. Uh, but it's yeah. all right. A 19 can replace an 18 here. Well, a 19 can replace an 18. Uh, wait, no, it can't. No, it can't. That one can't My go bad. there. My bad. I'm can't, sorry. That one can't go there. Uh, can that 22 be slotted in anywhere? Yes, mm. the 22 could be replaced the 18, because we don't want the reds. We remember, you're trying to avoid the reds. Yeah, yeah, no, I remember. It's just, yeah. Yeah, so that one's absolutely uh, fine. I think that's all as it should be, unless there's a better option for you. I don't think there is down in the bottom right. So, yeah, I think that is all fine. Yeah, mm. there's nothing we can really do on that one. So it's, we've just picked up a tiny bit more weapon damage. Which I'm fine with. Mm. So, all right. Then now we just go back to her, grab the one box she wants, and then be on her way. But yeah, there's this surprisingly kind of cool little, just kind of R tiny RPG stuff you wouldn't expect. Stolen watch, crime evidence. So, all right, just can you step outside, head to her lockup, steal like stuff for a reporter. Like, I haven't decided which romance option I'm going for. Like, you know, there's my own, there's my own therapist. Uh, there's the reporter. I think my wife isn't dead. I'm not sure whether she's alive. I, I can't remember. But, like, possibly I've got a wife as well. Maybe. But, like, also, like, I, I died and became a robot. So, like, you know, I feel like that's decent grounds for divorce, potentially, if she didn't want to be around anymore. Because now I'm a robot and whatnot. Uh, that, that that would be, you know, not, not unfair. I ah. mean... On the one hand, I believe in no no particular reason divorce. Yeah. But also, that feels a bit mean. I'm gonna Just be honest. Like, if I if I died robot. and they brought me back as a robot police officer, who you weren't a hundred percent sure was even me, or whether like it was just literally my face stretched over a robot skin. I think I would. Okay, but I think it would be understandable. They would acceptable. bring you back as a robot YouTuber because Robocop was a cop before, no? That's true. Yes, if they like, if they brought me back as a ro as like a robot DJ YouTuber, like a V like a robot Many VTuber. Many a true boob beep, beep boop. Nerd. Yeah, exactly. 
I am a genius at insert activity. Oh, no, activity has gone wrong. Now things are on fire. <laughs> Run away. No, no, oh, no, oh, no. Jump cut, jump cut. <laughs> there we go. We're basically there. <laughs> It's like a VTuber, like it. Oh, hello. Man, it's Robocop. Hi. So what? That's right. We're just sitting here enjoying the moment. Nothing suspicious. Right, officer? Okay. Shouldn't we give the fellows the signal? We should just shut up and smile like the exemplary citizens that we are. Okay, I wasn't suspicious of you until you said highly suspicious things like, hi, we're not suspicious people. Are you sure you want to start a fight with me? I've got an infinite explosive gore shotgun pistol. Do you really want to do this, lads? John, it doesn't feel like they're actually up to much. It just feels like they're a bit drunk now. No, no, they literally... You, 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 you didn't hear it, but they literally one of them said, Hey, do you think we should signal the fellas to... No, we shouldn't because we're exemplary citizens who aren't doing Lol. anything wrong. I, I feel like they're going to do something wrong and I feel like they're going to regret it. Like, really soon. I feel like I'm... I wonder if you being turned into uh, many a true bot nerd would fix the perception issue. Probably not. Like, they'd have to, like, give me, like, a slightly malfunctioning camera or something to recreate it. Okay. Are you lost, officer? I can show you the exit if you want. Everyone's being so suspicious. Everyone's being catastrophically suspicious. This is... This is... This is not okay. Everyone's just hanging around. But then again, there appears to just be like four of them. Crime evidence. And yeah, incriminating <laughs> documents are particularly incriminating. Everyone's just storing all their everyone's storing all their stolen stuff. In this in the in these Oh, uh oh. Is that what I'm supposed to be breaking into? Trouble with the lock. Uh seems that I forgot the key. But uh you will tell your story at the station. Are you sure you have enough seats in your car to take us all? Okay, there's more people in the roof. They've got guns. Luckily, I'm a robot. If you do not come quietly, I will not need any. All right, let's just go into... No! Bang! Bang, bang, bang! And now we just get into cover because there's a few people up top somewhere. Hello. There are definitely some lads up top here. Right. Get round the back here. Don't need to reload because that's not a thing I need to do. Right. Look for... Hello. Guys. Oh. Right. So much good... Wow. That was a good... That was a good dramatic collapse there. That there was, was something in that unit. There was? There was something to investigate in that unit. Uh, it's probably just some crime evidence. It was... Ooh. With some art evidence. I found art evidence. Okay, painting already seen up. I think I'm just doing, I'm just appreciating art. I'm, ju I'm just appreciating some art here. And then again. You're like, oh, that's the painting I saw on that art TV show that I watch because I'm a Robocop who enjoys art. Maybe. Maybe it's stolen. Maybe, yes. I'm supposed to have acknowledged that I've seen it before in that regard. Oh, hang on. Let's get Right, that's you nice and dead. I've got plenty of charges. Don't forget I've got my shield as well. Should have been necessary. Ooh, that's nice. Hello. Hi, lads. No, no. And then no. Oh, did I just take this guy's hand off but he didn't die? Ooh. Also, then there was an explosion. Oh, there's more explosions because he's tossing more grenades at me. Excuse me. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, it's cute that they think that grenades can hurt you. Grenades can't touch me. Also, I need to remember, I do, of course, have my shield I can activate. Also, I think everyone's dead. Get my charge back, so I'm already at full charge. Don't need, like, the 9mm pistol or anything of that nature. Right, now, like you were saying, this is obviously the one I'm supposed to be going to at the end. But is the fact I've seen picture before significant like i'm supposed to cross reference it oh. to another instance of people are saying it probably is counterfeit ah. 
Possibly. Like this is this is Robocop's way of saying, I saw this photo in the Louvre when I was visiting with my wife before I was Robocop. So therefore, this cannot be the real one. I am Robocop. Crime evidence. Right. I think I'm in good shape for all of that. They opened up this previously. Right, well, whatever that is, we did give it a scan. If there's any crime evidence, we know about it. And the question is, if this was a trap by the journalist to me, I'm going to be very annoyed. Because why were they here trying to break into this area? Just scan. I don't looking think they were the trying to. After. Were they trying to break into this particular one? I mean, the guy was tinkering with that particular lock. Uh... Yeah, the guy was tinkering with this particular lock. So uh, this is evidence about OCP. The journalist sent me to find it. So why were these guys all here? Because if I was set up by her, I'm not going to be friends with her anymore. All right, I'm not going to help her. I still might theoretically romance her because I'm kind of into the people who like you know betray me and etc. Yeah, etc. So et that, that's fine. Uh, but, like, you know, I'm not 100% sure I'll actually help her out with that. There we go. Take her belongings. Can I look at them on the way out? Check it's not anything too illegal. Return to the streets. Anything else? I mean, you're right. There's also, there is actually a lot of dry cat food here. Happy hour dry cat food. It's just like it's boozy. This is, you know. <laughs> Amazing. You know those adverts where, like, the pet owner mysteriously wants to sleep with their cat? This is for when you also want to, like, get them drunk first. This, this, the, the, this is the even creepier version of the uh, cat food, of that particular cat food advert. All right. Out we go. May as well as we're probably not going to be visiting here. Recharge my health. I think I probably took, like, a knock or two. Just recharge myself, but just plugging myself into the fuses. There we go. Fully charged up. Lovely. Very, very nice indeed. So, okay. Go and drop you outside. Ah, excellent. Let's go. Now, where was I supposed to drop? She said, did she tell me where I was supposed to drop that off? Oh, uh-oh. There's a couple of people in suits over there. And I feel like they're going to ask me embarrassing questions, such as, Hey, Robocop, I sure hope you aren't removing evidence from a scene of a crime, lol. You see, I'm willing to do this, but am I willing to lie to other people? If I actually get challenges, Robocop, Robocop doesn't need to answer. Never mind, I need to answer questions. Well, well, well. Looks like Mr. Becker was right. You're up to something behind his back. These things are supposed to go to Mr. Becker, I reckon. Okay. I feel like he's going to be annoyed, but I think I want to side with the journalist anyway. Because Becker's a dick. This box simply contains cat food. It 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 contains cat food and nothing else. What will interest Becker is in locker number 17. The contents of this box are none of OCP's concern. I'll have to tell Mr. Becker that you have not given us all the material. I assure you that it will end up worse for you than for me. Okay. So I've made it possibly I've made an enemy of my boss, and he already hated me. Like it's yeah, not like I, I mean, it's not it's like not I've like... it's not like I've soiled my relationship with my boss or anything. He already absolutely cocky despised me. Also, you haven't like you know destroyed it or taken it home or whatever. You're literally just saying like, look, I'm gonna look into this box first. No, I'm just, I think I'm just giving it back to without looking yeah. at it. Apparently, oh, he he does have an animation for picking up a phone. So I'm guessing you have my stuff. Did OCP arrive at the party? They tracked my location. Because they trust you so much. Speaking of which, the box. What if I lied about it? Did you ever think of that? There may be a bomb inside or the head of my sworn enemy. Do you want to know what's inside? Yes. I, I should actually have like looked in it already, to be honest. Just before, yeah, just before I removed it. To make sure you were legit. If there is evidence of a crime, I would like to know it. Police officer, first and foremost, in the box are my personal belongings. Letters, memorabilia, things that actually matter. <clears throat> when you become too tough to hit directly, the scum will try to get to you through your loved ones. I understand. So we have even more in common. Once OCP takes care of my old documents, I'll have the space to deal with the Delta City issue and help the people of old Detroit. You've helped them already, though. Thank you. Ronnie's grocery. Leave the box there. Ooh, is that the guy who I helped out by punching a bunch of, like, punk kids' stereo? I think it is! 
I punched the pumpkin stereo apart. And as a result, the guy inside this grocery store likes me. There we go. It's all it's all coming round. It's all coming back to me. Hello over there. We've also got excellent go-go soft drinks. The dark side. Why on earth would you call milk chocolate the dark side? Like, I get like this, yes, but surely you'd call that like the light side. Well, maybe the brand was already established for the dark chocolate and then they branched out. Well, I feel like if you are the dark side dark chocolate, you don't branch out into milk chocolate. I just think that's that's not what you do. I also enjoy buff cola. <laughs> buff cola's excellent. Fritz potato chips. Right there, that I can't crouch because obviously Robocop doesn't crouch, he doesn't have a cocking stealth mode, obviously. Hello, I've got a box for you. I have Samantha's belongings. Ah, uh, yes, I'm glad you're helping her. Without that girl, OCP would put us all on the street. Still might. They did a number on a lot of families, hers included. Samantha's mother took it worst. But that's not a story for me to tell. Anyway, uh, leave the box in the back next to the cat food. She's supposed to pick up everything tomorrow. Okay, what is it with this mission? <laughs> and cat, cat food. food. Why is it all about cat food? Ooh, Fruity Loops, now even sweeter. There we go, there's the breakfast cereal for Claire. Shut up. <laughs> Claire likes very chocolatey breakfast cereal. Ooh, examine. I can examine them. I can check. Okay, Miss Chaotis, they're accusing you of falsifying evidence because they want to discredit you. I don't believe them. None of us do. We understand the media and OCP is one the same. Your actions will help others understand it too. Or don't let them silence you. Okay, that seems legit. That's that's like a, a person. That, that, that stacks up with what she was saying earlier. That seems legit right there. That seems legit. So there's some good. That's a really big tub of ice cream. There we go. Dry land. Dry land is a bad name for ice cream. Yeah, seriously. For dairy goods in general. Also, I feel like in general, I like, do like eight dollars. Eight dollars for a lolly is too much. That's that's yeah, too no, high. Yeah, no, seriously. I do quite like holy, holy cow. Holy uh, cow is that's a really good name for ice right. cream. Right. Like I would buy holy cow over dry land's ice cream every time. Every... I feel like holy cow must be an actual business name for ice cream. It's too. Good. You should check that. It's too. It's, it's well, too. Well, I was yeah. gonna do that right now. Yeah, definitely. We should. We should be checking that. Then we've got lion share fruit rings, lion share cornflakes. So, okay, that's like the Kellogg's of this this universe. Run of the mill. That that again. There's such a blend of good and bad food names here. Oh, gigantic think that's joke. That it's a mix of good and bad food names. Anyway, it does exist. Holy cow is a real thing. In fact, actually, is that the same? Is that the same font? Is that is that a real brand in this game? No, 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 it's not. No, the Y is not the same. It's quite similar. It's quite. It is quite similar. It, it's it. It is somewhat similar. Excellent. And there's one for Claire there. Giant peanut butter and jelly cookie. Right next to one for me, a giant oatmeal cookie. Because I like oatmeal cookies. Oatmeal and raisins, delicious. <sighs> Claire doesn't like raisins. Claire's racist against raisins, basically. Look. There we go. Domestic terrorism completed. Look, the grape, you make it into the wine, you do not dry it up. Mm-hmm. Right, there I've got go. to find some I don't more even violations. Like, I don't even like red wine, but I just can't do raisins either. Raisins are fine. Raisins mm -hmm. are delicious. You're wrong. Right, we can go to the other side of town now. We're supposed to meet with the old man, have an important meeting. And if we can find, like, some really, really, really stupid, like, infractions on the way, that we can, like, that you know, charge... That would be helpful. People. That would be helpful. Excuse me. This guy appears to be... John oh. is wrong about raisins. Yes, thank you, Myra. I feel like this guy is intoxicated in public. No, it's not. It's it's be it's drinking in public. You could be as drunk in public I as you want. I think we've had this conversation about this exact guy vomiting in the street before. I know. I think Robocop just comes up to him on a daily basis and has a little word with them. Right, so this will be the bit of old Detroit they already kicked <laughs> people out of and started knocking down then. Got it. So, okay. The problem is I'm not seeing m many people around here. Which makes me wonder whether there's going to be any people I can actually do much with, potentially. So, okay. In we go. This will be... Why is this guy meeting me here? This is a really weird rundown location, but all right. Meet with the old man and the senior figures and OCP. Just, you know, hey have you. a chat with him. The old man is waiting for you upstairs. 
This entrance to the building is off limits. You have to use the staircase. Okay, that's very peculiar, but fine. I'll there, walk like, up the stairs. On the staircase. All right. In we go. I don't trust any of this. Keep my keep my scanner on. I don't know why I I should spend a chat with scanner on all the time. Just there's, there's very little reason to ever take your scanner off. It's just very useful. So okay, buddy, the Mr. Old man. Old man. So it's true what they say. You do have some kind of defect. Yes, it's probably the human soul. Right, everything's fine. Just check for crime. Nothing. That looks crimey. What looks crimey? Just a the giant, toilet? A giant hole in the wall. I mean, you're right. There's no water in it. That's that's probably breaking certain ordinances regarding, you know, the proper maintenance of plumbing. But I feel like that's not really why I should be investigating. Hello! Oh, it's good to see you, my boy. Leave us. I want to talk to him in private. You have to excuse me for not getting up. I'm in a rather unfortunate state. You did exceptional work at the bank. I want you to know that I am deeply grateful for your service to OCP and the city of Detroit. See? I grew up in this very apartment, or what's left of it. Ah. It used to be a thriving neighborhood. Nothing like what you see right now. I always dreamt of turning it into the most prosperous district in the city, a new heart of Detroit. Can you imagine? Or do you think it's just an old fool's pipe dream? Well, I'm going to be honest, based on what other people are telling me, I think you're kind of driving people out so you can buy the land, so you can demolish it, so you can rebuild. So, do so you can make Ooh. money. Do not ask machines about dreams. That sounds deep and uh, that's a cool thing for a robot to say. That's that. that I, I'm going to go for that one. Mm -hmm. Are you asking a machine about dreams? You're selling yourself short, son. Delta City's construction is about to start. Finally, the old and frail will be replaced with the new and strong. Decay and death are terrible things. You lose everything you worked for your entire life. Oh, right, okay. I don't have to tell if, if you. If only somebody was supporting bad. you instead of it trying really to evict you wonder, and shit. Has the time you spent in that armor been a burden to you? Right, so... He just, he very pointedly just said, man, death and decay are really sad and it's its a tragedy. And also, I'm really old and I'm in a bad state. And also, on an unrelated note, how are you getting on tracking down that person who's like kidnapping human brains and clearly doing some form of experiment of putting brains into robots in the franchise where we've repeatedly put brains into robots, like at the end of Robocop 2, where we put a brain into a robot because it's body, because the body was dead. We put the brain in there. So, okay, fine. So you're you're secretly the villain of the game and you're going secretly you, okay, fine you're not that secretly the villain of the game and your plan is to have your brain put inside a new robot or something and you're secretly working with what's his face got it okay I I, I, I get ya I get ya uh, honestly I I'm doing great in my armor mate I'm, I'm having a lovely time I'm basically bulletproof no one else is it's cocky hilarious the enhancements allow me to excel in fulfilling my duty. Not only your actions, but your words confirm that you're an exemplary police officer. The real reason I've summoned you here is because I'm worried. I'm aware of your instability problems. And it's not a matter that we can overlook. That's why I've requested to have people look after you. Tell me, how are you finding your evaluations with Dr. Blanche? She's pretty sexy. Bow chica, wow, wow. Bow chica, bow, wow. John. Sorry, I'm malfunctioning. It's the malfunctions. You are correct. Apologies. Bow chica, error, bow not found. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> they increased my performance in bed. I am happy to comply with any activity that improves effectiveness. You're a good sport. I can imagine it's not a pleasant experience, but I can't express how much I'd like you to keep at it. 
I'm sure that becoming a liability is the last thing you'd want. Am I right? Wow, that the villain right. face with the eyes. Now you've reached an understanding. Tell me, is there anything I could do to put your mind at ease? Okay, Lewis needs. Yes, Lewis. That's true. Get Lewis, like you know, proper medical attention. We we had we we signed a get well card, but that doesn't actually help with the injury as much. My partner has been severely wounded, and is being treated at Gibson Memorial Hospital. I'll make sure she gets the best care there is. Thank you. I have to say, you brought a lot of hope into this old man's heart. Now, excuse me. I'm not supposed to exert myself too much. <laughs> Doctor's orders. And you can't argue with them. Alright, so he wants his brain put into a new secret Take evil robot. Us. After all, the peace of Detroit depends on your well-being. Alright, out we come. Can I toss myself off a cliff? I can! Whee! There we Holy go. Holy shit, what was that? Just toss himself off a cliff. Not such a piece of junk after all. Yeah, screw you. Right, back to I would to the... not say that right next to Robocop's fist. Well, the, the guy, the guy, you know, who said I wasn't such a piece of junk. Hey, Murphy, oh. are you done with the old man's tea party? Remember to get back in touch with your informer. See if he has any info that could get us back on the biker's lead. Spike is still out there. OCP wants to raise towers of glass and steel. Eh, go ahead. Just not where we live. Yeah, I feel like the people who actually used to live here aren't desperately keen on his regeneration plan. <coughs> that that definitely seems to be the case. So, all right. Moj on to the other side of town. I need to go back over to... Ah, Pickles. Chat to Pickles. Claire, while we're motioning over in that direction, I'm just having a look around trying to find some crime. 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 Uh, yeah, shout out to the book 778 who gave us £10 and says, Good evening all. Uh, John, I'm loving the Sim Settlement 2 series on the channel. Building in Fallout is my favourite thing to do. And also, I love seeing you play this game. It is delightful. It's it's, it's so much to it. It's, it's such a good such good voice acting the vast majority of the time. It's very impressive. It's a very impressive achievement. Ooh, sorry, I just uh, immediately started needing to, uh, oh. to cough. Oh, did somebody part blocking a fire hydrant, which is a crime in America? Yeah, that's right, obstruction of a fire... You know, it just struck me. Mm. You know fire hydrants? Yes. We don't have them. So, mm. like... Do, do British fire engines just carry around a huge amount of water... Where does the water come from? Because clearly American fire hydrants, they're like sharper, like, you know, okay, we plug into that. And like, I really hope you've got a fire hydrant outside your house. Otherwise, I guess there's no water for you. But like, we don't have them in the UK. So do, do British fire engines just carry around a huge amount of water? Or do we just Apparently like... the UK has fire hydrants. Do we? I've never seen one. They are in underground chambers and normally have yellow marker posts. Oh, with the maze. they're hidden uh, underground. I mean, I say this. This is uh, this is from Cora, so it might just be bullshit. FYI. Okay, that makes sense. What I'm saying because I feel like you know it would be kind of embarrassing if you sent a fire truck out and it ran out of water and you had to send it back to fill it up again. But you that that happened. That makes more sense. Yes. That does make a lot of sense. Okay. Yeah, little yellow plaques on the ground with an H on them. Yeah. Uh, so they indicate, uh, yeah, it's it's just generally it's just uh, with a man under a manhole cover. Someone over there may be committing a crop. That's not a person. It's a box. Okay, it's probably. <laughs> a <laughs> Sorry. I was about to arrest a box. That 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 would cause pe even people to have even more questions about Robocop's efficiency. If I started, hello cat. I can't pet the cat, unfortunately. There's cats everywhere, but I can't pet them, for I am more machine than man. So I'm not allowed to pet cats, which is very sad. All right, keep on keeping on, Claire. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Hannah, who gave us uh, $5 and says, Hi, Claire, Ted and John. Wish me luck on my last final of my first semester of grad school. Last final of first semester. Of grad school, yes. Yes. Yeah. So that's post, post graduate. For wait, semester a year or is that a term? I think a semester is half a year. Half a year, 
Uh, no, that Sam Esther. That okay, fine. Sam, yeah, that would that would make sense. Good. Congratulations, anyway. I'm trying to figure out precisely what it is we're, we're congratulating. But congratulations for academic achievements. And, you know, good luck on your last final. Damn straight. Ooh, more cats. Are these the same cats, actually? And in, in more... Oh, cat. In more congratulations, shout out to uh, our awesome mod, Myra, who's been a member for 32 months. Uh, and Myra says, do you want great news? I passed my emergency medical license exams today. Oh, nice. I can now run an ambulance on my own. Wee -woo, wee -woo, wee -woo. I choose to believe that they mean just like they could just drive an ambulance anywhere. Like, you know, if they want to go get a donut, they could just turn the light on and be like, get out of my way, traffic. Excuse I don't me. think Myra would do that, actually. I think. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. You appear to be just tossing huge amounts of trash off a rooftop. Unauthorized garbage disposal. That you I think. You want to see how I dispose of this garbage? It's an act of revenge. I was loyal, and she betrayed me. <laughs> Trouble in a relationship is no excuse for littering. What? I mean, my boss. She fired me after all these years, so I'm spreading confidential that does sound papers. more legit. Let everyone know the fraud her company is up to. Yeah, I feel like standing on a rooftop and just tossing the paper and hoping is not the way to go. Look, I know a journalist. Give me the papers. I will give them to her. I'm very good at that sort of thing. No, I'm sorry. Unacceptable. You get a ticket. I cannot allow the law to be broken. In a you stupid way. Like her. I'm sorry, but this was really, really stupid law-breaking. Like, awesome law-breaking, that would be okay. But this was just really dumb. Don't break the law in dumb ways or I will shoot you. Robocop, out. Cool motive, still lettering. Yeah. It's just, the, it's just, okay, if he'd been doing, you know, something cooler than just randomly tossing sheets of paper off a roof, that would have been okay. But he didn't. He was doing something stupid. Oh, unacceptable. Dear, oh dear. Yes. M Myra says, I wouldn't do that. Other people would. Uh, other people have asked me to do that. Run the siren to go get donut. And I said no. Mm. Plus, like, you know, if you, like, say you wanted, you know, to help your friend to move or something, then there's plenty of space in the back of an ambulance. You probably just use it as, like, a moving truck. A moving truck that doesn't have to wait in traffic. Yeah, a moving truck that everyone gets out of the way of. Myra, come help us move house next weekend. We're not moving house, dear God. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> They're open at Delta There's just a laundromat down here. Those people will need to clean their shirt somewhere, and then the money will come pouring in. Okay. <laughs> just random. Like, I just did it. So there's just a random laundromat I'll here. I'll never stop enjoying this. Yeah. Never stop. I like you. Apparently, this guy just really enjoys being inside a laundrette. Okay, that's 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 fine if that's what you want to do. I didn't didn't see there was a laundrette here before. I think it has just opened, in fact. Okay, that's nice. Just a random laundrette here. Okay, now we're supposed to be going to... Yes, Mr. Pickles. Hello there, Pickles. We need to question you about Spike, who's gone missing again. Marvellous. So, okay, hello there. <sighs> Myra says she'll move our entire house Greetings. one inch to the left. Waiting for the movie screening. <laughs> just browsing to find which movie would most enhance my nuke experience. Nuke is a crime. Nuke. Crime. Need an extra cake. Look, you shouldn't do nuke. Like, your kidnapped police friend, uh, who may or may not be dead, I can't remember. He was oh, he's very... definitely dead, John. We found his body. Did we? I'm pretty sure we found his body after being tortured and whatever. Oh, yeah, he was dead. That's right. Yeah, yeah, he would have yeah. wanted you to stay clean. He was really into you getting clean. Has working with the police not made you change your ways? I need to keep up appearances. <sighs> Otherwise, I wouldn't be much use as an informer. Now, Pickles makes I? a good point. That's yeah. a fair point. Tell me, what's the next job for the police's finest duo? I need information on Spike's whereabouts. That SOB. I'll never forgive him for what he did to Briggs. Oh, yeah, he definitely killed Luckily, Briggs. Luckily, there ain't Lol. much left of the street vultures after the bank heist. They're probably laying low. But now you mention it, I heard about a biker who had a crash near the riverbank just behind the mart. So... Your best bet is to check out the scene of the accident, or maybe hit up a nearby mechanic to see if they know anything. Okay, a bike crash. So, yes, witnesses. Any witnesses? Ah, uh, there's this crazy old bum who hangs out around there. He's nosy. Maybe he could help. 
Ooh, the alien chappy, I'm guessing. And Jess, where's the bike now? Are you positive that he escaped on the damaged motorcycle? <laughs> Not so much on it as with it. From what <laughs> I gathered, the bike suffered more than just a dent. Fine, so I'm we can follow the trail. I'm guessing he must have dragged it to some nearby mechanic to get it back in shape. I think Ben's shop is the closest. All right, and Jess, are you only hope he makes of brakes. You really want justice for Briggs? We owe him. But it's more about Daniel and Gale. Ah. And I think everyone will sleep better once those butchers are taken care of. Okay, fair Thank enough. You. you have given me all I need. I, I know you're busy, but there's something that I need your help with. I will not be involved in any illegal... Oh, activity. you will, if it's for a sexy lady. That's very presumptuous of you. Not you, Pickles. I just need help finding a VHS tape in the rental place across the street. The title slipped my mind, and I assume you've got, like, a database or something in your head that'll make looking for it a breeze. Yes. So what do you say? Will you help me look for it? Yes, this is exactly the sort of incredibly dumb fun thing I want to do. Let's go. If it helps you stay out of trouble, let us proceed. Yeah, it'll solve all my problems. Let's go. This is exactly the sort of incredibly dumb mission I want to do. So there's this movie about a guy with a gun. And there's this bad guy who wants something. I'm pretty sure the title has some biblical reference in it. You lack vital information on the subject. That's pretty good information. I mean, that's, that's not bad at all. Some biblical quote, guy with a gun, bad guy who wants... Okay, the guy with a gun and bad guy who wants something doesn't narrow it down much. But biblical quote's not bad. Like what, we, like in the title? Yeah, exactly. We can work with that. So, okay. I mean, only if... We can figure out which one is a biblical quote, which between you and I might be difficult, but okay. chat might Excuse help. me, I flipping have read the Remember, Bible in original title Greek, has thank you. To do with the Bible. Saints, Again, not sure that's going to uh, help with, like... The, uh, start by checking the thriller and drama The Bible, section. notorious for excellent translations Europe. that never cause any problems. Forget him. He has no idea about movies. Okay, he comedy, that Salamanca comedy. deserved the golden piston for the best picture. Drama and thriller. And it did. Okay, we've got ourselves scanning all videotapes. Examine a particular tape and possible title match Garden found. Of earthly delights. Oh man, great movie, very elegant. Panned by the critics though, but the director is a badass. He personally showed up to one of those ceremonies to accept the award for the worst movie of the year. We do not need to bow to outside pressure. Easier said than done, my man. Such a dumb thing. Diamonds are made under pressure. Do not give in to pressure. I'm just, I'm just engaging in Robocop quipping about the word pressure. It's the best game. It takes courage to resist pressure. Yes, indeed. Like, say, the pressure to do drugs. Don't do drugs, pickles. It takes courage to not give in to the pressure. Oh, yeah, it does. But, hey. If that director can resist it, then why the hell can't I, right? But let's get back to it. Pickles will remember that! Pickles will remember me making a dumb quip about pressure! Right, over to the thrillers. Scan for biblical references with my robo brain. I have found. Oh, I found nothing. Okay. Continue scanning on the other side of the thriller. It might be on the other side. And no matches. Okay, other side of drama. In that case, I would have thought it was a thriller. Mention of guns and whatnot. One more. And... Kind Shepherd. Love that one. You know that movie could have never happened. The director threw out the script after reading a couple of pages. Thankfully, his wife picked it out of the trash, and after reading it, she forced her husband to give it another look. Everyone deserves a second chance. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. It's the best. She's just turning this dumb search for a video into a heart-to-heart -heart moment between a robot and Pickles the bum. This is great. <laughs> yes, there is always a way back, Pickles. There is nothing that you cannot come back from. <laughs> Spoken like a true good shepherd. Anyway, I don't want to spoil the mood, but that's not the tape we're looking for. Okay. Well, then Nothing we've checked all of that. Drama. Okay, how I mean, about there you are check other the sci-fi and action section? I'll have a look at horror. Okay, you want me to have a look at sci-fi? Also. 
Okay. Got a few bits and pieces over here. Mm. And we have got ourselves you chap. We could, we could talk to this guy if we wanted to. You can actually talk to that chappy. But I'm having too much fun not fighting it. And then we've also got... Hang on. Little backstage area. Nothing much going on here. Dear, oh dear. Well, the sign outside said you had an adult section. I don't flipping see it. Dear, oh flipping dear. Right. Action. Okay, action's a good fit for guy with gun. And nothing. Keep scanning. Maybe it doesn't have any Bible quotes. Oh, possible title match. Oh, hang on, sorry. You're right. I read that as no possible title match. And Celestial Decay. That doesn't feel like a... That feel, feels... Feels like a feels like a religious. That does not feel. Action no, it doesn't. It doesn't feel like a quote, to my mind, which is absolutely fine. And also, and also, he said sci-fi and horror. I'm going to be honest. I feel like this entire this shop has been badly. Poorly this is this is action. I'm sorry. Night of Undeads and Eve's Flower <laughs> should not be in in action. Well, there's okay. also a copy of Gardens of Earthly Delights, which was in Thriller. I think there's just not that many boxes that have been made. Mm -hmm. Look how many Eve's flowers there are. Well, in all fairness, in old video stores, you oh, did find madness. multiple copies. They literally had to have the same well, copies. No, I know. But do we have... There's Eve's flower. Okay, there's, there's Celestial Decay. We, okay, we didn't find Celestial Decay here, but we have... Like, I think Robocop's malfunctioning, Claire. Mm -hmm. I think because we definitely... We, we, scanned, we scanned over here and we didn't find Celest it's Celestial Decay over here. Did we fail to find... Oh, there's way more over here. Oh, there's Eve's flower. There's Eve's flower again. The ghoul man. Hey, Zeus. That, that sounds good. More peroxy in... too. Yeah. Pro plenty of proxy too. Disfingered too. Disfingered too. Yeah. The, 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 that's, that, that's a good one right there. Do we have it? I think... Ha have they been clever enough to not put celestial... In over here, there's Garden of Earthly Delights in the correct spot. But all the rest of no, there it is. Look, Robocop. We can confirm Robocop is malfunctioning because Celestial Decay. He didn't find it there, but he has located it in the the exact same thing over here. Dear oh dear, Robocop. And... Celestial Decay, classic. Still waiting for a sequel, but the guy who did that one has never made a part two in his career. But he said that if he ever did, he'd do a sequel to that one. Uh, how do you feel about that? Maybe Sequels, you could have a part two to your life if you stopped doing drugs. But if you do more drugs, there won't be a sequel at all to tomorrow. Tend to become imitations. Uh, give so Yes, I hope there is more in both films and your life, Pickles. They Pickles to Electric more. Boogaloo. Yeah. Plus, you get to meet the characters you liked again. That's why I don't hate them. Anyway, risking to sound like a broken record, that's not the tape we're looking for. All right, keep on scanning. Now we're into sci-fi, which contains uh, all the same... Fo oh, hang on, we're finally going to look at Eve's... This is... I feel like Eve's flower is even more not sci-fi than it was not action. Eve's flower. Beautiful depiction of violence in that one. Do you think violence can be beautiful? It's just shown with a different sensibility to what we're used to. Maybe because the guy's European. You know how they are. It's different. It's cool, is all I'm saying. We are cool, thank you. Recognizing beauty in something ugly is a unique feature. <sighs> Doesn't pay the bills, though. Then again, I don't have bills to pay anyway. And, uh, you know, movies, there is value in that. Tax avoidance is a crime. Find something meaningful. Yes, why don't you become a film YouTuber? You know, movies, there is value in that. Yep, there's nothing better than a good movie. But we're still missing our tape. This is the sort of incredibly. Oh, hang on, he's found I it. I found it. I messed up the title a little. It's called Me Sire, but here it is. That feels not biblical is to me, but uh oh. We're looking for tape. What? What tape? You like movies? Do you want to shoot an action movie? I think I'll wait till it comes out on VHS. Lights, camera. 
Action! Why is this happening? What? Are they having a shootout because they want to hire the same film before I hired it? Or because there's some drugs hidden in it? The actual fudge? No! There's so many people who have come to collect this video! No! No! Grab! Any more! Anybody else here? <laughs> oh, happy days. Why did you guys come and rob this place? This is all very peculiar of you. Don't do this. Why are you here? Hello, are you okay? I feel like that guy's dead now. Everyone okay? Yes? No? Why did you all come here? To steal that one videotape? You could have just rented it next week then you wouldn't be dead now okay is everyone okay by the way is is the guy is, is the guy okay the guy the other guy ran away yeah he ran into the back room with pickles ah there we go into the back room possibly the adult section if we're lucky first i hear a bunch of movie puns and then everyone starts shooting it all happens so fast sorry about that this this happens to me this is just how my life is i'm robocop where is Pickles? He ran out the back door. Where will I find him? I don't know. But uh, homeless or not, you still have to give an address to get a membership card. Try the computer. Maybe you'll find something there. Amazing. Right, also, just uh, top up my healing if need be. I'm already at max. Can I use one just to get maxed out? Yes, I can. And then just take that. So, okay, we're back up to full condition. Saw the computer at the front a second Who's ago. Pay for all this? So just look up Mr. Pickles. Alright, and last one to take. Josh Pickles! Sticky and sweet chicks, gone with the sprint, the sweet tooth strikes back, the bad, the fat, and the dirty. I don't know whether that last one's uh, from the adult section or not, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, Josh Pickles! Sticky pickles and sweeties. Probably just cookery. It's probably cookery. It's probably just cookery. Everyone's hired. I also have hired the, the, the bad, the fat, and the dirty. And gone with a the sprint. There's disfingered too. Excellent. There's, there's a cruel kitten strike back. Excellent. We definitely want cruel kitten strike back. That sounds, uh, that sounds like the, um, that, that sounds like the good stuff. Right there. There. Yes, we've also got, ooh, address hidden. La di da sorts. Various people are hiding. Will you say everyone needs an address? Ah, is it hidden as in I literally I can't see it because I don't have the right to see it? Well, maybe you only go and see Pickle's address and you're. It's possible, you know. Mm. Right, keep on keeping on. Just a mosey in that direction. You can keep all the guns, which I, if you'd like to keep all the guns, you can keep them. I'll take a micro SMG as my little backup. Never mind. I'll keep I'll keep that, in fact. I'll keep the assault. Apparently, I've still got an assault rifle on me from a previous mission. I'll keep that in that case. There we go. It's so dumb. We finally found the one video I was looking for. Then straight away, guys go, no, I want to rent that video. Let's fight. To fight to the, I'm going to have a shootout with Robocop. Oh, oh, game. Game, it's okay. It's okay, game. I got you. It's, it's, it's okay. Don't panic. It's all right. You don't need to panic. Uh, keep on keep. Go straight through this. Oh, hello, Ben. We did a previous mission. Oh, hang on. I've, I did a previous mission with him, but it never made it into the video. So you would have no way of knowing it ever happened. But I did. But I cut out the video because I didn't think it added much. So, okay. Find pickles. This is apparently the right location. You are around here. We just need to crack open all of... You scan. Door recently opened. It's gonna be a good sign. You're all right. Pickles. Of course I'm all right. I'm Robocop. Oh. I'm basically uh, bulletproof. I overheard some torchhead saying that they were running away from the cops and went through that video store. They had a wad of drug money on them and didn't want the cops yeah, taking it. you were it, right. So they hid it in one of the VHS cases. I misheard the title, so. I needed help. 
Oh, but you were trying to steal the tape. You knew the money was in there. Okay, pickles. I thought we were having an emotional breakthrough moment where I was going to help you onto a better path using dumb puns. But apparently, you were using me in order to get hold of flipping drug money. Pickles. Shame on you, sir. You need much more help than that. We all got problems. I, I fucked up, I know. And I get that you're on a mission to save my life or something. With all that great advice of yours. It takes courage. Sorry to disappoint you, Dad. But I'm lacking in that department. There's just one thing that I need right now. Which is? All I need right now is a fix. So, let me keep the money. You won't hear me asking about anything else. Are you asking a police officer to leave you with money from Nuke Distribution? I'm asking I a friend. I know you're a police officer first, but that. can't you be a friend this one fucking time? Pickles, I'm not angry, I'm disappointed. And I'm sorry, but I think that if I leave you with the money, you'll go and get super high, and also you'll be hunted down by the rest of that gang. I'm taking... I think it's... I think I should take the money. I think. Because I, I... I think you shouldn't be doing nuke. It, like, literally kills you. It very much kills you. Nuke is a very dangerous drug. And taking the drug money so you don't get gunned down or die of a nuke overdose. I am not doing this as a police officer. I am doing it as a friend. Hand over the case. You... You can't do this to me, man. I just did. Fuck you, Tin Man. I earned that money fair and square. No, you didn't. It you wasn't your money, and then correct. you tricked me into getting it for you. You did nothing. All right, I thought we were having a moment, but you lied to me, Pickles. You lied to Robocop. All right. We were all rooting for you, Pickles. My my robot hearts, which I may or may not have, has been broken, Pickles. All right, my robo motions. Uh, are, like, not doing well, R Pickles. How dare you? How flipping dare you, Pickles? Can you investigate the other, um... The other garage or whatever it is? Uh, yes, probably. And, yep, save that. We're almost being able to crack up things, and... Now I can scan it, but because I don't have any reason or right yeah, to go in there, sense. I can't do it. So, sense. okay. Question better. Aha! Ben the mechanic. Yeah, we've um we helped this guy out previously in a little mission. Uh so yes, rather we helped out one of his people. But I may have a little poke around, make sure there's any if there's any crime evidence. Yes, Claire. Uh yeah, we've got uh, lots of messages coming in. A uh, shout out to uh shout out to username I never managed to pronounce correctly. Uh Zombie Collapse, who gave us uh fifty uh Swiss francs. And shout out also to Stu McD, who gave us fifty pounds. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, thank you very much, Stu. And Stu says I've been watching for years, uh, but I've never managed to donate. Thank you both for all that you do for everyone. Um, I've got nobody, and I've had nobody in my life for a while, friend-wise. But watching on here makes it seem like I do, um, like you are talking to me while I'm gaming too. Well, that's lovely, and I hope you know. People are nice to you in the chat and whatnot. The chat's generally a lovely, chat happy place. The chat is generally a so, lovely, you know, happy place. Come and say hi yes, to everyone indeed. in the chat. I'm sure everyone no, is lovely down there have. as well. So, uh, okay. Apparently, Ben was a mentor to Scott, who was a kid who we helped out in a previous mission, mm. and he's got a Guiding Angel Award. That was a result of a previous mission. So, that's lovely. Very sweet. Right there. Right, Ben. Did you by any chance see anything about a crashed motorcycle? Or something, all right? Greetings, citizen. Ah, the best cop in the hood is back. How can I be of service? I am here in regards to a fugitive. Oh, damn. What is wrong with this thing? I need to get that car down, or God knows what might happen. Can you help me out with this? It's new, and I don't know where I put the manual. I will use the valve. Go on, then. Okay. Let's see how it's done. Scan thing. Press release button. Hydraulics malfunction. I feel like pushing the release button might be a bad idea. I'm going to do it. Car down. 
Can't be that hard. Okay. Bring the car down manually. I guess. Using my robot hands. It doesn't start. Pop the hood. Now I'm just doing mechanic work for this guy. Do you know what the problem is? Scanning. Using robot vision. Searching for clues. The coil has been disconnected. That would explain the car not starting. I feel like this is your job. Why am I doing your job for you as a mechanic? I detected an electric current inside the cooling tank. I recommend grounding it to fix the problem, but I am sure that you knew about that already. What? I mean, I would never miss such a thing. All right, check the battery. Battery is fine, stable, above 12 volts. That's one thing checked off then. Um, the alternator. Spark plugs there was the are alternator. not the main culprit. There is no power. I'm guessing it's an easy fix. All right. So in which case, hang on, fix it for him. Just doing this guy's job for him, which is it's delightful. <laughs> We're on the money. Well done, RoboCop. You are one serious Swiss Army man. I am best at catching criminals. I should get back to it. You said earlier you were looking for someone. A biker. Have you repaired any motorcycles recently? As a matter of fact, I did. This big, chunky guy showed up. Bald head, big ears, and spiky beard. Wasn't really warm and cuddly, but he paid cash in advance. So why would I refuse? Do you know the whereabouts of this individual? I don't, but he asked me if I do paint jobs too. Then showed me a ripped out page that had a tattoo design on it. He asked me to spray a mean looking bird onto his gas tank. Okay. So, right. Tattoo design. Why do you think the design was intended for a tattoo? The page he handed me had other graphics, which were clearly tattoo designs. And, as far as I remember, it had the address of a tattoo parlor that's close by printed on the bottom of the page. Aha! Uh -huh. What was the design you sprayed onto his motorcycle? It was some sort of bird, but I'm, I don't know what it's called. I'm not a botanist, but it had a bald head. All right, leave in that case. Thank I think we know what to do. Proceeding to the tattoo parlor. And I'm guessing had we gone to, yes, the crash scene, we could have, like, you know, followed the McJibble instead and, like, followed a trail back uh, followed a trail of some description in my vision so all right just need to move up in that direction and we're still looking for this Hang game on. has a vulture gang right yes i'm pretty sure yeah so that would be one hey of cunning clever i didn't think of that right while well, I'm as in that you know direction. i'm now a botanist exactly so. Claire, i would you while we motion over in that direction and look for more petty crimes to cause problems with Yes, indeed. Shout out to Lupus, who gave us $10 and says, I just wanted to let you know that I finally got to watch your Resident Evil 4 series. I had to hold off until I got to play it myself. I'm hoping you'll go through the DLC at some point, too. Separate ways, which hilariously, I never played the first time around because you may or may not remember, it was a PS2 exclusive back in the day. Uh, Resident Evil 4 was exclusive to the GameCube for some time, then eventually it came to PS2, and when it did come to PS2, they gave the Separate Ways campaign, uh, GameCube never got it, because that was in the days before downloadable content. Uh, you know, there were no expansion packs to console games the vast majority of the time, like, you know, you'd have, you might have small sequels or whatnot, but, like, if something wasn't shipped in the box at the start, you didn't get it. So as a result of that, yeah, I never played the original Separate Ways, though I have seen playthroughs of it before. Uh, on the PS2. So yeah, uh, I, 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 haven't, I haven't got round to it yet, uh, but I'm sure I will loop it at some point or another. Yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to Ardy, who gave us uh, 200 uh, Indian rupees and says, hey, John, when is the Starfield is better than you think video coming out? P.S. Please hug Ted for me and love you all. Starfield's a really weird one for me. Cause like there are there's, you know, it's my, you know, it's absolutely my crack. 
Like, you know, it's the exact, it's the <laughs> yeah. exact stuff I like. But I absolutely am 100% capable of criticizing it. And, uh, you know, there's bits of it I look at that I, I am disappointed by. Like, you know, the in particular, like, how some of the mini dungeons are absolute straight clones of each other. How the legendary guns are straight taken from Fallout 4. How many of the Starborn powers are straight taken from Elder Scrolls, either as spells or as dragon shouts. You know, there's bits of it that I find surprising in that regard so maybe I, it'll have to be a double part of video when it actually happens it, yeah it, it, it would probably yeah it would probably be more like you know it, depending on oh hang on random thing here hello if i just found some is there crime i think there might be some crime in here oh yeah this is where a lot of crime was just being stored actually some were storing all their crime in their crime box right here i'm glad we saw that but uh yeah i mean Depending on what I, I I think for me I'm gonna hold off a lot of judgment until we get or find out if there is a, a big you know difficulty overhaul and game mechanic overhaul in the form of Fallout 4 survival mode. If there is, that can I think really turn things around for me in a way. If there's not, mm. I expect at some point I'll have to talk about you know what I would have done in terms of a difficulty and mechanical rebalance of it. So yeah, it's it's an interesting one for me. I mean, also obviously we're one. not going to be able to do a video like that until we finish the game. You yeah, know, that's there that's is important. the point of the main plot as much as we love to avoid it. And whatever it. DLC they eventually yeah. bring out until you've actually properly experienced the game in full and um, mm. ideally more than once, you can't really do aforementioned things. So. Yeah, that will be so. Whatever form of an eventual like thought piece on Starfield takes, it's a long way off, an awful, awful long way off. Clap. Yeah, John's just gonna have to play more Starfield, you know, yeah. for research, for science. Deeply, deeply sad. Uh, yes, indeed. This is an extremely lovely message. Yes. Uh, an extremely lovely message from uh, Syed, who uh, gave us uh, ten pounds. And says, hey, John, Claire, and Ted. This year, I saw my nephew again after ages. He goes to put something on YouTube, and it was MATN. Nice. I've been watching you since the 28K subscription days. Ooh. And my nephew, with no input from me, also found you. Nice. That's just lovely. Thank you for sharing that. Okay. Here's something interesting. I swear this wasn't here when we first arrived. This was not here when we got here. Hello. The bank. Is that the bank? Somebody confused the courthouse with the bank again. The courthouse, yeah. No. I oh. heard one of the accused decided to defend himself, but I think he took things too literally. Okay. Something's going on here. Hello. What's 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 going on in the courthouse? Can I assist? I'm good at shooting people. I'm Robocop. I'm good at not getting shot, too. What happened? Can you believe this? A bunch of repeat offenders came up with a bright idea to storm the courthouse. For some reason, they think that if they destroy it, their prior convictions will go away. They That's took hostages that. and are now <laughs> demanding both the 6,000 SUX and I'm the plane of Acapulco. Acapulco is a war zone. I don't think these guys follow the news. But I'm afraid that it may be too late to rescue the hostages if we wait for SWAT. Ooh, hostage rescue. I'm terrible at that. Zone, I have first class tickets for them. LOL. Such a sarky deck. Right, we're supposed to protect the innocent. Directive two, not one, obviously. Right, all right, here we cocky go. Lads, you stay here. Robocop's going to go shoot some fools. Ah, oh, excellent. All right, well, there's going to be, we're going to need to use our slow-mo for this. Going to have to have a, our slow-mo going on. And, oh, why do I use that? You, you, you just use my normal gun. My normal gun's fine. I suspect I'm going to... Trigger the metal detector a little bit. Let's and oh it, no 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 no! And there's going to be more coming in. No no no! Activate shields. Uh, plenty more over there. Hello, don't mind me. Your head's exploded. And then just get away from that. All right, get over to here. Do we have? Oh, we've got more people over there. Oh, hang on. No no no. Oi, oi, hold, hold still. Hold still while I shoot you. Hold still while I shoot you. Oh, you can just blast out the cover. Oh, that's so cool. You just blast the cover out. That's lovely. Right. Keep on keeping on. 
There's a, yeah, there's only one fire mode in this. There's definitely someone up here. Hello! Who's that? Were you up? I see you! Just literally blast. Oh, blast the cover away. That's great. And there's one more over there. Yay, buddy. Buddy, I wouldn't recommend it. Dead. Right. A few more dead, but yeah, definitely there's going to be a hostage. Uh, there's going to be a hostage breach at some point or another. I think we're all. Oh, hang on. There was just a boom. Hello. Are you a good or a bad? Buddy. He's got a gun. Well, I hope he was. I hope he was, you know, a, a, a person. Oh, hang on. Can I just have a nice. Right. Uh, take that with us. Well, we can just pick up the, the things. Hello. Don't mind me. It just, just doesn't really fit. This, this is making some really... Oh, this is making some really horrible... <laughs> making some really horrible noises. Uh, right, just release the object here. We'll come back for that in a second, because I swear I saw a second to go. Yeah. Unlock thing. I need OCP card. Okay, I need to find the access card if I want to start cracking open some doors. Uh, right, in which case... Grab. Guys, there was definitely one person in here. Just... I think you already murdered them. Yeah, but there might be more people potentially hiding in here. Does I don't it... feel like this oh, is helping on. your visibility very much. I, I, this is all fine. There's definitely some more people around here somewhere. I just, I, I can't. You're right. I, I'm, I'm slightly struggling to see a little bit. But we're gonna, we're gonna just throw this at them as soon as the opportunity. We're gonna keep this bench in front of our face until we manage to throw it at somebody. It just doesn't okay? fit through the doors. It's making these horrible clacking noises. It passes through every door. So, okay, we need... That's that's the wrong way. Keep keep on keeping up. We just need to... There's so many people on the on the radar right now. Where are these people? I'm just... I'm just... I'm just we're just trying to... Someone's made what I think is approach the bench. Time for a bench trial. I don't know what a bench trial is. I'm not sure we use that term in the UK. But I think that's a very good pun. It feels like that's a really good pun. Well done. It's okay. Oh, keep on keeping on. Hello! Hi, we've got... Yeah, yeah. Throw object! Yes! Okay, there's... Bang! Bang! Oh! <laughs> Got you, mid. That was a great going on. Uh, apparently, a bench trial is when uh, there's no jury and the judge plays the role of the jury as finder of fact, in addition to making conclusions of law. What we would call a magistrate's trial in the UK, I believe, because a, a, sure a judge presides over a jury trial, but a magist I think magistrates have the ability to actually rule on innocence and guilt themselves. Right. I love how I'm collecting crime evidence from a courtroom where it's clearly already been found and is already crime evidence. Yeah. But okay. It just... does feel like you're stealing a bit. Maybe you're grabbing crime evidence of the particular crime people did by storming the place. Can we unlock the door here? Yeah, we can unlock this door. So that opens that. To be honest, it feels like that door was already open. <laughs> Oh, Bethesda game never changed. It's true. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Get out the wall. I believe in you. I believe you can do this. Get, get out the wall. Come on. You're almost... Oh, oh, he's almost there. Get down. Just a little bit further. A little bit further, buddy. A little bit further. You're almost there. Just get out the wall. Oh, that was the wrong way. Get out of the wall. So close. So close. Okay, from the other side. The other side here. That's reasonable. That looks like that's not too unreasonable. I yeah, think that's acceptable enough. physics to me. That's an acceptable level of physics. There's another bench. <laughs> Grab more benches. Uh, yeah, shout out to Jan, who has been a member, of, or Jan, sorry, who's been a member for 14 months, and says, the honorable, the honorable Robocop approaches. Be seated. Excellent. Sorry, I don't actually know what a trial, like voice or whatever it's supposed to sound like. Well, you know what? Now you're a British citizen. You can get called up for jury duty any time. I've done jury this duty. That's true. I've done incredibly... It was the boringest shit. Mm. I got given such boring cases. but Which I can't talk about because that would definitely be a crime. Yeah, but, but it wouldn't was... it be worse oh. if you'd oh, been called to a really interesting case and you couldn't talk about it? Huh? Like, if you'd been that's called to a really interesting case and you couldn't talk about it, that would be That worse. would be worse, you're right, in a way that's true. So, okay, hang on. I still... I never found the access card, though there's something going on over this side. Can I use the... Can I use, like, the code I found to open up this by any chance? No. 
Go there this. was something about like there was a painting up top that was uh you know what you're not wrong there was something that was mm -hmm. highlighted on the balcony whether that's connected to it but clearly clonk, we can't clonk, activate clonk, clonk, that clonk. but you're right there was something up here wasn't there i think i saw it too bench maybe it was the mm. you know what i thought you were right as well but i don't see it now so, okay, we got into one courtroom by going in the top way here. I've scanned that. There's definitely no... I say there's definitely no key card. Hang on, possibly the key card is right, was right there on that table. Because something's being highlighted over here. Hang on, was this where there was a key card? Possibly. Incriminating. Is, is it this lamp? This lamp is... Is this lamp two metres away from you? Is that the briefcase behind the table? You're right, there is a briefcase there. Is it briefcase? Mm. Very weird. It keeps saying two metres away. Maybe it's the witness box. Did, did, did the physics blow the card away? I'm starting to worry that the card may have been blown away in some capacity. Okay. Hang on. That's. I, I mean, I, I definitely exploded someone, or rather, I shot someone, then their grenade went off, which makes me worry that potentially this is supposed to have been here. I mean, if I can interact with it, it will be highlighted. Maybe that's like room number one, but I need to find a way into room number two. Now, I went upstairs. Is there any chance I could this? Get you out the way. Is there anything like no? They're not hiding a secret back entrance in here. Oh, hang on! Breach wall! And straight in here. And no! Right. Go, go, go. Right. And then activate shields. Any more for any more? Definitely someone up, sells up there. Oh, someone's tossing grenades from above. Get out the way. Unlock the door. And security gate has been unlocked. Hey, buddy. I know you're up here somewhere. Hi, there you go. All right, before you do more physics damage, John. Yes. Uh, there was something, yeah, on this table. Yeah, right I, think it, I think it's on whichever table you do last. Mm -hmm. So you could do those in either order. But, like, you've got to, it's got to be, uh, oh, that's some good, that's some good giblets. Good giblets there. There we go. Your giblets are still a little bit on the angry side. Ooh, nice. Right. So we've definitely now got the access card. So we've got those. Were there doors upstairs that could open with those? I don't think there were. So, okay. We're probably now going into... We can't open them. We're probably now going into the save the hostages moment. So it's very important. All right. We don't, don't use don't a... Don't be too trigger happy. don't use a bench. Okay. We're going to go in, well actually, you know what, with the card, can I maybe go in a better sideway that doesn't involve, because surely they're expecting a frontal assault. They're expecting me to come in that door. But if there might be like, say, a side route I could take in that might give me a better angle of approach. Sadly, no, I can't open those doors just yet. So, okay. Mosey on back to the front. We'll take you out in that regard. We'll just go in. I've got a, I've got a good, like, you know, slow-mo thing. And, okay, here we go. Activate breach. I've got some slow-mo built in. That I can activate a second slow-mo, and I don't need to reload, which is good. Go. And go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Oh. And now activate slow-mo the next. Oh. Okay, now we're in trouble. Now we're potentially... No, 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 not the hostages. I feel like one... No! You weren't dead! Yay! Yay! Also, is that... Oh, is that Becca? Robo, if you could call my boss and confirm what happened Wait, what? here. He wouldn't believe that I was taken hostage for the third time this week. <laughs> Stay here. The police will come to That's question That's Becca, you. the guy, my boss, who hates me, I think. Mm. If that is Becca, then I feel like I've just made up for stealing that journalist McJibble. All right. <laughs> I can spray these people with blood. <laughs> Great. 
Hello. You're owing are you Becca or are you just, do you just look a lot like Becca who travels around with a bodyguard that looks a lot like Becca's bodyguard? Because I feel like you, 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 I feel like you're Becca. You definitely, if you're not Becca, you look a lot like him. All right, there we go. We've had, we've got various codes, things, statutes, by book. Wait, uh, there was something on the table that you, that yeah. was intractable, I think. What? Oh, there was as well. Incriminating crime evidence. All right. All of that's open. Keep on to just steal more evidence from a court and then hand it back <laughs> into the police station. I feel like I'm just destroying various trials right now. Like all sorts of trials. This definitely feels like that's Becca. That definitely feels like I've just saved Becca's life. And if I have evidence, I feel like I deserve for him to like look the other way for the rest of it. More incriminating crime evidence. And then back to the... Ah, that's just out the sideway. Right, this would be like, you know, the judge's chambers, which are used for like... judge things. I guess. Yeah, sure. Yeah, judge things. That makes sense. I feel like the judge shouldn't have one of those. I, feel, I, I just feel like the judge shouldn't be having quiet chats at the back. I feel like any chat should be had out here in front of everyone with a microphone on. Well, that might be for, like, mediation and stuff. Mm -hmm. Not everything goes to Ooh. a full trial. Bench! Whee! Look, I didn't even get to throw a bench. This is bad. There we go. Out with Claire's doing the voice she normally uses for Ted, by the way, if you're deeply confused why Claire this was just true. doing a baby voice. This is that true. Was I the didn't Ted do voice. that on purpose. That was yeah. the Ted voice that she applied to, like, Robocop. Anyway. But that is the voice Claire no, assigned that to I, Ted. I applied it to you wanting to break shit in video games. That was that was why it was I endearing. also get to break all of these things. That seems fair. Oh, hello. There is also... Didn't realize that was there. One fake ID card. Top up my health. Recharge my... No, that was the not thing I wasn't supposed to. Never mind. I I, I just wasted the charge because that was not... That doesn't recharge my chargey thing. That that does the other. But that's fine. Right. Straight out we go. Just making sure there's no... No, no crime evidence Wait, needs to be done there. Wait, what was that thing? That green thing that was... Like a, a thing you switch over people to check oh, for sorry. I thought metal the detector. Green, I thought the green was your interactability. No, not, uh, no, no, no. an LED on it. Look, I saved all the hostages. That's got to be worth some crime points. I deserve a crime hey, point. Hey, Robo. Oh. You showed them. A crime ocean. It was a pleasure to work with you. I did. I killed all those people. You're welcome. All right, now the... Yes, tattoo polish just around the corner too. Clap. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> dear, oh dear. A uh, shout out to Ali, who's been a member for 39 months. Uh, and Ali says, I keep having to miss streams. Sad face. Were you planning another Fall Guys community stream this year? It was definitely a high point for me last year. I was to give that for next week because it's going be almost Christmas next week. Yes, indeed. That strikes me as an eminently yeah, reasonable. So, yes, that's very likely next week. Okay. Very cool, very cool. No tattoo removal, no <laughs> refunds, no complaints. Right, let's shake some information out of you, Mr. Tattoo Full Person. Full metal armor and you still want piercings. Hey, respect. Okay, buddy. Let's talk about the bird, probably a vulture. Because I ain't I no botanist. A tattoo, then. It'll really bring out that jawline. Okay. So, how about I bring out your <laughs> jawline? Yes! How about I bring out your jawline? <laughs> hey, man, no pressure. I was just trying to be helpful. Anyway, if you're not here for inking, what do you want? I'm looking course, for a botanist. But... I heard he was your customer. I don't serve no bikers. Don't know who told you that, but it's a load of bull. Are you denying making tattoos for the street vultures? <laughs> You've got no proof, cop. Now stay off my case. I need to get back to my work. Well, you're not being very helpful to Robocop. I'm going to go around and scan things with my eyes. What next? You gonna try to tell me that I'm smuggling nuke in a red inker? Possibly. You? you still here? I don't want my customers to confuse my. Oh, biker for goggles shop. and motorcycle keys. That feels pertinent. Continue scanning. Also, he's being very rude to Robocop. Yes, don't be mean to Robocop. I'm doing my best, all right. I'm like a rogue Robocop. 
hence Rogue City. I mean, City. also, you literally threatened him with police violence. Possibly. Also, vultures are mentioned on I several found pages. Of your connections to the biker gang. It was actually uh, very easy. I'm not telling you nothing, cop. Spike and what is left of the street vultures are going down. It is your choice if you want to join them. Ah, oh, fuck. I told him not to come in here when he was so hot. He brought this on himself. Where is he? Nah, he's got a place nearby somewhere, but I don't know where exactly. I am afraid this information is too vague. His motorcycle must be parked outside. It's some sort of chopper. I don't know. You can check the plate number on that photo. Wise choice for a scum artist. Oh, I can't concentrate with all those reflections bouncing off your armor. All right. Aha! The picture. Though I'm not sure I think you can really see the license plate on that, but fine. Apparently I can. Robocop's got good scanning eyes, damn it. It's all right. Now, find correct motorcycle. Hey, Mr. Mills would like to have a word. Oh. He's waiting in the car. Because I just saved him by any chance? Come I just on, saved come someone. On. Hello. Oh, hang on. You're the other mad candidate, it right? It's an honor to finally meet the hero of the city in person. It's a shame that our basketball team can't fill us with similar pride. Yeah, just lost to Atlanta. Some say it's because of a lack of team players. Do you think it's that important? Being a team player? No, absolutely not. Yes, depends on the team. Nice. Not every team is worth joining. You have a very multifaceted outlook. Impressive. As for me, I have always valued team play. That was the way things were when my parents worked for the city. My grandfather used to tell me that this neighborhood was a great place for an evening stroll. Now it's different. Kuzak allows the city to be taken over by criminals. He can't stop it because he's not a team player. He fails to realize that OCP has given this city its most precious treasure. You. I want to work with you and OCP to improve this city. I want to take care of your interests. It's about time someone did. But to make it a reality, we would need your support. So, what do you think about getting involved in politics? Sorry, I like the other guy better. He seemed much better. So, no, no, I'm, I'm just an observer. It's fine. I follow politics, but I do not take sides. So also, you allow I don't like, others so to you're use you. probably not going to like that. A pawn. You are the symbol of the city. Everything you do, everything you say has a political impact. No matter if you talk privately or publicly, you should choose what you want to represent. Incompetence and unaccountability or partnership and determination. Only one of these paths leads Detroit to its former glory. You say you wouldn't join every team. So, let's create a team that you would want to be a part of. We have a common goal. Together, it will be easier to achieve it. Oh, you'll have to forgive me. We're already late for another meeting. Now think about what we've discussed. About what we could do for this city. Together, as a team. I count on your support. Such a slimy No, I didn't. What? I did We no explicitly told him we wouldn't support him. I just said I wouldn't, but okay, fine. Right, let's go tread down that motorcycle. Clap! Yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to Adrian, who gave us five Canadian dollars. Best dollars. Uh, and says, here is five bucks for John to stop doing the robot voice, please. <laughs> wow, rude. Negatory. Negative. Robot. Uh, Sankey, uh, 84 Gaming, has been a member of 13 months and says, I hope you're both doing well. Uh, have you played Stellaris Nexus? If yes, what are your thoughts? And if no, do you plan to? I played a really early version. They gave it to me like way, way, way before it was uh, available to the public. I was underwhelmed. It didn't really feel like, you know, it was that related to Stellaris, to be honest. Like, you know, it's... It, 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 I guess it's got like, you know, the same coat of paint on it in a way. But like, I didn't look at it and felt like, you know, it, felt, it really felt that Stellaris-y to me. It didn't really 
it didn't speak to me. It felt like, you know, a bit of a mobile game in a way. I, I, I don't think it's one for me. I, I was not, imp I was not like, you know, overwhelmingly impressed by what I saw when we first arrived. So, okay, hang on. We're looking for like a chopper like was in the photo. That would be roughly the right style of bike. Give it a look, say. But that was not the match. Okay, we're going to need to just keep looking around for a bit. Claire, want to try and find the right bike in this area? Ah, uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Smelly Feet, who gave us a pound. Uh, Smelly Feet, always a fantastic username. And uh, if you did want to leave a message, even though you YouTube has this weird thing, right? It's like a dollar, a pound, you can't leave a message. You have to give more money. So fuck off. People gave money, let them leave a message. Aha. Uh -huh. So anyway, you at reply me in chat if you wanted to leave a message, please. I found um, the motorcycle bare minimum. And always at reply me in chat if you want to say something, whether yes. or not you donated any money. Like, we want to know what you're thinking of the stream and everything. Sadly, we cannot scan the mailboxes to find Spike's name to associate with a particular apartment. So instead, just have a that bit might of a not be yeah, round. his given name. I'm so glad you're here. I can deal with screams and fights, but this music is driving so me crazy. Cleaning blood yeah, off the wall. He's worried like about music. Over. Is that the same Wait. guy who was the alien conspiracy yeah, theorist? Because I swear that's the same guy. Mm. All right. Well, there's no crime evidence up here. So in which case, just always make sure we've got all of the crime evidence. And we know Spike was, you know, put you on a little musical show. Yeah, incriminating something or another. Is. There's an OCP recovery charge. Brilliant. So we've got some good stuff out the basement bare minimum. All right, up to Spike. He put on that big musical number in the slaughterhouse. So it makes sense why there would be loud music. We just need to follow the music to get to him. Right, now are we going to... Open, not breach, apparently. And... We're going very calmly. Still no joy with the broadcast! Fucking OCP is good for nothing. Shit. Be quiet, you moron! Yes, we'll get working in no time, Mr. Wendell. Sir! Yes! We won't screw it up. He's using you, just like he used us. Oh, shit. He hired us, but he failed to deliver. That's why he went to get what we were owed. Ah! Oh. Talk about a sore loser. You had your chance and you blew it. Now it's the Torchance turn. Deal with it, biker bitch. It's a shame don't be stupid. Who would I be kidding? They just haven't noticed me standing right there. Why did I join the party? Oops. You weren't invited. Let's crush this tin can. Why would you think this is going to go well for you? But all right, fine. Straight there. And I've also got a lovely... That's terrible cover. Bad cover. Any more for any more. You can just come here. Do you have any friends? I'm not sure you've got any friends. It's all right. In which case, just move you out to this direction. And into the toilet you go. <laughs> That was good. That's precisely what I was looking to happen. Oh, and a little nice swish little too. Swish. Right, help myself to some prime evidence. Now, Mr. Spike, I feel like life has not gone well for you in general. And it's not going to go better starting today, I'm going to be honest. Hello there, Spike. We're not untying you to answer some questions. Don't have the radio. By the way, all hang on. That's, no, that's just a gum. That's just a gum. There we go. No more music. All right. Nice and peaceful for the interrogation. We want, you know, the right vibes for interrogating Spike. Hello, what Spike. What did Wendell make you do? You saw it yourself. He needed us to extract brains from corpses. Most of my men didn't have the stomach for it. Why brains? He would never say. Wendell keeps his cards close to his chest. Where He's making robo corpses. When? Now? Uh, I bet it'd be in front of a screen wherever that fucking signal is supposed to reach. Because he's always watching. Operator, requesting an ambulance. One unconscious fugitive suffering heavy blood loss. Okay, scan camera. See if we can track down where it's broadcasting to. Here we go. 
Well, there's literally a wire leading over here. Ooh, I didn't see this room before, but this strikes me as useful. And I still don't have enough engineering to open the safe. And you can never cock it open the safe for any other reason. Right, hang on. That's an important thing. And that, it's being broadcast somewhere. Okay. Computer scan required. Hang on, use computer. Where this might be a trap. So, Star Trend Transmission. Okay. Move up. Move down. There we go. Day Transmission. Change map. And it will change map. Well, okay. End Transmission. Transmission. Turn off mobile sats to end. Ah! Old Mall. I know where it's supposed to be going, at least. That's good. Okay, so I've got the location. Hang on. Think anything else after that? Start end transmission. Transmission online. Can't end it. Change map. Hardware setup. Well, at least I've got the thing. I can't turn it off apparently, but at least I've got the thing. So okay. Operator, Wendell's trail leads to the outskirts west of town. Continuing pursuit. Alright, we've got a shootout in a big old abandoned mall. Let's just get Spike out of here nice and quick. Return to the streets. Right, Claire, while we just walk him downstairs. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Flair, who gave us five pounds and says, Hey, John, Claire and Ted, uh, take some of my first paycheck. Oh, congratulations. Uh, I love the work that you guys do. You've consistently, uh, you've cut. You've constantly, sorry, uh, brought many a true smile to my face. That's lovely to hear. Thank you. I hope you're That's enjoying lovely. your job. Good luck with uh, with the new job. Uh, and let's see. We're going into a plot bit. Yes. Oh, we're just putting him in an ambulance. Whether there'll actually be anything said or not, I don't know. We'll have to see whether anyone shows up. And whether I save Becca's life or just someone who looks very similar. Be kind of embarrassing if I choked the brief like I saved your life, but I was like, no, you didn't. That was just a different, unrelated, white, grey-haired guy. That that wasn't me. But all right, I think we are now probably wandering off to the next mission. So that was that was one mission, by the way, that's taken us about two hours to do of thirty. There are 30 missions, and I all so many of them have got like little submissions like this. Like some of them have got like loads of wandering around. Some of them are way more focused, like the bank job, and I'm this next one probably. But like, it is wild how this was one mission out of 30. There was like you know, three tiny submissions, some of which were really kind of fun and and, and just uh, such a good game. So, so really, I think this game is this game was critically underrepresented. The Game Awards recently should have been there. Damn, it deserves to have been. All right. We're leaving the area. I think we are. Hang on. Apparently, there's. If I leave now, I will not have successfully done my my. Uh, yes, my server protect mark two. But I've looked around and I haven't found anything else I want to arrest. Or possibly I let someone off with a warning. I could possibly have let someone off with a warning if they're not here. If there's nothing going on here. I don't know where else it would be. I think this is the... Yeah, this car park is like the only place I've not been to. I think I've... Oh, speaking of which... Okay. Is it possible I might just have found it at the end here? Crack this open. Now there's... There'll be some crime evidence in here. But that gets me another skill point, which is probably just enough, actually... For Claire's very most exciting thing of all, engineering goes up to the next level, and we can crack a safe. Brilliant. So next time we see a safe, we actually can crack it. And on top of that, now I've invested a few times in this McJibble. So that is, yeah, the engineering is, yeah, 30% chip modification bonus. So at this point, if I was to go to, yeah, chip merging... If I just put in some weak chips I don't want, like 16, 17, 17, merge them. What do I sort of, what do I get typically now? The answer is 23. Not bad. Let's just merge some more. I'm never going to use the 17s. So just merge them together. See what we get. 22. 
17, 17, 18. Uh, like that's really underwhelming at this point to my mind. A 20 is a little bit on the underwhelming side. I felt like I got lucky the first time. Kind of for 25! That'll flip and do the job. Right, and just toss in just a few more 18s right there. And a 20. Nice. nice. Okay, well, I got a 25 at the bare minimum. So that's got to be a decent enough, uh, decent enough start. So, uh, yes, all at this way. Was I looking at just dead ends there for a second? Hang on. I think I was looking at just dead ends. I think I was looking at just dead ends. So in which case, we can definitely toss a few more in. Claire, well, I just merged some chips together. Nice, another 25. Yeah. Uh, yeah, shout out to Il Plazzo, who gave us five pounds. And says, I bought my first home today. Nice. Uh, and MATN is streaming my favorite rough gem for this year. Merry Christmas, one and all. <laughs> oh, that sounds lovely. Yes, indeed. It's okay. We've now got some nice little bits and pieces here. So, for example, uh, hang on. Oh, the, yeah, the 22 aiming. That can be a 26. That could be the 26, you're right. I was hoping to kind of put it into power, not aiming, yeah, to be honest. Yeah, but that's not really possible, though. Yeah, I can replace, and that 26 could also go to... Uh, the 26 could also go another one on aiming. This is weapon spread, officially. So, oh, like, you know, sorry. that it means you... I mean, if I'm going for crits and I want to get the headshot, accuracy the 26 is... 26 could also... Oh, but that's a 25. Could also, to placing, some extent, yeah. go... To also, to some extent, go in there which is not terrible. 20. And then the 25s, is there anywhere else where that could go where it would actually do any good? I don't think so. And then there's a 25 block at the end, but I'm not sure that really does me much good either, to be honest. No, it's it... a somewhat unfortunate. Yeah. But at some point, we'll get a bigger chipboard that actually does what yeah. we want it to do. So we'll leave, the, we'll leave that for now. So weapon spreads there. Weapon damage is damn solid as well. That's what I go for. You know what? Let's just toss in. I really think we're beyond wanting 20 at this point. LOL! Toss in three twenties, get a 20. Toss in. You're messing with me, game. You're messing with me. Give me a 25. 25! Oh, nice. That's a bit better. That's got to go somewhere. A 25 all round has got to be somewhere, surely. If nothing else, I can go down in the bottom right. That 20, yeah. Yeah, I can replace that, which is magazine capacity. Magazine capacity for no! the infinite for the infinite ammo gun. Wait, what's the what's that? That's just the source of power. I mean, that's oh, so that's that where has that's to where it in. flows from. That's just where it flows. From. Yeah, like power yeah, has yeah, to yeah. flow from there to get anywhere else. It'll do. Uh, it will do for now. So, all right, let's go shoot up a, 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 an old abandoned mall. Claire. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to Matthew. Uh, shout out to Matthew who gave us $10 and says, uh, Hey, John and Claire, I've been watching since 2018 and y'all got me through college. Dear, oh dear. That's people the, are young. People are very young. I just got accepted to medical school and I wanted to say thank you for the years of awesome content. Nice. Congratulations on oh, being useful. Good luck yay. being useful. Cat. Good job, Dr. Matthew. Cat. Oh, cat. Right. Let's go to thing. Even though I'm going to fail, it's like it literally gets me 50 XP. I probably gave someone a warning, not a ticket, and that's probably why. Well, somebody said why. a warning still count. Eh, then there's something somewhere in the level. But mm. as it's literally 50 XP, I'm happy with that. There we go. That's a very run-down abandoned mall. So I feel that's that's fine. There's probably not too many shoppers we need to worry about. So we just need to find... Oh, creepy mannequins. Everyone loves creepy mannequins. Right. That is just a little plan here. Which is excellent. There's, okay, there was there there were apparently five different shoe stores in this one mall. Vons and only and two one but only wooden shoes and only one food stall. That feels imbalanced to me. That is... Like I feel like you need more than one food joint for five shoe stores. One one food joint, three different global record stores. Yeah. I feel like I know where this mall went out of uh, business. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely problems there. Right, motion in this direction. Right, we've got creepy mannequins. Everyone loves creepy mannequins. Keep on keeping on. Cracker open. 
Definitely like it. This is a good creepy place for a shootout, I would say. Downstairs, and are we doing a proper... We're not doing breaching yet. Not yet. And... Oh, we might just go into night vision First, mode. Can't even connect a few oh, hang on. Cables. It's now my journalist friend, I think. Just shoot him. Shoot him right now. There's the bad guy, and you've got a gun. Shoot him with the gun. The new guy. He's waiting for some big wig to show up. I feel it's like they would hear both her talking and Robocop walking, and, but yeah, sure. That's what I want to find out. Mr. W, we still have no contact with the funhouse. I'm on the phone. We're ready. I understand, but please tell him that this is not a meeting that can be postponed. I see. It's gonna be Becker shortly. No, so, the old man. They ain't coming, right? Fucking suits! Keep your anger to yourself, or I'll share mine with you. Robo? Oh, I'm Who's having there? a moment. Show yourself! You'd better not. As you wish, creep. You are under arrest. You know Come Wendell has a remote really control! Believe that's what's gonna happen? Take care of him, boys. I'll meet you on the roof. You know he literally has a remote up, control that works freak? on you! Forget where you left your car? You better go, Miss Ortiz. It Don't say her name out loud, they might not have seen her! Trouble. Alright, just activate my shield and then bang, bang, bang! Bang! Is like, I have a remote control to stop him from killing you guys, but I'll be on the roof because I don't give a shit. <laughs> And just walk straight on through them, lovely. Right, I've also got my shock, just to keep them surprised. Slow-mo. Dead, that crit is sexy. Crit is sexy as anything. All right, we got shield. What else we got? Whatever that is. Ooh, that's a reflection panel. That's a thing I can do now. I can, yeah, I can bounce bullets into targets. I, I always forget that, but that's hilarious. Oh, we can also explode cars. Remember, I can explode cars. That's useful. Right. So we've got that. I can also just toss chairs at people. Yeah, screw you. Oh, it exploded more. That actually cool. caused a more of an... That, that rolling chair rolled into a car and it exploded more, which I'm very glad about. I'm just glad that that's a thing that happened. Continue exploding more. Kind of dead. Kind of dead it right It feels there. like the computer should have made it explode more than the chair made it explode, but whatever. I'm just sure that the chair just rolled into it gently and then they just went kaboom. That was just deeply enjoyable. Right, just basically may as well activate my shield anytime I need to because it comes back so fast, but... Oh, they're driving around in a car. And also, I think they ran me over. They, they absolutely just wrote, just ran me over. That was surprisingly easy of them. Well done. Good work, guys. And I, mean, I think they did. They ran you over and also ran themselves over by hitting you. They, they did total their car. That's true. I feel like I'm now malfunctioning, which is no bloody good at all. Because Alice? also, is that you? I'm in a dream sequence. Come to us. Because all yeah, of Dad, we're waiting are the for you. same. It goes, it stretches off infinitely in every direction, looking the same. I'm in an also, infinite fake dream space. Also, Murphy is currently in a coma. Yeah. Yo, oh, I'm back. Well, someone ran me over, which in all fairness, like, I'd, I'd be surprised that worked. So, you know, if you just ran a car into like, yeah, that actually knocked him on his ass. You know what? Well done. I'm, I'm surprised that that worked. C congratulations, quite frankly. Punch. Never use the punch. I just feel like I've got an infinite... Oh. Don't, don't... Take a moment to splash some water on your face. Or, like, dry water off your face. Or whatever it is robots do. I feel like you're not in a fit state to be taking on Watts' face. And that's the only reason you're in a not fit state. Yeah? Is because... Are you coming? Is because he's used his remote control on you to mess with you. As part of his RoboCorps program. So, okay. Go... Oh, infinite spooky hallway. Dad, Dad are you here? Ooh. I'm scared. Come find me, please. Why won't you 
come for me, Dad? Don't leave me, please! Don't leave me alone! Keep on keeping on. I'm not in a good emotional state to take on Wendell. Dad? Still very much, very much flickering. Very much flickering. Not in good, not in good shape at all. Oh, there's so many mannequins. There's so many mannequins. And sometimes my targeting system. The exists. mannequins are the ghosts from your past. I can shoot that one's leg off. I shoot the other leg off. Hey. Well, we can knock them over. That's good. That we know they're not secretly like people in disguise if we've already shot them. Do you have in? Yeah, you have infinite I have ammo. In I have infinite ammo. Lol. I have infinite ammo. So I know these aren't real people. The problem I is. I mean, you also literally have a, a thing that will light up if. Oh. Now a free gift for engaged couples. Goldfinch jewelry has a discount on wedding rings. Choose something special. It's a symbol of your love and something for her to remember you by after you decided to get yourself killed and leave your family <laughs> all alone, Alex Murphy. Don't hesitate. Come and take advantage of our offer. Okay. I'm having a bit of a funny moment right now. Yeah. Don't trust any of you. Don't trust any of you. Down you go, the lot of you. Right. Oh, I might literally go to the jewelry store. Oh. Over here, Murphy. I think I'm hearing my wife and child in the back room. Definitely having a moment right now. Dad? I think Ted's having a moment too. Yeah. Ted's having puppy dreams. Yeah, Ted's providing the voice of your actual You're child. Scary. Yeah. I don't like how scary you are now. It's, it's not, not your, your dad, dad, kid. It's, it's not, not even a police, police officer. officer. I don't know, I don't know what, what it is anymore. <laughs> Anna would never say that. Anna would never say such a thing. That's locked. That might be the back way out. Alright. Loop back round to the front door in that case. Just to make sure we gather all the crime evidence. Remember I've got a shield. Remember I've got everything. And... Now the mannequins are flickering. The remains of my husband, a police officer killed in the line of duty, were used to create some kind of a metal monster. I want to bury it to move forward with my life. Do you have a funeral suit that would fit that empty shell? Everything's weird. And some of the mannequins are going to be not mannequins, but that's fine. If we just keep shooting all of them... Eventually, they'll be... Yeah, eventually. eventually. one of them will turn out to be your son. Oh, that's true. And I... you've shot it now. Well, that's fine. He said I was a metal monster and was scaring him. He deserves that. Oh, one of them's Bethesda-ing. That one's Bethesda-ing. I don't think that was actually your kid. Well, he might have said it. I feel like we should shoot him just in case. There we go. That's got rid of the mannequins. Just imagining mannequins right now. Just the moment any trouble shows up, we just hit the shield button. It's all gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be... I'm just looking for the one burger store. Like, you know, I'm just curious at what point we're gonna pass by the one and only burger store. Where apparently everyone had to eat because there was nowhere else to cook and eat in this entire mall. So, alright. Keep on keeping on. Go for the exit. Did you hear? It's, it's true. You're, you're not, not one, one of us, us anymore. anymore. You're, you're not, not human. And you're, and you're not, not a real cop. cop. No, I'm a Robocop. It's you're better. You're just, just the rotting, rotting remains, remains of Alex Murphy. You're, you're something, something that, that should never have been. been. Something, something that should not, not exist. exist. We have, we have to, to fix, fix you. you. We have, we have to, to erase you. And we, and we will. will. Just, Just come, come to us. us. Come, come to the, to the rooftop. rooftop. We're waiting. 
Okay, just stuck in a terrifying spiral that might eventually lead somewhere. Try left this time. Okay, now there's only a... Yep. Now there's only a left door. Oh, this looks promising. Except now it's night. Which is... I think you've been stuck in this for a while. I think I've been literally stuck in a loop, being as I am a Robocop. And I can't... Oh, there's one of the Eds. There's an Ed out there. That's not good. Just could have Wendell to wait for you until the night, though. Yeah, but why are there cars on the roof, Claire? That doesn't feel like a real thing, does it? Okay. Hello. Hi. It's me, Robocop. I'm a cop, but also a robot. I'll agree, there's, there's some wiggle room in the middle there. It's the crap that is stuck to our shoe. A cuckoo egg planted by OCP. We need to clear our station of this shit. We must smash that thing. Fire at will. Please don't. Oh, hang on. Shield. Activate. Slow mo. I'm really sorry, guys, but like you, you fired first. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. You're not one of us. You feel that too, don't. Oh, is that your kid's school? I feel like I'm back in my house. Which can't remember oh, is what that it your house? I can't remember yeah. what it looked like in the film. There's coffee in the kitchen. Ooh, coffee. Coffee, 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 coffee. coffee. And muffins. Nice. Why didn't you mention the muffins first? Is it going to be world's Ooh, best dad? The mug. World class husband. Aww. And dad, can you a fix very the large number of apples. I think, I think something's, something's broken. broken. I'm having my coffee, you stupid brag. Give me a second. Christ, I just walked in. Dad, fix my camera. Dad, play fetch with me. Dad, show me affection. Jeez, kids. Wish we'd never had him. Tell him that this Christmas. Hey, you fixed it. It wasn't even broken, you stupid idiot. Dad wouldn't miss it, would he? Could I take the coffee with me? Examine. The coffee mug is empty, John. You oh. look so sexy in that uniform. Why won't you stay a little longer? Well, because someone got murdered, Ellen, and I've got to go check it out. Yeah. All right. Can I get anywhere else in my oh, that house? house is really not nice. Oh, it's also a bit Escher. Yeah, it also doesn't actually make sense. You're right. Uh, okay, that's that's fascinating. Why 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 is that like that? Okay, that's that's weird, but fine. Just scan my own house for crime evidence. And now I'm now I'm in an alley. Oh, this will be where I get ambushed. This looks like roughly where Alex Murphy gets killed in the original RoboCop, not the terrible new one, which was different and much worse. What new one? Well done. Top marks. Yes, I think the fun thing I saw this in the chat. I believe in the original, Alex Murphy like his limbs are blown off, but like you feel like his torso is. I think his torso and a head is still okay. In the new one, the one thing it did well was it like it decided to extend the body horror like way further, and it said, okay, all that was left of Alex Murphy was basically his brain, like one hand, and like the lungs. Everything else is gone. So when you take the suit away, he's just like a hovering pair of lungs with a head on it, and that's it. And like, and it's it's really horrifying. It does. There's one good body horror scene in the new one, and that's it. Other than that, it's terrible. Everything else is bad. So all right, but yeah, this will be where I died. Why are you here? I'm about to be shot. Do you not love your family? No attachments. No leverage. This is a gift. Scan for crime evidence. Don't take him away from me! Everyone, Everyone wants, wants to be back, back home, home with their, their families. families. Be, be back, back home. home. I remember this. This was we've had this flashback before when we were in the musically place. Is that your show oh! program for chance? Yeah. And then they blew me arms off with shotguns. I'm having a wibble. 
Oh, and now, now shit's getting weirder. Warning Welcome objective down. malfunction. Let's take a stroll through your old home. Do you think you can just go back? Go on with your life like nothing happened. This is a one-family house built by ZM Industries. It was for sale because the head of the family to which it belonged was shot in the head. Your family has forgotten. Why do you want to remember them? You attach yourself to something that is the weakest in you. To the part that's still human. Have you thought it over? Why not make me an offer? Why carry this burden? What is your sacrifice worth? Holding on to them makes you weak. Destroy them! Destroy them before they destroy you! Confront Alex Murphy? Alex Murphy, the one and the only. I'm here because you have something that belongs to me. You have my badge. Lewis gave it to me. Lewis is hurt because of you. Because you keep insisting that you're something that you're not. You think that you are a fusion of me in this metal armor, but you're not me. Not even a part of me. I'm dead, and I want to finally rest, but you won't let me. Your delusions keep tormenting me and my family. You need to let us go. I want my badge back. I have it. So I remember. Remember what? The lie? Lewis knows us. She would not lie. Give it to me. It's mine. But, Lewis, I want it back. This is my badge. Then I'll have to take it back myself. Ooh, kill Alex Murphy, yes! Bang! You are strong enough to, enough to take him. Don't forget you have a partner who's counting on you. Take this gift. Don't forget who you are. Alex Murphy! Get up, Robo. Get up, for God's sake. Oh, it's the journalist. She came and found me. Hello. Yes, Keep going. Where's the chopper? The cops will be here any... Wendell Antonowski. Haven't you had enough yet? You are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Relax. <laughs> I I'm not your enemy. If I were, you would have already... <laughs> You have the right to an attorney. I... I wanted to help you. Release you from the burden of your past life, of your memories. But you, you don't want to lose them, right? Now I get it. Anything you say may be used against you. I can give you back those memories. All of them. We should help each other. We have the same boss! Yeah, I thought so. Police! God damn it, you again? People need to see this. Like a naff camcorder. Cuff him. He is a cop killer. Also, break the, the lighter, which is blatantly the remote control he uses to mess with you. Hands behind your back. Can you hand me my lighter? It's a family heirloom. I wouldn't want to lose it. Stamp you mean on this it. trinket? It'll be safer in the prison depository. You'll pick it up yourself in... I don't know. 150 years? Plenty of time for rehabilitation. Good guy, Alex Murphy. Well done. All right, so he decided to take his hand off the Robocop Top remote story. control. Bad Wendell choice. Antonowski, the infamous new guy in town, has been apprehended today. Robocop was able to capture Antonowski, as reported by an eyewitness, Channel 9 Samantha Ortiz. Unfortunately, no footage of the event has emerged. Robocop's efforts have prompted a public debate regarding his status as a human being. Here's a statement from John Mills, a candidate for the mayor's office in the upcoming mayoral election. Boo. Today, Robocop has done more for this city than the current administration has done in its entire term. That's why I feel that it's time to give something back. If elected, I will be advocating to grant RoboCop the status of a free, living human being. That's right. Vote Mills, vote RoboCop. Staying on the topic of OCP, 
the CEO of Omni Consumer Products, suffered a heart attack earlier today. The self-made entrepreneur has been taken to the Gibson Memorial Hospital for observation. His condition is stable. We wish you a speedy recovery. All right, so I was nice to the journalist, so she decided not to release footage Wendell's of me glitching out. Is on his way out. Could this day be any better? Geez, Steph, don't you have any respect? Here's the man of the hour. Congrats, Robo. You caught that bastard for what he did to Lewis. We are not done yet. Murphy, come talk to me after you're done with your evaluation. I feel like this may be about to be like an assault on the hospital, assault on the police station, something bad. Also, I don't recognize you, and you strike me as evil. I don't know, man. I just got a bad feeling about you. Evil beard vibes. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Especially as the current mission is called Not Over Yet. Mm -hmm. In fact, not even halfway through the game. So, all right. We're supposed to be going to the holding cell, which I thought were down. I knew he'd get him. I just actually, knew he'd be the one to bust but... Am I? Oh no, I need to do my mimic jibble. I need to have my date with the therapist. I haven't decided whether I want to date the journalist or the therapist. Like, the thing is, the journalist looks very 80s. I feel like the therapist, however, she is still... I mean, the jacket with the slightly inflated shoulders might be a bit much. But in general, she'd still be an acceptable dating prospect in the current year of our Lord's 2023. Whereas I feel like the journalist is distinctly out of time from the 80s. Yeah. I, I don't know what you say. Yes, I, I, I think it's interesting. So it's whether you want to date Something a specifically 80s person or not. I used to be a car mechanic before I landed this job. Is that supposed to put us at ease, Morgan? All right. We're doing... Ah, oh, yes, we need to do our straight evaluation. We may or may not be doing a therapy session, but... Bare minimum. I did, you know, a fair whack here. Fair whack of their bits and pieces. I did not find a secret in the mall. Apparently there was a secret. And I didn't find all the violations. But I did find a huge amount of crime. Which is good. A huge amount of crime evidence. Most of it from the courthouse. Hey! Nice. It turns out I'm a good Robocop. And get three skill points for my trouble. Nice. Congratulations nice. on catching Wendell. You seem to constantly be front page news. Not only that, your situation has become a topic of public debate. I imagine that could take a toll on anyone. How are you dealing with other people trying to determine your identity for you? And someone is finally fighting for my rights. I wish they'd leave me alone. I'm quite used to it by now. I'm just tired, Dr. Blanche. So very tired. Activate crying protocol. I am used to it. Of course. It's not your TV debut, but the status of a human would make you an autonomous being. It opens many doors. Being given human rights would let you fully take control of your life. Is that something that you'd actually want? I mean, that seems reasonable. Sure. Yes, I deserve it. And why is that? I am human. The idea of granting you human rights is a very important issue but no more important than the main reason for today's session. Many people might not be aware of that, but I have the whole report on the heavy glitches that you suffered before capturing Wendell. The only other time you've experienced anything similar was during the slaughterhouse incident. That's when your partner was wounded. Now, you were fighting the person responsible for it. Do you think the severity of those glitches is caused by the intense feelings that you have towards either of them? No, I think it was, you know, the flipping lighter thingy. We should probably just smash it. Yes, Anne. I like Anne. She is good. My partner is important. I needed to do right by her. I know how close she is to you. Let's dig a little deeper. Your typical glitches are triggered by sensory stimulation, similar to how most people experience memories when exposed to particular sights, sounds, or smells. But this wasn't the case with the other glitches that you experienced recently? No, they triggered randomly. That's what I suspected. And now tell me, what did they seem like to you when you experienced them? Okay, yes. Corrupted visions of the past. That seems like the best, you know, way to render it. Corrupted visions of my past. I think we're onto something. 
Your usual glitches were making you recall memories. No more harmful than remembering your wedding day when hearing Mendelssohn's march. We have to differentiate them from those severe malfunctions that you experienced in the slaughterhouse and at the mall. Those latter ones are the real problem, and we need to get to the bottom of it. But I think I've gathered quite a lot of valuable data, and at our next session, I'll present my conclusions. All right, there's my therapist girlfriend. She seems happy with the session. Lovely. Hey, Robo, could you stop by the cells on your way to read? Someone there wants to speak to you. The cells. Oh, not pickles. <laughs> oh, pickles, what have you done? Happens, I did my pretty best pretty for you, pickles. All right, I, I, I was doing my best. Oh, dear, oh, flipping dear. Right, okay. We've got engineering up to the max level. I kind of want to take focus up to, yeah, double crit damage, but I tell you what, I want to take focus up to close to max, because that just gives me, yeah, more slow-mo skill duration, and if I get this up to mm. max, which is now only one point away, if I kill enemy in slow-mo, I get my slow-mo back, nice. meaning I could basically, if I'm, you know, infinite slow -mo. functionally infinite slow-mo, which I think is definitely the way to go, I think that, that's the way to do it. Oh, pickles, 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 you've let me down. All right, I, I did my best, okay? I'm sorry, I can't always be the cool parent. Sometimes I've got to, you know, be the responsible I parent and not let you keep the drug anywhere. money. Over here, Tin Man. I did the right thing, Pickles. What did you do this time? Uh, why does it have to be that I did something? Maybe one of your guys just got a little overeager. Did they? No. <laughs> None of this matters. <laughs> I'm here mainly to congratulate us. We did it. We got the guy. We? We sure did, partner. Any new leads? Are you looking for trouble? This is the they lived happily ever after part of the story. Wendell was conducting hasn't suspicious seen the name activity of the mission. for someone at OCB. I want to know who. Shit. I thought you were just looking to avenge your partner. I forgot that you're a dutiful officer. All right. I'll keep my ear to the ground and see what the streets are saying. Good. All right. Talk to you later, partner. Like we just leave him in the cell. It's like, yep, fine. That's that's how that is apparently. All right, mosey back for my little debrief. Very, very nice indeed. See what we've got. But I suspect there's going to be... I suspect it may be, yes, an assault on the station or something. Something of that nature, perhaps. Fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I want to talk. Let's let's chat. It's cool. No worries. Catching Antonowski put a smile on a lot of people's faces. But we still have one unresolved issue. Catching his accomplice at OCP. Exactly. And when everyone realizes that OCP's been sabotaging us the whole time, mentions of a strike will come up again. We don't want that. So who do you think it is? Becker is an obvious choice. I just don't know if that's not too obvious. Do you suspect that Becker is on Windows payroll? I mean, he's a dick, but... There are certain signs that point to him. I wouldn't say certainty. All signs point to him. They do, don't they? And that leads me to another thing. Becker wanted to meet you. You're supposed to show up at some old factory. Mm -hmm. And he wanted you to come alone. A rather unusual request. That's why I'll get Officer Washington to listen in. By the way, how do you feel about it? Can you trust him? He seems like a good kid. Yes, he's trying his best. Despite shortcomings, he is trying his best. That makes me a little less anxious about signing him up to look after you. I'm skeptical of anyone that OCP tries to push on us. First Becker, then Washington. And let's not forget about Dr. Blanche. Speaking of which, Dr. Blanche, is she... Is she being helpful? Are you getting anything out of those sessions? I mean, she's pretty hot, yeah. <laughs> it's, she's pretty hot. I'm getting something out of it. it, it it's a process. Work in progress. This process takes time. Like most things that are worthwhile. I will meet Becker, but there is a place I will visit first. Sure thing. In the meantime, I'll brief your overseer. All right, are we going to the hospital by any chance? Officer Washington. Oh, 
Yeah. Yes, sir. You've All right, got they're going to do that briefing. I'm ready and That's willing. That's fine. Leave the precinct. Yes, downstairs to the carpool. That should be fine. No one else has run up to me and wanted any little side missions or anything on this occasion. So, apparently I'm not going there direct. But each chance am I going to go hang out with Anna after, sorry, Anne, after that little dramatic thing? I suspect that might be what's going on. Look, it's very kind of robotic driving. Very, very steady driving. It's lovely. Going to the hospital. Because, ah, if we were going to the hospital to see Anne... Then that's also yeah, where the old man is. is. And yeah. if there was going to be some big hospital assault or something, then this we I think we're going to have to have a, have a, do a big shootout in the hospital. Did you watch the game yesterday? That's where I think we're going with that. With so, all right. We know where we're going on this occasion. Straight through. Straight through, straight through. Two. Apparently, it's the cracked floor. I mean, we were promised that she'd be getting good care, so maybe she'd be on the same wing. I say, like, yes, a VIP sector, except apparently she's not in the VIP sector. Well, she's supposed to be in the VIP sector. So it's very important. I specifically said she should get, like, you know, the good treatment Wait, and shit. Why are you asking me about my liver and kidneys? So, all right. Mosey over here. She's Hello there. Oh, is she awake now? Hello, Anne. And. Come on. Give me the skinny. I want to know everything. Yay, Anne! Oh, Murphy, we started the party a little early. I hope you don't mind. Sorry, partner. It's my fault. I just gotta hear what's happening at the precinct. In usual fashion, OCP's doing everything in its power to keep the police down. Come on, this is time to celebrate. Lewis is feeling better, Wendell's in jail. Let's party! If you don't think a strike is brewing... You know what? Let me get this grouch out of here so that you two can talk. Okay, okay, I'm going. Feel better, Lewis. You look well. I gotta admit, I sleep better knowing that you got that bastard. But what about you? How have you been lately? Did you get any more of those visions? Oh, so cocky many. I still see things. You know, ever since Antonowski showed up, they seem to be happening more often. And with greater intensity. Yeah, and gets it. I don't it. think I've ever seen you in such a state. I just know how it affects me. So I can't imagine how it affects you. The fact that he's the brother of one of those guys who... shot you. We should not let the past haunt us. Easier said than done. His presence reminds me of the day that I... that I left you. I often think that maybe if we didn't split up that day, things would have gone down differently. Yeah, you could have been Robocop. It would have been awesome. Neither of us could have predicted the consequence of our actions. That doesn't make me feel any less guilty. What I don't get is if Wendell is actually the brother of one of your murderers, then why did he come out now? After all this time, and why didn't he kill you when he got a chance? That is what I intend to find out. Right. Is it true that he's working with someone from OCP? That is what he claims. Damn Becker. We should just lock him up already. It's not Becker. I'm sorry, but it's too obvious. We do not have proof. Not yet. I don't know if you heard. But the old man ended up in this hospital after his heart attack. I'm not even sure if he's in a state to talk. But it probably wouldn't hurt to check if he knows anything, right? Anyway, I think I need a little rest after all this excitement. Thank you for visiting me. We'll be back to working together in no time. I look forward to it. You should get to ask after the cut. Wait, hang on, is the cut any chance around? Oh, the card should be on the bedside table. The dumb card should be on the bedside table. I'm furious it's not. Dear oh flippin' dear. Right. Over to the VIP wing. Claire, squeeze in a quick one while we're moseying over there. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to Tor Granael, who gave us uh, 20 Australian dollars. And says, destructible cover alone is a good enough reason to buy this game. Uh, the last game I played with it was Battlefield Bad Company 2, and I loved it. Ooh, nice. Hey, where do you think oh, you're going? 
to talk to the old man. You're the only one who actually showed up to pay him a visit. You know he talks about you a lot. Does he? Yeah, about you being granted human rights. He's rooting for you. So maybe it's not such a bad idea. You can go in. All right. I serve this town with every drop of my sweat. Who's he yelling at? Oh, nice. Nice room. Love it. Just like you told me, mother. We did not see Delta City rise. But don't you worry. I promise it will happen. He's going to bit bananas. Well, we can pretend to Michael, be his mother in order to... Uh... You? Your halo shines so bright. I mean, it would be evil of us to do, but it might work. Yes, old man, it's me, your mother. I'm trying to... Your mother, Michael? Yes, exactly. It's me, your mother, Michael. <laughs> I'm trying to do high pitch voice to add robot at the same time. It's very difficult. <laughs> I need answers, my son, old man, whose name I don't know. Do not be afraid. Do not worry, you are safe. Robocop? You came to see me? Like a real friend would? I'm getting close to my final days. And I just can't stand this uncertainty. But you came back from the other side. Tell me, how was it? Was it unbearable? Well, the doctors probably aren't going to blow your arms and legs off with shotguns, so it probably, yeah, wasn't going to be, like, you know, as bad for you as it is for me. Then again, you are clearly a plan to have your brain taken out, and I've put it inside, like, a robocorp, so we'll see about that. Fragments of my past life flashed before my eyes, and they keep flashing. Perhaps I am still dead. You can't be, regardless of what the papers say. I believe that death isn't the end. You are walking proof of that. Unfortunately, I have not completed all I set out to do. Mm -hmm. All saboteurs inside OCP won't let me. Are you referring to Max Becker? That weasel seeks not only to destroy you, but also my company. Be wary of him. I know you would never let anyone jeopardize the good name of OCP. <sighs> Before you go, could you be so kind and give me some painkillers? Okay. No, I don't think I'm doctor. qualified to doctor. do that thing. Also, isn't it interesting how he's suddenly interested in, you know, really making sure that he supports human rights for people oh, who yeah. are brains that get put into robots? Oh, definitely. Just as he's potentially dying and might be doing a deal with someone who wants to put brains into robots. Yep, Almost yep, like yep, he wants yep, to yep. get the law on the books with me so that when it's useful for him, it will already be in place. Yeah, of course. I'm sorry, I, I, I'm not Robodoc. Okay, I can't do that. I am not qualified to administer medication. Please. Anyone help me? God. I need my can't pain. just give you more meds because you want to. Okay? To I'm very sorry about you that. Doctors but I'm not allowed to do this. For that. All right, can't do that. Can't do that. That's absolutely fine. There you go, you see. I'll be given all the drugs in the world. Just not right the second. And... Well, because also I feel like it's not going to help with give Robocop human rights if he accidentally gives uh, the really rich guy an overdose of painkillers and he dies. Of this city. Mm. Oh, it's Robocop, the other mad canster. The one I like better. Mitzi, okay, I like him better with his, you know, his policies on Delta City. I would like you to also commit to giving me human, like, human rights. Like, I don't yeah, really want to have great. to choose between uh, the evil guys who want to, like, treat me like a person versus uh, the good guy who doesn't. Okay? I want you to make the same commitment, please. Is there a problem? 
This man is preventing me from exposing OCP's hypocrisy. The way this hospital treats its patients is the best depiction of what OCP wants to do with this city. A brave policewoman shot in the line of duty is crammed into a small room while the old man has a cozy VIP wing of the hospital all to himself. This is what Delta City stands for, even bigger division. But the time you had your tonsils removed, you were staying in the VIP wing too. <laughs> We're not talking about me. We need to talk about the people. Robocop, please stop this madness. Make a statement. That policewoman is your partner, isn't she? So tell us, doesn't she deserve better? I mean, I'm going to be honest. She's like, she's got her own private room. It's, it seems pretty nice. Really? I'm not 100% sure I'm dissatisfied with her treatment. Like... She seems to have a nice room all to herself. I asked her to get good treatment. She seems to be happy. I'm really sorry, but I feel like that would be lying. I, I think actually she seems to have been... Do she seems to be doing yeah, pretty well. Yeah, they like, you know, fixed her up. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm staying out of this. I'm so sorry. I, I feel like that would be unfair for me to say Lewis deserves better. She seems to be being treated fairly well, really. A hospital is not an appropriate place for political scuffles. Just what I expected from an OCP robot. But, but, they want to ruin this city. No! No, they I didn't withdraw from support from the, the guy and give it to the I other! I won't let them. Say no to Delta City. Vote for the neighborhoods. Vote for Kuzak. Why does the game think I'm supporting John okay, Mills guys, and not supporting this guy? Find him a cozy Literally, I, I've, 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 I've tried to stay as neutral as I can to both. The game's explicitly said I withdrew support from this guy and gave it to the other. No, I just didn't actively lie for him on camera. That strikes me as different. But okay. The game's making some wild accusations about my political choices in this game. That's This is not what I'm saying at all. And aha. The mysterious factory meeting. Which I do not trust in the slightest. But surely it can't be as simple as Beck is going to be a hi. You are foolish enough to come alone. I've grown a moustache. Especially if I can twiddle it during this speech. Gun him down, man. Ha 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 Can't be. There's something else going on here. Mr. Becker's intentions become clear. Maybe he wants to thank you for catching Wendell. I only seek answers. Oh, there's a healing thing and a gun there. You came, so you can follow a command. Surprising. Surrender, or there will be trouble. Defiant as usual. Your creator screwed up the job by not installing an off switch. Well, it doesn't pay to fix their mistakes. It's cheaper just to replace you. So, Robocop, meet the future of law enforcement. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Robocopsers! Oh, they look like the Robo, the fake Robo, the, the, the Roboflops from the second Robocop. They look the same. Oh, that's really cute. Power like, like yours, Robocop too. but at the Cyber push cops. of a button. That is why it is not only more effective than you, but infinitely more obedient. That's just a fragment of the speech I had prepared. But hell, this product speaks for itself. It looks naff, though. It looks really naff. So, okay. Let's just take out the Robo Corpse. Somebody just exploded in the background. Fascinating. Oh, this is... Okay, they're a little bit on the tough side. A little bit on the tough side. Blow up that one. Okay. We just need to... No, 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 no. Okay, this is... Reactivate by make jibble. Oh, there's so many of them. I'm surrounded by them right now. There's too many of them. There's too many of them. Okay, hang on. Hang on, let's get... Also, the frame rate's suffering a little bit. Frame rate's suffering a tiny bit here. There we go. That's fine. Right, shield. Slow-mo. One of them's got a sniper rifle, so you need to go down first, buddy. Oh, blimey. Also, I think they explode. And I think when they're getting weaker, they start sparking, which is useful. Not sure whether their heads are actually their weak points. Whatever's going on, it's not going well for you, buddy. No, 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 no. Okay, do I have my shield back? I do have my shield back. That's absolutely fine. Can I stun them? And hang on. Where's, where's, where's the other one? And one over that. They might be more vulnerable. There's lots of explodey things as well around the place. Don't get excited. This was just a warm-up. Robocop, I got something. A headless UED will start shooting other droids. Aha! There's a bug that ended a presentation in front of the OCP board. I'm looking at the footage now. 
Let us see if they ever got around to fixing it. Warm up is over. Get ready for the real strike. They're literally keeping score. Love it. And nice. where are the others? And are they the over there? Over there. Fuck. And go! Oh, that'll do as a starting point, won't it? Right, okay. There's definitely more over there. And take out the head if we can. Take out the head. Unfortunately, that one just died. And that one exploded. Stun if we can. Slow-mo. Health at about half. I feel like they're dying before they start shooting each other, but fine. And... Yep, get some healing going on. Charge that. Okay, we've got a nice little air I can hide in the back if need be over here. Check for... Oh, hello! Don't mind me. I feel like maybe I need to go over to like a different guard if I want to. Oh, you look like you've got a big rifle. Big rifle there. Go for the head. Go for the head if we can. I feel like I'm possibly doing too much damage to them. Lol. Right, okay. Get over to you. Activate shield. Activate slow-mo. Also, they definitely sometimes just explode. They definitely sometimes just blow up. I think it's because up. there are a lot of exploding things strewn about. There are a lot of explosive, like, uh, like Alright. He was certain that your brain was what was making you superior to them. So Becker continued to work on the project in secret. Where are the rest He of took them? a big gamble. Hey, who are you talking to? Is that Oedipus guy helping oh, you? Oh, Oedipus guy. That's you, me. Didn't even learn his name. Where's the next one? Where's the next one coming from? Oh, they're up there. And go. Now take out some of you. That's you nice. And oh, hello. There's definitely more over there. I need to... Oh, that would have been a good spot for explosives, unfortunately. But no harm done. Right, okay. Just get into cover, get into cover, get into cover. I don't have my shield right now. Right, pop out. The air is pretty generous with, like, a uh, It is, you know. Get into cover. Get over here, get into cover. Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. I've got my shield back. Okay, right. Grab over to here. I just need to get round to where they are. And round about here. Oh, what the? I think they blew up the thing I was holding. Yeah, probably an accident to be honest, but. Right, one more over here. Seriously, where's, where's the last of them? Everything's fine. I'm now a bit low on healing items. Luckily, there's more floating around. Where's the. You're up there, buddy. Okay, activate my shield again. That's off cool down. There's a lot of them over there. This is getting a bit nasty. That's fine. Oh, some of them are chargers. Some of them are charging. Okay. Use them a thing. Let me get my shield back in a second. Uh, okay, just pop out. And if I can, I hit them in the distance. There were a load at the back of the room. Take out the sniper if all possible. Right, because you're a problem. For a, it's a not bad as a long-range shotgun, to be honest. We can take out you guys. Yeah, you guys look a bit nasty in the distance. But if you come in once time, they're slow. Just like me. Which is fine, but I'm much more accurate at range. But before I kill the last one... I should try and search the room for... Yes! That's all my healing up. Good, 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 good. And... Uh, hey, buddy. Dumb. Right, good. Any more for any more? There's one more over there, isn't that? Yeah. Sometimes they just explode. All right, it's all mine. Telling you how to outplay my UEDs, isn't he? Becker knows you are helping me. He gave me access to the OCP data himself. Under these circumstances, I feel obliged to use them any way I see fit. How's the scoreboard Until looking? Until now, I didn't want to damage you too much, but no more. Oh, you're about to start opening one of the big doors with loads behind it. Hang on, where's the next? Oh, there's the next. Door. Ah, oh, fuck, they got, they hit it before I could hit them. They caused it to explode before I could hit them. I was trying to get the hit on them. They go for a little charge. I think they, if, if they're badly damaged, they go for like a suicide charge. I think is what's going on here. Right. There's definitely one back there. Where's the rest? Add. Right, 
Activate shield while there's so many of them. Yeah, that. I'm not sure if you, you can just shoot it from this range. I'm not sure that's how that works. I think possibly I need to get into a better position here. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm aware. I'm aware I'm in a bit of trouble here. Right, get down. Try and use the thing to... Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. I'm trying. I'm trying. There's so many of them. I can't get a good angle. I'm trying to just get a good angle here. Okay, pop out. Got my shield back too. Who else is up there? There's you up there. No. No. Right. Grab that. Get some more healing going on. Grab the mine. Who else is left? One over there, unfortunately. Right, just get that out of the way. Left. Oh, there we go. He's got the big heavy gun. Do you think OCP will keep you running indefinitely? You cost too much. I'm going for the big gun. I feel like having a big gun today. Now out of That's healing. I made the urban enforcement droids. I'm going to replace all of you with them. Appreciate being among There's the first two more. to know. You know what? I'll turn you off anyway. You can resist, but it doesn't change anything. Another one too. Good. I won't let something like you Where's kill my project. One? Where's the next one? Over that. That'll do good one. Oh, they were right here. They were right here. They were right here. Activate shields. Activate shields. Activate shields. These are the ones to the front now. These are the ones to the front. Right, but my shields did a good job there. Right, where's the rest of them? See you. There's definitely more at the back of the room, though. Uh, are there any more over on this side? Don't see those ones. And that's that thing empty. Oh, dear. No, no, no. They might be able to shoot you just through the stairs without you being able to hit me anymore. Yeah, it's down. And possibly you to cut one of your friends, too. Let's use this thing. I can hear someone very close by to me, possibly coming up from below. Uh, the rest of them downstairs. I've got my shield back on cool down, bare minimum. I might be able to take out some of you guys from the rear of the room. Oh, you need to go down to priority, don't you? Yeah, you're a bit of a high priority. No, you don't. Right. Right. Activate shield. Getting a little bit crowded here. Getting a little bit crowded here, but at least my shield's keeping me nice and safe. You're about to try to self-destruct, aren't you? Yes, you are. You're about to try to self-destruct too. Heal again. Go for the slow mode. There's a. He's brought a lot of robots. You gotta give him. He 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 he, he, did, he came to play. Ooh, still a few around, but I've got my shield back and my. Does that even work on you? Oh, it does. I think it just straight up distracts them when you hit them with that. That's kind of good. Right. We're down to mostly. Ted, did you fall off the shoot? Oh, 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 oh no! I'm not sure, but I was just looking Ted. at him a moment. I'm not sure if he fell off or if he, you know, kind of like slid off. But he was doing that thing where he was sleeping on the sofa, but his bum was kind of hanging off. Right, go to this. Reload. All right, Becca. I feel like we're done, right? Oh, oh, wait, no, no, why, why is that firing? Why am I... Back up! I swear I didn't push the fire button. That that just happened by itself. That wasn't me. I swear. Hello. Hi, Ted. Yes. Yes, I'm shooting bad people. Yeah. Oh, but you... But you're a good dog. But you are a good boy. If you try to just sit between us... Or would you like Claire to take you out for a little bathroom break? Is that what you're trying to let us know? Well, clearly he is sitting in the way that says, I am good boy. He is indeed good boy. Hello. Hi, Hello. Hi well, Dad, if you want me to take you out, you need to get out of under my uh, Hello. desk chair, baby boy. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> that was a fun, that was a fun fire. Glad I was happy you did that first time. We've got two Healy McJibbles. Hello. Ted, do you want to yeah. go outside? Do you want to go pee? Do you want to go a little break? Do you want garden? Do you want a little break? Oh, you want oh, garden, oh, buddy? Oh, spinning around. I think he does. All right. You're going to take All him right. for a little Let's break. 
All right. All right, Ted. I'm going to pee and then you get to go pee. <laughs> wow. I'd, I'd never pee before the dog. I'd always say the dog gets to pee first, Ted. I don't know. She's a... She's a monster. Right, let's go say hello to Beck, who, as it turns out, wasn't actually too obvious a candidate. He just was actually a dick. He, he in fact, was... He looked like a dick, and he was a dick. So, okay. I've killed everybody. I've got all my things back. Recharge. Get that too. Right, so I'm at full health. Blimey, that was... And there's, uh, there's more explosives out here in case anything else nasty shows up. But fine. It was those little kind of like, yeah, robots possibly with a brain in them. Possibly without. That have like, uh, yeah, that were in Robocop 2. So, all right. Hello, Becca. What the hell just happened? I kicked your ass. Becca. Oh, just stop right there. Great performance, Robocop. And Mr. Becker, it was an excellent presentation. You promised to show me a reliable remedy for this crime wave. And you really did. Yes, I've been working on UEDs for the past five I'm years. I meant Robocop. He's proved once again that he's still the top player. Excuse me? It just barged in here and started accusing me of conspiracy without a shred of proof. It is not stable. I have Wendell's confession. Oh, do you mean the guy that's been harvesting human organs? <laughs> Very reliable source. You keep forgetting that your organic components are the bane of my entire existence. They complicate things. I need a simple tool. A tool that I can control. And until this remote is in my hands, I have that... Oh! Well, it's uh, time for me to go. Thank you, Mr. Becker, for your presentation. I'll be watching the progress of your project. But until then, keep up the excellent work, Robocop. I feel like you were just an accessory Have to attempt a murder, but whatever. Wait, we're just letting Becker go? But he just... He just, he just, he just... Okay, apparently we're not arresting him. I, I thought we were. But okay. Interesting. So in which case... Okay. Well, I'm going to get myself a nice little McJibble here. Primary objectives. There were no secondary. This was just a fight here. Apparently there was one other chest somewhere. And I destroyed... Uh, I decapitated 25 UEDs. But, like, they... They didn't turn each other. Wow. Rude. C rating. It's mean. How dare you. And two skill points. Oh, you know what that means. That should do it. You know what that flipping means. You know what that flipping means. All right. All right. All right. First maxed out skill. Focus. In a hand slow-mo. If we kill enemies in slow-mo, we get more cock in slow-mo. All right. That's good. That's good. I wouldn't mind more health, though. So... Yeah, if I take more health, I get more health points. And I also get enhanced fuse box recovery. So, increased number of... Ooh. Up to five charges and more health. I mean, the fuse box is almost irrelevant. Yeah, I'll take a tiny bit more vitality. I'll move that up to at least the middle. I feel like I don't need the max. Like, when you need health regen, you need it faster than slowly recovery. Like, uh, but I'll take that. I'll take that up to half at the bare minimum. That's I'll accept. What's going on over there? So all right. Becker's here Everything's and the cops fine. Not happy. But apparently Becker's around. Becker tested an Shady army meeting completed. He, he kind of tried to murder me. There's that another so McJibble here. That might be useful. Without our supervision. Okay, take the motherboard. Good, 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 good. Back to square one. Investigate the disturbance. But before we do that, hang on. Let me have a look see at the. No, no. Let me have a look see at the board, please. Uh, board. Change board. And the 4.3. The 4.1. Okay, that's new. Possibly I could have picked this up last time, but I didn't. More gore. Good. Pellet rounds. Good. Single shot mode. Heavy damage. I mean, that's. it sounds very similar to what I've got already. Except it comes with... It doesn't have the infinite ammo that I have. Uh, so in which case, yeah... Or rather, it needs to reload occasionally. And it doesn't come with a larger number of damage modules. Like, it comes with a slightly larger number of modules overall. 
that's just reload speed and armor piercing. I think I'm happy with what I've got again. I, I don't think that beats it. Till I find something that's got more than four of the, uh, more than four of, yeah, the damage image bubbles, I, I don't see any real benefit to changing it over. Especially as, wow, a 14. Yes, 14 and 17. We'll, we'll merge them. 20. Wow. It's literally the worst thing I've got. Let's try, try one more. Come on, game. Be nice. Merge 22s to get 22s. Merge three more 22s. Ted nice and happy. 25! Yes. That's better. Can't do anything with that 25. Does that 25 actually do anything? Damage. Uh, I was about to say, yeah, it also does damage up here. It would also yeah. beat that 22. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in which case, yeah, the 25 is the bigger change. That's an extra 5 percentage points of damage. And on top of that, the 20 doesn't beat the 22 anymore. So in which case, any more for any more? I don't think so, but we're at 95% bonus. Hello, Ted. Hi. Now, this dog, Yes. when we were outside, he was doing his wee all nice and good. Yeah. And then a lot of birds flew out of one of the big trees. It was quite noisy. Oh, Claire's done the thing where she's knocked over the sound panels. Yeah, because there's not enough room. There's so much room. This is the <laughs> biggest desk I've ever <laughs> seen. We had a special, we had a special, uh-oh, hang on, something's going on. Yeah, but like... Literally had this desk engineered so it's big enough for Claire as well as me. She's complaining it's not big enough. Hello, Becca, what's going on? It's a new age, and you have to accept it. My robots are here to stay. Your robots suck! Detroit will become the first city policed entirely by my machines. I literally no just said they suck. No glitching, total control. So that's it? You just gonna replace us? You've already been replaced, honey. Can't you see it? What are you talking about? Murphy's one of us. You're a little confused. That's Robocop you're talking about. Murphy's the guy who's legally dead. That's it. We are going on strike. We are cops. Cops do not go on strike. That's the spirit, old timer. I have important people to meet, multi-million dollar contracts to sign. You know, the usual. Well, that sucks. We can't just sit here and do nothing. You can do something. Your cruiser needs cleaning after your last shift. If you have a hard time finding something to do, come to me. That goes for the rest of you, too. Murphy, briefing room, now. So, what is... Ooh, little note on Delta City. No crime, no poverty, safe, secure, and clean living units for everyone. When they put it like that, it sounds good. I bet for there's everyone. no... I'm sure there's... I'm sure there's no downside whatsoever for any of that. Yeah... Okay, so even though the robots suck, he's basically just fired the entire police department in order to replace them with the robots I just kicked the arse off. Even though one Robocop can kill like a hundred of his robots, but okay, there are robots apparently. We need to figure out how to deal with the robots. First of all, I don't want to hear a word about those damn robots. We have a job to do. Now that the milk is spilled, we are looking for a mole in OCP that's been protecting Antonowski. As hard as it is to believe, Becker is not that guy. Yeah, but he's still a prick. Sure is, but there's still a mole that we need to find. It's gotta be the rookie. I'm sitting right here. So? We start by asking the source. What are you suggesting? I Ask pay Wendell a visit in jail. Good thinking. You can try to squeeze a confession out of him. If I get my hands on him, I will squeeze more than just a confession. Bow, chicka, bow, wow. All right, so that's my plan. Seduce him. Okay, cunning. So, hey, all right. Hey. Anyway, and Ted was in the garden in the and a lot of birds flew and it was noisy and it attracted his attention and he was very good and didn't bark at he all. He didn't bark at all. Good boy, oh, Teddy. My 80s girlfriend is Robert, here. Hello, 80s girlfriend. Listen, I wanted to say that I misjudged you. My crusade is against OCP. You were just collateral. So to extend an olive branch, I'd, I'd like to give you this. What is it? It's the tape of you glitching the other day at the mall. It's the only copy, so you can do whatever you want with it. 
I am sure your TV station would love to play the tape. Yeah, that's why you need to take it before I change my mind. Thank you. Now oh. that I have you here, can I interview you as a consolation prize? They want me to ask you about the election. Seems that people value your opinion. I would be happy to oblige. Well, you can correct the record. Okay, roll the tape. Hopefully. I'll probably say one thing in the game, we'll say, say the other. I'm mm. here at Metro West, conducting an interview with a man that needs no introduction. Robocop. One of the more contentious points brought up during the election is the construction of Delta City. Many believe that Delta City will destroy old Detroit. Mayor Kuzak spoke at length about the illegal evictions that OCP has been planning in order to start the construction. Other candidates, namely John Mills, believe that Delta City is a chance to clean up the city. What are your thoughts on this subject? Is Delta City the future of old Detroit? Well, I just read a pamphlet saying it was going to be good for everyone. So, yeah, John. Delta City is our only hope. And uh, Delta City is promising. Current day Detroit is my focus. Yes, you know what? Screw it. Kuzak is right. Yeah, go Kuzak. Delta City will be Detroit's downfall. So you agree with Mayor Kuzak that Delta City will bring more harm to the city. Thank you for clarifying your stance on this important topic. This has been Robocop for Channel 9. Samantha Ortiz. I'm sure I'm not supposed off. to do that, and I feel like Thanks I'm going to interview, cause Robo. problems. We'll get out of your hair as soon as we're done packing up the equipment. Just as long as the game doesn't mistakenly believe I support John Mills, which I don't. He just seems like such a slimy dick. Such a slimy dick. I mean, I feel like Cusick is also Becker, the uh, slimy, but like just, back. you know, slimy with motives that seem a little bit Not better. Not quite as bad, yes. Yeah. He's, oh, he's, 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 the, he's the, he's the like, least he's bad option. He's playing the game. He's least playing bad the game option. of politics, but he does seem to be doing it for, you know, in order to keep people having homes. Yes. Everything's fine. Also, apparently there was another typo in the uh, the uh, subtitles. There. There's been a few of them. A few yeah. little typos slipped into the uh, slipped into the subtitles of this game. Just a tiny bit scruffy around the edges, but I love it anyway. Mm. Oh, this is a good game. And okay, jail. Yeah, uh, the Winged Baron, by the way, has been a member for a year, and says this game looks so good it's almost criminal. Lol, like it. Now, surely someone's going to be trying to break Wendell out so I can't speak to him. All right. Back to square one. Hello there. Guys, it's me, Robocop. I put Still some of you away. Metal fuck running. What a waste of electricity. Wow, that's I mean, rude. He did catch you. You too, fucker. I mean, honestly, you two, you two are part of the very tiny minority of people I bring it alive. Like, I just go around killing everyone. I feel like more people should be focusing on that. Like, I'm a cop who, like, about 98% of the people who, like, do crimes in front of me, they end up dead, and someone should be asking questions about that. Yeah, seriously. So, all right. Robo. Keep on keeping on. Just straight on through. Oh, Sorry, I'm made of metal. Belt, keys, loose change, huh? <laughs> I'm kidding. Just keep walking. I appreciate I you. Good to meet you, RoboCop. The visiting room is at the end of the corridor. All right, don't need to bother signing in or anything. Yeah, because you're not a person, technically. That's true. Technically, I'm not. If only I'd voted for John Mills, then maybe I would be. Lord. Hello! Who are you? Good to see you in my prison, Robo. Did the inmates at the entrance welcome you properly? I felt at home, almost. I'm glad you're here. I want to ask you about the man you're here to see. The only thing I know is that he's no ordinary prisoner. OCP are keeping his record secret. So who is he? I'm gonna be honest, I don't know much about him. Yes, he is a slime! Just another slime that tried to run the city. I'm afraid he's something more than that. He's a demanding individual. There used to be peace in my prison, but now they're rabid dogs. He turned all the gangs against each other. So either OCP doesn't know who they're dealing with, or there's something fishy going on. I suspect OCP knows more than they are telling. I'm here to verify that. Ah, uh, good. Come see me after your interview. 
I have a humble gift for you and your police friends for keeping my business alive. Don't say that. That's don't say the quiet part out loud. Yes, yeah, seriously. You're not supposed to say that. Hello. Lovely to meet you again, Wendell. Now that they've taken the stupid remote control away from you and all that. How am I going to be able to sit down? Look how I... Oh, I can! I figured I'd have to sit. I don't sit in the other meetings. You just stand there. It's very awkward. OCP funds you, but Becker is not your inside man. Wow, not even a hello? You're not going to ask me how I'm settling in. Answer me. Places like this do me good. I even quit smoking, you know. Oh, good for you. The trick is to keep your hands busy. Okay. So that's fine if you want to keep your hands busy. I did have a plan. I was looking to uh, squeeze some information out of you, Wendell. If you'd be interested in my robocock. <laughs> Jesus, John. <laughs> Please assume the position. Oh. I am not Robocop. I am Fisto in disguise. Okay. I keep my hands busy punishing criminals. The best way to keep my hands busy is to hand me a criminal. Oh, so much anger. I know where it's coming from. Alex Murphy. Everyone knows who I am. This wasn't a cool thing to say. No, everyone knows that. Erasing the memories of your past life would help you the way it helped me. Oh, but I was wrong. And I want to make it up to you by giving you that life back. Okay. There's nothing left. Yeah, you know what? You can't do that. I'm literally like a pile of giblets on a factory floor that someone hosed away at some point. Inappropriately, without a family, without the chance to play baseball with your son whenever you feel like it. Yeah, give me Robo Son. The new OCP project is what will make this possible for you. Is that why you needed all those dead bodies? I could tell you more if you promise not to stick your nose in. I want details of the project and the names of those involved. Seems our time is up. But I wouldn't want to leave you empty handed. So let me at least give you this. The project's called Afterlife. Tread carefully. It's the last chance for you and your family to be together again. Okay, so brain transplants into empty bodies, not into different types of Robocop. He's basically offering to transplant my brain into an actual body so I could live as a normal person again. Yeah. That's, and presumably that's what we the old man's after. We have to take back to his cell. Yeah. Looks like a full-blown riot is going down. Oh, I'm good at those. Point me in the right direction. Let me shoot all the, the prisoners involved. inside the could prison. And now mean... we have to focus on the other prisoners. They're armed and storming the warden's office. We need your help. Robo? Oh no, he's not occupying his hands. I, I'm not sure you will, Robocop. I feel like that's not what you're going to do in the slightest. I feel like you're just going to start gunning them down. I feel like you're not going to in yeah. the slightest do any of that. So, oh. I feel like you're going to turn them on the past. Got some more. rock music. Nice. Also, I need to get a gun out at some point or another, but apparently I just don't feel like it. Right, help myself to incriminating McJibbles. Do I even need a charge right now? I think I'm already full up arms. Like, no, apparently I'm not. All right, well, now I am. Right, I'm myself to... What's my other gun right now? And... Am I even allowed to get my bejibble out? All right. I'll take a... A heavy, as apparently I've not got anything else right now. Oh, maybe you signed your regular gun uh, in when you first got in the prison. I don't think I did. You're just randomly firing over there. That's that's absolutely fine. I was going to say, maybe Wendell started a revolt in the prison so that there will be more dead bodies for his afterlife project. At the very start of his McJibble, he was talking about how he was sending the gangs against each other. So I'm going to work under the assumption that, um, yes, we've got, well, hang on. Regain control of the radio room is my, is my little first objective. So These hello there. These got into the armory and are now handing out heavy weapons like fucking hot dogs at a football game. All right, armory break it. Oh, I've got so many different things to do. Right, let's get control of the radio room first. 
after I steal a huge amount of, like, evidence out of your prison. You know, it kind of feels like that's where it, like, already should be, but whatever. Okay. We've got a few things to take care of, and... Oh, hello. No, no. Here go over to my... Yes, my usual gun. Hello! You shouldn't have rioted. I'm firing rehabilitation bullets at you. All right. Rehabilitation bullets. And... Bang, bang, bang. No. Well, some people are not part of the riot, and you can't shoot them or something. Clearly, you're Robocop. That's in, true. Uh, he was just running for cover. That guy I'm allowed to kill, though. He's fine. That's they're just throwing toilet paper. I know. It's, it's, it's just cute. It's very sweet, actually. I don't know why you guys are, what you guys are shooting for precisely. Right, it's need to find targets. There's also something up there. Hello? I do want some peace and quiet. Alright, how do we get to aforementioned radio room in order to shut down the music? And hello over there. I feel like you're... Yep, you had a gun. That's, that was on you. Okay, authorised personnel only. Excuse me. Oh, no, don't shoot Robocop. Do not... Don't shoot Robocop. He will shoot you back and he's better at shooting than you are. So, okay. Also, he has, like, infinite ammo and no reloading. Yep, no reloading, no anything. You, sir, stay in your cell. I'm going to suggest you all just stay in your cell and don't cause trouble. Are you... He's in his cell, but I feel like he's, like, being sympathetic to the riot. I'm not sure he's in his cell. That looks like a, a big... Who's shooting at me? Spread the fuck out! Someone's around there. Who's, who's, who's shooting at me? Who's fucking shooting at me? Who's... What is that? That's uh, loudspeakers, no? Yeah. Someone's, someone's in here. Hello. There's... Oh, hello. It's, it's, is it you? It was dead. him. It was him. No. Bad. Now, hang on. Where's the radio room? Stay in the cell. Don't don't cheer on the prisoners. Well, maybe Can... he's cheering on 47. the prisoners. 47. Stop it. <laughs> accept, accept, your, accept your sentence with good grace and humour. It should probably be long. You've killed a lot of people. You have killed... Those were all accidents, all right? Officially, they were all accidents. So, okay. Uh, he was arrested for looking too good in the suit. That seems reasonable. Right, now I've looped around this way. I might well be able to get round to... Oh, that's not looking good for everyone who was in that cell, unfortunately. Hello! Right, now, hang on. There's nothing up here. I see that I'm supposed to be getting to the radio. Where's the radio? Do I need to loop around a long way to get to that? Can I, like, get to that another way? Claire, while I move around and try and find that radio room. Ah, uh, yes indeed. Shout out to Ambrose, who uh, just gave us $50. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed, Ambrose. Uh, Ambrose says, as much as I would really enjoy watching you play Baldur's Gate 3 and maybe disagreeing with your decisions, uh, I 100% agree with you that people would be aggressively disparaging in the comments, and you deserve better than that. Thank you for all your content. Oh, I'm sure it would work out fine, probably, a little bit, anyway. I mean, the thing is, you will all have the opportunity to help decide that. That yes, will be exactly in... democracy week. Yeah, democracy Shotgun! week. Shotgun! Now we're getting somewhere. Now and, we're um, talking. And... Sorry, and um, I mean, I don't know. I feel like even if John doesn't really know his way around D and D like super well, he does know how to put on a good role play, and that is like. The most important part, I okay, think. Okay, found anyway. the armory. And... Oh, that shotgun, though. That shotgun. Any more for any more? I see you there. Alright. The armory's been resecured. Which means I'm allowed to help myself do anything I want. But I'm going to be honest. What I want is just a more ammo for my shotgun. Because my shotgun's hilarious. There's a recharge here. So may as well help that. Yeah, so, okay. there's a bunch of recharges, but you don't need them. I don't need them right now. I could also go over to, yeah, a uh, thing with a... Uh... Combat shotgun, you say? 
That does seem better, doesn't it? That it just, it just seems like a shotgun, but more. And I kind of I kind of like that conceptually. Sounds like a shotgun, but yes, yes. Pretty much, yes. So okay, hang on, no, no, not you. Uh, that was one. Illegal broadcast. Do I need to keep looping round to get to that? Because it feels like it was back in an earlier section. Oh, hang on. This door's open, but no. No secret way there. All right, mosey back and see if I missed a loop back and right back at the start for the uh, to get round to the radio room. Clap. Yeah, shout out to Matthew who gave us uh, two pounds and says, Hey, John and Claire, I hope you're both doing well. I think we're doing okay under the circumstances. Yeah, I think we're doing pretty good. This is a fun way to spend an evening with all of you. Uh, and we've also got 20 Canadian dollars. Excellent dollars. Uh, from Scott, who says the way uh, Claire just said F off is easily worth 20 bucks. I don't, I don't, I mean, to be honest, I say F off. Often and in many yeah. different ways. Mm -hmm. But I'm glad one of those worked for you. <laughs> Excellent. I don't see a way around. Maybe I must need to keep going in order to loop round to that radio room. For mm. the time being, I can just yeah, shoot the speakers to make them shut up. At least for the time being. Because they're playing very aggressively loud music. And that that's a crime. At least it should be. <laughs> it should definitely be a crime. So, okay. Hello, we are old. So, we went through here. We looped through it here. That was the armory. This way leads up to the centre of this area. But how does that help me precisely? Because that was the only way... Ooh, this is very interesting. Mm. Axel Fax says uh, about D&D. &D, yes. Uh, as a dungeon master, the best players are the ones who know the least about the game. They're way more imaginative and not limited by the rules of the game. Ah. Very nice indeed. Okay, are they supposed to go that way to I get... feel like the gods should be helping you by telling you where to go, but whatever. There's definitely more people... Ah, uh, hang on. There's a there's a way to go out that way. I'm not sure what the benefit of getting up top of that roof was. That's that hmm. one's big piece. But I see there's definitely, there's definitely a way to keep going forward if I ignore the guard post. That way was definitely locked up. But if I keep going in this direction, there's something going on here. Another guard post. Hello over there. Right. I've got a shotgun for you. And just... It's like a guy in here. I'm so sorry. You know what? You can come with me. You're going to be my new friend. Now... New friend, let us know the way to the radio room. We're a little lost. Up you go. Whee! <laughs> Happy days. I can throw people a long way as it turns out. I feel bad for him. He, did, he didn't need to go quite that far up into space. Right. Keep looping around. And guys, guys, guys. Okay, only the people who are like, oh, no, no, no. Only the people who are coming for me. And everyone else, you had your chance. And oh, I am. I've shot one wrong person there, but I think we're mostly okay. Everyone else, okay? If you guys just stay down, you don't get shot. Hello. Apart from possibly the guy who I did. Oh, hello. Okay, need to pass by the kitchen because apparently they're killing people who, who may have felt a sense of civic responsibility to report the crimes of their fellow people. So that's the, we, we need to sort that out. So, okay. Authorized personnel. This person is right. And... And who else is in here? If anyone... Yeah, look at that recovery. That recovery. I mean, it's not huge, but it's it's pretty nice. And someone definitely fired from over here. And that's... Hello. Off you go. Lovely. Right, was that actually a way to go the other way? Or was that door? Hang on. What's that? Stolen wallet. There's someone in here. We ended up here because of you in the first... You were in no hurry. Stupid guards. All right. man. Are you working in prison now? 
And ah. tell your fellow guards they ain't getting our help no more. Those were just the snitches. We don't shoot them. They're fine. We literally can't, I don't Literally think. can't. They're cool. Also, I don't appreciate you guys, like, hanging back and pretending you're helping when I'm doing all the work. You didn't come up all till it's done. It's all right. Keep on keeping on. I think we're looping round uh, to our friends in the radio. That was a bad idea, bro. Bro. Bro, seriously. All right. Do you want to see a magic trick? <laughs> ah, happy oh, days. Click through. Really hope you were actually bad, by the way. You can't shoot them if they're not bad, can you? Sometimes you can in some cities. You failed the mission instantly, like happened in the rave, remember? Oh, yeah, It did yeah, happen yeah, in the rave at one point, yeah. so okay. We're almost... We've, we've looped around to you guys. Check for crime evidence while we're passing through... We're almost at the radio. I think we must have looped around to that. And then we probably need to go upstairs to get to the warden. Let's just check for more crime evidence. Get to... Like I just basically have like a magnetic hand. They're good to regret doing this. And... Throw you into your friend's axe. <laughs> Crap is so fun. This game's great. This game feels so good. Here we go. I found broadcasting. Right. Use my breaching gun. And... Oh, nice. I think one of them was behind the door. I think, yeah, you brained one of them by breaching the door. I believe so, yes. Now, we just need to stop the broadcasting. Excuse me. No more music. There we go. No music in prison. So rules Robocop. We have successfully... Um, they've, got, they've got some uh, audio foam, insulation foam on the wall. They do, actually. They've got some sound dampening foam That's on the wall. Well, presumably the person who does like the prison broadcast will sit here, so having some right behind you does actually assist with making the uh, noise nice and warm. Mm -hmm. That's lovely. And that's it's, it's, good, it's good that they care about making the noise nice exactly. and warm. Exactly. They've made the... it a lovely, nice, warm noise for the prison. That, you know what? <laughs> I, 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 I know the guy said... I'm going to give the police a thank you for keeping me in business by sending lots of prison money. But on the other hand, he's paying a lot of attention to audio quality. So I, I feel like we should call, call, call it even. I feel like I'm, I'm willing to, to call it even in that regard. So, okay, I've still got plenty of ammo for me shotgun. I'm pretty sure. I feel like giving the prisoners in the prison a game of darts seems like... Maybe a bad idea. Yeah, I feel like foam darts does does make more sense. That, that maybe, seems reasonable. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's the guards. Subscription. Hello. Oh, what the? Oh, it's the guys who early who are waving at me. Well, you shouldn't have done that. All right. I took that personally. None of that, please. None of that. Just may as well top up my meat jibble. It's only like... Know what I meant to do, but all right. I meant to grab that instead. Uh, I've already got a superior shotgun. Reaching again. And... Any more for any more? Buddy, it hasn't gone well for anybody else. Are you certain you want to do this? Like, this isn't going well for any of your friends. At this point, stop the riot. When Robocop shows up, just don't riot anymore. He will kill you with a chair. You know, fair enough. You did indeed manage to not get hit by the chair there. You managed to successfully avoid the chair... Your friends will not be so lucky, except I need to breach. You can't breach. Oh, good Bethesda ring right there. That is a good body. <laughs> Come on. Sensible place. There we go. That's a bit more of a good fall. Just make sure. Hang on. Make sure there's nothing. Oh, oh, oh there's yeah. documents uh, behind you. Uh... Well, there's definitely a... That's just a normal OCP charge, so we don't need to worry about that. That's just a newspaper. Oh, just a newspaper. Normal Fair newspaper. Enough. Normally, the colour code is like more of an orange if they're to be uh, dealt with, so okay. Oh, they're like in a folder we go. Or and... Go. Okay, just... And the water is fine. Robocop, I owe you. You we do have to stop these creeps from taking over the prison. You bet we do. Wendell has to be behind this. I need to find him. I knew he was up to something. His cell is in Block B. And Robocop, give him my regards. 
I will give him much more than that. Bow chicka bow wow. If you need me. All right, good bit of wow. That's that's a good blood splatter. I'm sorry, I've kind of ruined your diploma. Right there, I, I've really ruined your diploma. Also, scanning muffins. Oh, that's the gift I was talking about. We started a baking class for the inmates, and I must say I've been enjoying it myself. Shame it'll go to waste. He just wanted to give me some muffins. But now they're covered in blood, so we can't eat them. <laughs> it's the best game. That's so cute. Fuck Baldur's Gate 3. Game of the year, right here. <laughs> hey, does anyone in Baldur's Gate 3 give you muffins? And then you can't eat them because they've got too much blood on them? Well, there we go. That's why this is game of the year and Baldur's Gate isn't. <laughs> All right. Keep on keeping on. We're going in. Unlock the door. Time for a whole lot more murders. So yeah, this is presumably a different... Like cell block no, A, those cell block B. Yeah, but like the layout is the same, I think. Mm. This is presumably not the same room I went through previously. Is it? Or maybe it is, and I'm just cutting through to cell block A. I'm not sure. I'm suspicious that I'm walking into the middle of the large Doom Arena. No, never mind. I'm continuing to go forward. I think we're just going forward to the other. Clap! Yes, indeed. Whoa, um, uh, shout out to Paul, who's been a member for 73 months. Woof. Uh, and says, this Thursday, I get to make cinnamon rolls and catch an MATN live stream. It's a good Thursday and happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, indeed. Uh, <laughs> lovely. Will gave us $2 and says, I'm calling in now. People are dying in this game. Yeah, that's reasonable. This, this is, is good true. Prediction. This is very true, Will. Good prediction. Good job. Hello, Let's buddy. See. Let me through. I can go kill everyone else to too. This area. If you go further, you won't be able to turn back. So, do you want to proceed? Yep, I've done the submissions. That's fine. I am ready to proceed. Okay then. Good luck. Yep, there were two missions: the armory and the thing, and I've done both of them. And I've got the shotgun for my trouble. So keep on keeping Glad on. You're here, Robocop. I think I saw someone. Someone from the outside. Someone from the outside. Those couldn't have been Ooh. visitors. They were armed to take... Someone's breaking out Wendell, I think. Right. Project Afterlife. They want to put brains in other bodies. Okay. I've got a wife and kids. Please. I promised you that one day I'd blow your head off. I feel like we should probably get around and... Hang on. Who just blew that door? Because it wasn't me. That looks like the army to me. Oh no, mercenaries. Uh oh. Right, we should probably get invited. Hello, hi, hi. Robocop, new arrival. I noticed. I saw them. And I think there. Any more for any more? Are you shooting? For Wendell. They're heading for his cell. I am on my way there now. Quick check. Everyone else, nice and calm. Not causing. Well, there's someone around here. Hello. Where are you, buddy? There we go. Nice. Right. I'm not an enemy. That's. I know you're not. It's cool. No trouble, buddy. No trouble. I just. I just want to, like, you know, restore. Double check. No, seriously. When, like, these guys. After we're done, there's going to be like seven. Oh, hang on. I'm not with them. I'm waiting for the guards. Oh, I'm too strong. I'm far too strong. I need to be much further back. I need to be much further back. Okay. I wonder if this is time sensitive at all. I'm sure it's not. Okay, then round over here, about like about there-ish. And... Okay, that's the significant more drop off. Oh, it just bounced off me. Just bounced off me. It just guys, stay on the ground. Stay on the ground. Stay on the ground. Stay on the ground. Okay. So if I'm if I'm okay, if we use this as like a point, so I can always get my position the same. The drop off was more significant. So about like here-ish. <sighs> okay. Oh, we're getting close. You're just too strong. <gasps> no, no, come back, come back, come back, come back, ball. Okay, we almost had it that time. We almost had it right here by this. Down here. Oh, I think it needs to... I wonder if that angle's too steep. Yeah. I wonder if that angle's too steep. Because, like, it, it's kind of just bouncing off the rims. Just saying, so I need to, like, I need to put it up way further. And then, like, it just comes down. So, like, say, let's just, yeah, be right by here. And we'll use the sun as a guide. So, if I put, like, put it, like, say, on, on this wire here. Assuming this wire is enough things. 
I, I think now you can't do it again because you've got rid of the ball. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can do that oh, anymore. Oh, I'm John, sad I'm now. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sad now. Also, there was a throwing arc. I forgot about it. That's true. There was a throwing arc and I, I, I didn't use Lol. it. Oh. Because that would have been cheating. I was just trying to... Now nobody can play. <laughs> it's a home run. Everybody dies and nobody gets to play baseball anymore. That's... Basketball. It's a different game. That's true. Those are distinct games. I'm not good at American games. Are... I mean, that's a feeble excuse right there. Like... Oh, you try and comment... Oh, hang on. Hang on. No. Just give me the gun, scum. You'll be... No, I think I've stumbled into a... What is the situation? Here. That 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 guy takes bribes from prisoners and wants to blow my head off because I snitched on him. Oh bullshit! This lowlife garbage is hiding a gun. I just want to disarm him and cuff him. If you let him cuff me, he'll kill me. Just let me go. I know where the other guards are. I'll head there right away. I feel like I don't trust either of these people, and I've no reason to trust yeah, one or the other. Yeah, but if you let the prisoner grow and he turns hostile, you just kill him, so... Yeah, that's fair. If he, if you cause any trouble, I will just kill you. And if I let the prisoner go and the guard turns on me, then we'll be ver then we'll verify that's true. Mm -hmm. Let him go. You're making a mistake. See ya! I feel like the prisoner was, in fact, lying. I feel like I did just make a mistake. I am sorry. Yeah, but like, Stop it. you know. Oh. <gasps> John, 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 behind what? you, behind what? you, behind you. What? Oh, what? I thought it was another basketball. When you I say- I got excited. <laughs> I got excited because I thought it was another basketball and you were going to be happy. Is that a I guy we were just talking Yeah, to? he did have a gun and he just shot another guard. Whoopsie. God damn it, Claire. You've killed a man. Which makes 900... I mean... Now now we've not killed 977 people. Now we've killed 978. God damn it, Claire. Right, do that. Recharge, etc. Right, that prisoner was indeed lying. And we shouldn't have trusted him. We made a mistake there. Right, mosey upward. Artistic schmear against the wall. Maybe he was just angry. Because we like... Ooh. Hello, new circuit board. All right, and that's a recovery charge, so we don't need that. That's more recovery charges, uh, but that's unfortunately the combat shotgun, which I don't want because that's the worst kind of shotgun. I am happier with my existing kind, so okay. We've got ourselves. Do we have, by any chance, a, for once, a superior board? 4.3. Ooh, a 5.2. Ooh. How right. many... Well, let's have a Luke's yes at the bare minimum. Only, Do we only two. Does it only have two damage boosters? Yeah. It's got Doom Doom rounds. Some rounds may explode, dealing more damage. It's got the pellet rounds. It's got single shot mode. We don't like single shot mode, do we? Uh, it's not as exciting. Uh, I feel like, once again, it's, yeah. it's literally doing way less damage. I feel like my existing gun is doing so well right now. I feel like this is not doing the job. I mean, Doom Doom rounds is fine, but, like, some rounds may explode. Yeah, but you can't, like, what's this guy? That's it's It's, it's pellet, pellet mode. So it's, it's, it's the... Yeah, so you don't have the recharge, the auto recharge. No, it's not It's not the infinite ammo. It the doesn't infinite have... ammo and, yeah, the auto recharge. Once again, I just feel like nothing's beating 3.3 yeah. 3 right now. Nothing can beat it in pure damage, in pure damage terms. So, all right, here we go. Breach. And... Hello. Don't mind me. Just here to ask, like, you know, important questions. Such as, hello, hi, hi. You can just... Wow, sorry, I just tossed your friend at you. Tossed your friend at you. That's, oh, oh, okay. They can shoot through those bars, apparently. Don't mind me. That's... Oh, shift start notes. Is that important? Radio functioning, flashlight, no batteries, high-speed gun holster functioning. Keep a close eye on the new prisoner, Wendell. I don't know why the guy ended up here in the first place. He seems to be a big player. He shouldn't be in a prison like ours. Just to err on the side of caution. Uh, if he causes even minor difficulties, he may be placed in solitary confinement. Okay. Nothing particularly of note. Now, was anyone shooting me a second ago? Hello, guys. 
Well, I just bounced a bullet off that panel and it killed. Ah, that's what we saw in the back of the courthouse. It was a bounce a bullet off a panel oh, thing. Oh, duh. That's what that was. And, and then you must have hit it by, uh, you must have hit it without realizing and yeah. that turned it off then. Yeah, probably. Or oh, there were no more enemies in the room. Yeah, yeah. There was probably there were no more enemies in the room. Hello. What's that one in the corner? Oh, I have a skill point I could spend. Oh, I see. Well, there's a guy somewhere in well, it here. Well, if you can spend it now, isn't gonna isn't it gonna give you the slow mo? Uh, I already got that. Remember, I maxed oh, that out previously. Sorry. Maxed sorry, that before. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, but yeah, I can so give myself a little bit more. Either I move towards yeah, armor two, so explosive and high caliber weapon do less, or vitality two, so yeah, five recharges, which I think is the priority for me. Yeah, so given a that you bit more health, have more health. been struggling to even pick them up. Yeah, exactly. So being able to carry more. Uh, how do I get out of here? Um, okay. Wait. There's no way out of there. That was the way I just came. I just breached into this room. If you go back to that round room in there. Yeah. I thought I could see something like... <gasps> Can you not use like a lever or something to open up yeah i thought i could see something that could be grabbed on the outside almost well, there's a phone that well there was there was a speaker on the outside mm, oh that might be that, that might have been it oh yeah that probably yeah, would just, have been that. just a speaker that but okay how do i get that. from my bad yeah to hang about that's just grabbable that's not that just went straight through the wall there okay so how precisely, because this was clearly where we were supposed to go. Wendell's confession. I have to make it to that cell over there. Is this like a, this is like a panopticon sort of a thing. But how do I make it rotate? Is there a control I can use to open doors? I mean, it's a prison. Tough mug. Really tough mug. Okay. Hang on. Is there a different mug jibble downstairs I miss? Maybe you go in that, like, there was definitely, yeah. I think there was another way to go forward in this direction. If I go this way, then I can get down to, yep, yeah, okay, you can just go down. That's just a different way to get to that area. So, all right. Keep on keeping on. Everyone else around here is dead. Maybe that's just an easier way to deal with the guards in the centre rather than having to deal with them direct. So in which case, we need to find uh, Mr. Wendell, who I'm guessing is long since gone. The mercenaries have got him out already. Yeah. Wendell's cell is empty. Intruders beat me to it. Robo, I'm just this getting a, a signal that the hostiles video. were spotted moving towards the property store. Wendell included. I will meet them there. Enjoy how they took the time to write things like Robo Bitch <laughs> and Walking Trash Can Will End Up in ju Junkyard on the wall. This is, this is, you know, I appreciate Attention that. Attention to detail. Yeah, I, I, I appreciate that. It's just, you know, know that he's thinking about me. Also, the music just got very ominous. I'm getting out the shotgun due to the level of ominous music. And there's... Okay. I mean... I mean, I'll be able to... They left a trap for me. That was smoke grenades. That was smoke grenades. No. No, no. Bye. Oh. Okay. Dead. Right. And you just dropped a grenade and blew yourself up, didn't you? Oh, hang on. What have you got? Assault rifles and stuff. That sounds exciting. I think I'm willing to... Then again. Shotgun. Is it really better than shotgun? No. No, it's not. Right. Keep on keeping on. Hello. Don't mind... Me. Oh, 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 and you. Okay, accuracy with this thing can be a bit difficult. Just I'll shoot. Oh, feels good though. Feels good. Feels like a good shot. No. Oh. Okay, we needed to shoot him somewhere where he wasn't protected by like armor. Yeah, they've got good body armor on them. And possibly we're going for extremities here. And it might, unfortunately, be time to change out to make jibbles. Oh, we had a combat shotgun, too. They got me loads of... That got me a full ammo recharge from a thing. Nice. Nice. Into the laundry. Medium load. Start. 
I appreciate that Maurice is just doing the Don't laundry. Don't disturb me. I have laundry to do. You carry on, Maurice, you magnificent bastard. Here. No, I can't lose this job. It's the only thing that's keeping me sane. Orders Besides, who, I've got orders. You are in emotional shock. You should report to the guards and get professional assistance. I've already lost one job because of you. I won't let you do it again. Get lost. Oh. Do we know who he was? <laughs> did, did I make him lose a job previously? Was he a character in the film I've forgotten? All right, I think we just wanted to be mad. Go! Go! There we go. Yeah, I think we want to be going <laughs> shots in the dick. That Look at that blood splatter. Oh, that's the blood beautiful. dribble as well. It's not just a splatter, it's a dribble. Oh, that's it's actually great. dribbling. Oh, that is... Dynamic blood splatter. Yeah, proper dribble Ooh. on the blood. I love it. That's, that's the good shit right there. <laughs> All right, keep on keeping on. Just explore everything. Hello. Down you go. And excuse me. Yeah, we want to be going for like arms, legs, etc. Groin shots seem to work pretty solidly. And that gets me a few other bits and pieces. Yeah, we'll just clear out all of them while going through. And yeah, those big chappies have the big shotguns, which is the good shit. So that keeps me uh that keeps me happy that keeps me going right yeah now. that keeps you in ammo doesn't it that keeps me in ammo for my favorite shotgun which is very important so okay the laundry go hang on is that up he found some drugs in people's pockets and he put it on one side so they didn't go in the wash with everything else that i appreciate and no go you don't know maybe the drug like died at clothes and then ruined them there we go. If they kneel down, it's a little bit difficult to get the kills on them. But, okay, we're dealing with people who are a fair bit. No. <laughs> down you go. Oh, is it's that definitely armor? more around the corner. Yep, it will be. Nice. And... Help! Somebody help me! Prison guard oh, and an electric chair. Okay, we'll, we'll help out. Help! Just as soon as I've read this prisoner complaint here, we need to take these things seriously from Jimmy the Bulldog Leak. A demand to be released from mandatory baking. Well, there's barking classes for a sex. So <laughs> very nice. Animal behavioural therapy. Baking classes. They don't de-stress me. They're pissing me off. I'm a serious thug, a real murderer. People from the hood are laughing at me because I ended up in kindergarten you called a prison. And they're about the baking classes, my reputation. But the, fuck, the muffins look really nice. What will happen to you when I leave? Okay. Go. Excuse me. No. Levers. Don't push the lever. Okay. Hello. We're going to get you out of there, sir. Don't worry. It's all fine. Hello. What would you like me to do? Oh, thank God you're here. Oh, I don't know how to thank you. Oh, Martha needs me, you know. Oh, it's such a great car. But they'd probably scrap it if I died here. You saved us both. Thank you. Okay. That's, that's fine. Would you like to be... Okay, we did untie him. We did officially untie him. Good. We can also do some recharging. Stabby stab. Wibbly wibble. Electricity. Yeah, nice. people in chat have been asking uh, if you do that in someone's house, does the electricity bill skyrocket? Presumably so. The important yes, that questions. Makes, that makes you know. sense. Yeah, you know what? That I, I, I could believe that. It's okay, we want to be going this way. No, nope, that's just a little much. Oh, this will be right. This will be the holding cell for people just before they get executed in the chair over I there. I suppose, yeah. Right. That would make sense. Blimey. And, oh! Well, oh, someone, someone's a bit dead there. And... Hello! Die! <laughs> nice. Yeah, the problem is when they're kind of behind cover, their exposed bits are a little bit... Okay, you know what? That, 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 that's fine. That's fine. Excuse me. Just pop back up again. This will go for the... Yeah, the arm. Okay, when they're in cover... This thing where I can lets me go for the arm shots is a bit better. But otherwise, yeah, they're a bit tricky. Yeah, we're going for limb shots with these guys. We're playing by dead space rules. So, okay. Out this way. Keep on... Ooh, I feel like we're walking into something a bit nasty here, don't you? Do Marina! Do Marina. And... 
Merc leaders. Heavily armored. Fierce fighter. Increased morale. Right, so they need to go down Shoot him first in, in, a perf in a perfect world. And, uh, okay. I'm pretty sure that's him right there. And he's down. Okay, he goes down. Which is fine. And I just need to get the cock out of... I'm stuck on a ledge. This is not ideal. Right, go. Use my mid bolt. Right. They also use a lot of... Seriously, where are they cocking these guys? Give me shield back up. Right, when there's a lot of these guys... Yeah, I need to go for the legs. I need to go for the legs a little bit more. Seriously. Grab. Use a human shield against any of your friends. And much like the baseball... The basketball. Up, up and away! Right, pretty sure he's dead now. Excuse me. No. Out of the prison you go! Oh, never mind. <laughs> On the barbed wire you go! You did, I, did, I just threw him into barbed wire instead. That's that's absolutely fine. Right. Oh, shit, there's another, <gasps> base, there's another baseball. There's another baseball. There's another baseball clap. Basketball. Baseball clap. There we go. We got more All right, people. you guys die. We've got to practice our basketball. They were just they were just running through and taking it. This whole rehearsal is a fucking mess. Call the cop, call the studio and tell them that you get out of this shit hole. Jerry Jenkins is serving his time in prison. That's the actor we ran into during the last uh was it the live stream or was it the video? I can't remember. I can't remember. But Jerry Jenkins is indeed alive and well. And you are tossing grenades around also. Right, no. No, 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 no. You're going out. Okay, I can't, I, I can't get people high enough to get them out of the prison. That lower wall, yes. The rest of them, not so much. So, okay, you just run into... I guess Maurice was someone we ran into in a previous thing. I suppose. But I can't remember. But okay. Here we go. Because I've got... Like, people were saying... I thought I had the, the targeting thing. Is it with X? No, it's not. Hang on. How do I... I don't have the tick, tick. Ah! By holding down that. Okay, so if I get it right about there. You're just too. You've. It's too. Yeah, you've it's. just got it's, too much force it's behind it. It's too much, yeah. It bounces straight off, and also, where did the ball go? I think we've lost another ball. I'm ruining prison. I'm ruining prison for all these people. They just want to be able to play baseball, America's national pastime. <laughs> and I'm just, I, I'm robbing them of all of their bases mm. or, or something. It's, 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 it's unclear. Bow chicka bow wow. Exactly. When I, when I catch up with Wendell, I'll take him to fourth base. That's, that's <laughs> how I want to play baseball with him, damn it. Right. Uh, Here we go. Yeah. Stab. Right, give me some OCP charges. There's one. And beyond that, I'm pretty happy with... Oh, there's something going on in here. Hello. Open. Oh, it's an infirmary. Now, that's got to be good. There's got to be medicine in an infirmary. Maybe it's not for me. That guy's got a ticket for the mercy seat in a month. But he was shot. And it looks like justice will get him sooner. <laughs> that's no reason to leave me here to die. I can't take him with me, and I'm not going to stay here. Yes, you are. Your job is to, like, you know, you, you have a responsibility and a duty of care. You're staying here. Justice can only be served by executing court orders. You're more human than this fucking jailer. All right. Are you going to stay here and do that thing? All right, good, 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 good. And as I was hoping for, Robocop medicine can be found inside the medical wing. Good, 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 good. All right. Still keep on keeping on. I'm happy with the mere shotgun. Just reload her and... There's definitely something in the shower. And... No, no, okay. Go. Right in the dick. Yep, yeah, that's it. And the date works nicely. <laughs> Literally fell over clinging to his penis. <laughs> Marvellous. Right, okay. <laughs> and if we're going into a breach, use my normal gun because it is better for that scenario. And hang on. Who's here? Oh, this is this is not Oh, this is no, this is this is bad. This is a bad scenario. This is a bad scenario. Right, that that was that was bad. Okay. 
There are many, many people here, but this isn't... When they're charging forward, it's better. It's difficult to get them when they're behind cover. Yeah, it's, the groin is actually a good is a good target. Chest and head are both protected. What have you got, by the way? Ooh! <gasps> can throw an axe at somebody. Who wants an axe? Who wants an axe thrown at them? Did Who? you drop your cool shotgun to pick this shit up? No, no, this no, is just one of the... This, this is, is, an this is like a not, temporary yeah. item. It's like a temporary item. And go! Well, that got one of them. Right, you are one of the bosses. Need to get you. Okay, stay, stay in cover, stay in cover, stay in cover, stay in cover, stay in cover. Right. And right, who's around? Well, you can go down. Which gets me a little bit more time. Who else is? You're right there. Where's the, there's the boss. There's the boss. There's oh, the thanks boss. Thanks for coming up to our level and making it easier to shoot you. Yeah, perfect. Don't need more for any more. Oh, there's a couple more over there. Yeah, you just have to get into the right headspace for shooting into the groin. And there was one downstairs who's now moving in this direction. You're a heavy. I think it's time to drop a shield, please. Ah, he's kind of got behind some cover there. I think he's either down or close to it. Yeah, nice. And cut myself to the shotgun ammo. Good. Good, good, good. This is okay. This this is this is a good escalation of threat. Now we're dealing with mercenaries who are, you know, a little bit less squishy, just being popped in the head and whatnot. And no! Oh, claw! That's more people than I was expecting. Writing groin number two. Yeah, but they've got to. Writing number three. And number four. Yeah, groin. Groin shot with a shotgun sorts them right out. That 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 puts them on a one-way ticket to death's fill. Uh, so, all right. Keep on keeping on. If you guys could give me some health top-ups, I'd appreciate it. But, for the time being, is that a breach? Yeah, there's a small room. There's literally nothing in here, in fact. That, no, that was... there's a... John? Yeah? There's a top-up well. against the wall. Nice. That's good. I know that's the issue. That's the noise he makes. Yeah, obviously. Okay, we've already got one more skill point, which is good. So, yes, my priority to move towards the enhanced fuse box and more of those or high damage reduction. You know what? High caliber weapons with these guys are showing up more. I'll get my armor up to level two. Mm. Let's get my armor up to a solid level. So, if people show up with like big heavy doors, we can uh, deal with it. And if a lucky side room will mean. I was hoping so as well. Good. So we're fully charged up on our health kits and all the rest of it. That is... I thought that was drugs, but it was not. It was, in fact, not crime evidence. There's, oh, there's something going on. Yeah, right. it's not grenade. Okay, this is... Yeah, I can't... Use the... Yeah, use my vision. He's somewhere over there, but I can't... I don't have a clear shot at him. Oh, yeah, he was kind of partially obscured by the thing. That's a fast reload. It's only fast reload. All right, there. Yes, the smoke grenades in particular make things a little bit challenging. Uh, hang on. They do, but at the same time, you have your Robocop vision, which makes it quite... That's true, but yeah. it, it kind of... It means you can't see clearly what bits them are or aren't obscured in cover mm. at any given moment. Also, he bought a lot of mercenaries, like... This is more mercenaries than I would have expected. Like, bare minimum. He could have just basically arranged the mercenaries on a day Robocop wasn't visiting him. Or, like, you know, had a system in place where if Robocop was visiting him that day, cancel and uh, let them come back. Because I feel like this would have been much easier if I weren't here. Like, he'd already be well, yeah, safe well, and away. And, but then again, I suppose if he, the mercs are all dead... a question of flair, he also, isn't there? He doesn't need to pay the mercs if they're dead, presumably. Yes, like, true. I've never hired a team of mercenaries myself, but, like, I would assume you pay a bit up front and mostly after. But like, I, I assume there's a deposit. It's like hiring a car. Yeah, I mean, you'd think so, wouldn't you? I mean, you, you got to think that you have to put a deposit down. Like, but then again, <laughs> oh, do you no. really do you really not pay the invoice of a team of professional killers? Like, I feel like that that's the group you pay the invoice of. Oh, that's cops. Hello. <laughs> well, bare minimum, we seem to have reached safer oh. territory. But then in which case, if safer territory is here, mm. where the cock is Wendell? Because we've kind of killed all his mercs and whatnot. But now we've run into cops. So, hello. Guys. Yeah, but maybe some of the cops are OCP dirty OCP cops. Did Wendell pass by here? Where the cogs Wendell then? 
Guys, 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 guys. What the cock is going on right now? Last week I finished organizing the stuff down here with a brand new system. And today, those fuckers showed up and messed everything up. Where That's fair. Go? Kill them for disorganizing the, the room. Lot. You have to bust them. I'll be cleaning this shit up until retirement. I feel bad for that guy. I, I would feel very aggrieved Sympathies. if I spent ages setting up a new system of, like, you know, all of that sort of business, and then someone messed it up straight away. Like, I, I'd be aggrieved, too. Yeah, the and if they murdered there, a bunch of my colleagues, too. Mm -hmm. All right. So we got ourselves a alternative to breach points. If we're going into a breach, we'll use this gun. And, oh, I see explosive canisters. Yes, explosive canisters. And we can bounce bullets off things. Right, you. Who else is here? Who else is here? Uh, I'm not seeing many people, actually. Right, that's you, Dad. There's definitely more red over there, Maybe but it might be... Waves. I can just bounce bullets off that. Love it. Okay. There's... Oh, hang on. What's that? That's... Oh, that's just a recovery charge. Hey, buddy. Who's over here? I see. Bouncing bullets off things. Right, bounce bullets into the back of you. You know what? Go into that. Go for the arms. Go for the groin shot. Go for the groin shot. Go for the groin shot. Blow up the van. Yes. Okay. And... Could actually yeah, grab yeah. him from that range hilariously. Uh, yeah, because of your magnetic hand. Exactly. I'm too sure if I have like a person magnetic hand. Mm. Right. I've got uh, someone's here. Okay. I one of the groin and oh, that's one of the yeah, that was, yeah, the three tanks. Yeah. The right. Keep moving. And go. Down two. Smoke everywhere, but I can see. Right. Filled up health and that. We're doing well so far. This is all looking good. This gun is not letting us down. If we can. You know what? Yep, use that's the reflection panel right there. And also, they're hiding behind vehicles. And that's a bad idea in a video game because vehicles explode. As you know, it doesn't matter where you shoot them. Like, you know, you can shoot them like five times in the tire. And the video and the vehicle will explode. Video game might too. If it's made in a Bethesda engine, there's a good chance the engine will just explode. Who knows? Right, we've also got ourselves. Ooh, I'll take this. Hello. <laughs> I see you. You're more exposed, though. And you're popping out. I see and you. And I think that's the last one. And more importantly, I see your dick, so I shoot it. Exactly. Now, where's Wendell? Wendell, it was a good attempt, but... <gasps> Who gave him that back? Why was he given that back? Well, because he got it out of the evidence thing, and he hired, like, mercs and shit. God damn Who it. Who is it? Who is it? Who's in the helicopter? Can't you get it through that thick skull of yours? You're supposed to stay away from my business if you want to get your past life back. How have you not figured out it's that thing yet? It was so obvious. How about we save part of that life right now? I sent some guns to the hospital to rectify my mistake and finish the job with your friend Lewis. But it was before we talked. I would have called off the hit but I had to take care of you and your fellow guards. So, I guess it's over to you. Just need to shoot him the moment and we stand again. Anyone who's holding the thing, you can't shoot him. It's probably what it is, too. Uh, no, you have to. Your humanity makes you choose Lewis. Uh, no, that was the dumb plot twist in the new Robocop. We don't acknowledge that. We don't acknowledge my programming can be overcome by the human soul because that's incredibly dumb and it was what the new Robocop said. It was dumb as shit. And I'm not having it. Well, yeah, but he just told you that you have to go save Lewis, so. Mm -hmm. I feel like it might be a bit late, especially as it was day and now it's night. <laughs> I feel like I kind of you know, shouldn't have stopped for that haircut or for a Casualties McDonald's. at Gibson Memorial Hospital. I need assistance. Possible hostiles in the vicinity. Oh, possible. Mm. Okay. Yeah, we kind of think. Oh, also, apparently I've picked up a skill point there. Aha! I'm now more immune to explosives and high caliber. 
Nice. Good, 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 good. That that feels useful. Lots of dead people. Alright. Hello. I feel like I might be a bit late. But like technically Anne Lewis is still alive. I mean, maybe they're Lewis. holding her hostage. So that they can bother you. No, I think Lewis might have kicked their asses. Go, Lewis! What? Because that's definitely one of them. Yeah! I'm all right, Murphy. I'm I all shot right. them in the dick. Good job, Lewis. Go, oh, god damn it! She can take care of herself. She don't need me to fucking rescue her. God damn it, and Lewis. Tough old, tough as old boots. Love her. There we go. It's like, oh, I don't have to call off the hits, but nope, no, no, no. She can take care oh, of herself. I don't god even need safe. to go. We've missed you, officer. How are you feeling? A little banged up, but I've certainly been worse. That Wendell guy needs to pay for what he did. And he will. But when? How many more innocent people have to get shot before that happens? OCP doesn't have our back. We know that Wendell's working for him. You know what we should do? Don't even say it! We strike, should go strike, on strike! Strike! Yeah. Strike! Sergeant, how can we go out on the streets knowing that the people who hire us are working against us? Don't forget about the robots. We will discuss this further, but first, Murphy, it's time for your evaluation. I better get a good grade, or I, I, I did, okay, I, I kind of, I feel like actually, you know what, thinking about it, I feel like I should be. I, I, I kind of trusted that prisoner, and he kind of murdered a guard. Well, there like, was that, but that's, yeah. That's, that was bad. Look, as long as we can all agree that Lewis gets an A+. Plus. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Hello, interview invitation. Estevez. Okay. What precisely was... I'm sure probably I knew a Miss, a Miss Estevez during one of my submissions and I can't remember who that was or what they did. I'm oh sure God, it's Lewis all fine. Hey, Everything's Steph. okay. I, 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 I don't deserve better than a B. I Robocop. would like Please, have a, seat. a B for this, okay? I'd like a B. Come on, B. And yeah, I, I, I did I did I did lots of submissions. Yeah, I the armory break I did, did the illegal broadcast. Warden's gift was discovered. The note about Wendell was found. I didn't stop the cunning prisoner and apparently I did not I didn't collect enough crime evidence. But I did the rest of it. I think a B would be fair. An A! What? I feel like I don't deserve an A. I, I, I feel like I, 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 the person You're is really dead. You're harsh on yourself. I feel that's like it for me. That's, that, Where I just is feel like Dr. that's Blanche? not enough. Oh, where's Blanche? I am supposed to undergo an evaluation. Oh, right. She called. Said that she wouldn't be able to make it today. Actually, she wanted oh, you to Blanche call Blanche has been kidnapped. She seemed distressed. Okay. We've got, we've got one of my girlfriends is in trouble. One of my many girlfriends. And uh, we've got skills. Yes, we can now get Vitality straight to level 2. So I can now have uh, five of them, uh, which is very exciting. And yes, then we're... This is extended investigation vision range. Boring. Leading to... Yeah. Actually, Robocop vision instantly marking every enemy in sight at the middle tier isn't terrible. That's That's not terrible. Deduction, uh, uh, I can do without that. Psychology highlights favourable dialogue options. This this doesn't really seem to show up much for the for the most part. So I feel like we could probably do without that. In which case, engineering goes up to reduce cooldown after a dash, slow regeneration, small caliber kind of rounds ricochet off your armour. Right, yep, 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 yep. When no. enemies shoot me, the bullets bounce off and kill them. That's hilarious. Yes, I think we'll be having that. Claire. Anyway, shout out to, um, shout out to Eshla, Bea, Vas, Charlotte, and C, who gave us $10 and says that's one way to celebrate Dick Destruction December. <laughs> oh, good lord. Apparently. Good lord. Anyway, Chitara has been a member for 63 months and says, All the grind shots! <laughs> yep, that's what you have to do when you're taking on mercenaries, apparently. Professional mercenaries are no <laughs> match for being shot in the deck. 
Uh, yeah, shout out to uh, Die Kill Die who gave us two Australian dollars and says, uh, so are we having the long dark Christmas special this year finally? No, we're not. I forgot to make it again. Lol. Lol. Sorry. Uh, critical Mass. Plus, been... Christmas Day actually falls on a Monday, so there's not going to be a video on Monday. Mm. I'm not going to do like extra work on Christmas. I get to do less work. There's probably going to be like what? a sort of Fallouty themed. Uh, fall out on Sunday, which is the 23rd, and then probably we'll have yeah. two days off. And, like, you know, Starfield yeah. resumes the following Friday. Uh, the Games of the Year list will come on Wednesday. That'll be, like, the first video after Christmas. I'll probably take, like, two days off over Christmas. So, no, the long dark has once again not happened. No. Let's call Dr. Blanche. See what's got her knickers in a twist. Dr. Blanche. Thank you for kidnapping. I, I don't know what to do. Who to trust? What seems to be the problem? And can you speak up, Doctor? Research that I was conducting on you. It's gone. Hmm. All the data that I collected is missing from the precinct. If someone felt comfortable stealing my computer, they may come after me once they realize that most of my records are on paper. OCP has been adamant about me keeping all the records on my computer, but I don't trust technology and I don't trust OCP. I keep most of my records with me in my notebook. I don't know who to turn to. Except you. Where are you now? Home. You are not safe there. Meet me at the Star Motel. Yes, I know the place. I'll meet you there. Thank you. Okay. Someone's been stealing a her data by the Luke of it. And I've also got to I ah, go and turn in my... Oh! I'm not leaving here so I know what happened. Fishy Sir, situation. Can you please calm down. What's I'm going a respectable on? Citizen. I won't be treated like this. I like you. Murphy, I'm gonna sort out your problems. Oh no, no, what on earth's going on? This sounds hilarious. Why is there a man yelling about this fish or something? Really Do you mind taking over? Hey, don't talk about me like I'm some kind of problem. The real problem is that one of you ignored my call for help. Sir, none of our dispatchers would do such a thing as receive a call and not act upon it. So maybe the next thing you're gonna tell me is that I wrecked my own fish shop. Plenty of people attempt insurance fraud. How dare you? My family has been serving that neighborhood for generations. You should know that I have many offers to buy out the shop. But I would never sell out to OCP, unlike you lot. I need to speak eye to eye with the man who ignored my call this afternoon. Just a moment, sir. Murphy. I think it's your new buddy who's been on dispatch duty today. Could you check this matter with him? Ulysses, what did you do? Because I feel like this guy might actually have had his shop, like, destroyed or vandalized by OCP who want to drive him out so they can buy it for their Delta City plan. So I feel like, yes. Ulysses, we trusted you. Ulysses, we rooted for you. And also, something's going on in the locker room. Look, I, I will deal with that in a second. Okay. Where the cock is... I mean, Let's I don't know, check the locker room that another cop was running out of because they might have been beating up Ulysses because they hate him. Ulysses, why are you suddenly in the locker room? But what does this have to do with this gentleman's fishy situation? It was you sitting on your ass in dispatch when my cousin called the police. He got shot because no officer showed up. It appears there's a technical problem. I reported it to OCP. You see? He said it himself. That little snitch reports everything to OCP to undermine our efforts. That's not right. I answer all... Yes, it's not right, and you'll answer for that. Put him up. <laughs> I ain't gonna fight you. We're police officers. No, you got that all wrong. You never were and never will be part of this team, because you're not a real cop. You may fool some of us, but I can smell a rat a mile away. Minnie? Okay, Steph. Stand down. You're being a little bit angry right now. You could have just made him part of the team instead of alienating him. Everybody sit down. I will make his chamomile tea. Attacking a fellow officer is a violation of the law. I will not allow it. Of course you won't. You're both OCP's puppets covering for each other. This is bullshit. Come on, Steph. Let's just go. Whatever, man. Okay, but you did do something wrong, Your Ulysses. Your stress level appears to be high. I recommend using a health pack. I'm guessing you're not here just to check my vitals. Can I help? There has been a complaint about police ignoring calls. 
You mean other than this one? I had a feeling something was wrong with the switchboard. Can you meet me in the dispatch room? I want to show you what I mean. I think the problem started when OCP brought new equipment in. I mentioned to the technicians that I thought something was wrong with this switchboard, but they said not to fuss, as this stuff is top of the line. Maybe you could have a look at it? Oh, what if the switchboard, yeah, in the event it's from a particular people they don't want, like people they're messing with, yeah. it redirects if the call from, to yeah. them so it gets ignored. Where, I think it'll be, um, yeah. Which location it's from. Yeah. Unauthorized modification. Yeah, handset is fine. Yep, the radio receiver's fine. And one more. Input is fine. Monitors are fine. Everything else. Panel appears to be in working order. Cord circuit in working order. Keep scanning all the McJibbles. This cable looks out of place. I will go. see where it leads. Okay. Follow the cable. Can you say the cable? Which... Where does that mention? Aha! Round the back over here. Turn it on. Police! What's the emergency? Hello? I just called. And I believe someone hung up on... Okay, just remain calm. Officers are on their way and we'll be with you shortly. I haven't even finished my last sentence and you... Thank you for contacting the police. Stay safe. Back up. Right. So he was redirecting certain calls, probably because OCP wanted the police to not respond. So, any luck finding what's wrong with it? The switchboard has been tampered with. Calls are being patched through to a concealed answering machine. That's seriously messed up. But it's definitely not all the calls. I've been receiving a pretty decent share of them. But have a look at this. I marked the map with all the calls I've answered this week. One entire district seems to be completely empty. Yeah, and it's that rundown neighborhood. We need to find out what's going on over there. Yeah, an I think we know what's going on there. Itself. Yeah. There is a victim from there awaiting an apology. Okay. Let me take care of that. I'll tell you what I find once I'm done. All right, OCP of being yes, making sure no one gets any response. But I want to make it right. I'd like to start by visiting your store. Maybe I could take your statement there, so I don't keep you here any longer. Finally, someone who's hearing me out. I want to see you by the end of the day. Otherwise, this matter goes straight to Mayor Kuja. Once I finish my dispatch duty, I'll come right over. Good. Good. I can take my leave now. It's the perfect opportunity to check out the area and learn what the locals know, don't you think? I agree. If you're not busy with your other duties, maybe you could join me there? Alright. Fishy situation. Help out Ulysses Washington. But, before we go anywhere, uh, there is, yes, we need to report my findings. And I suspect that I'm about to be sent to probably this exact area. So yeah, old Detroit. I'm guessing I'm probably about to be sent there anyway. Because it would be very odd if I could, like, you know, go to two locations at the same time. So, okay. Check in on the big business. But any chance does this also lead into old Washington? Murphy, Old Washington, here. Detroit. He's Let's Washington. Let's what you found out at that prison. I will show you somewhere private. I think I've got the place. Down in the... Yeah! The archive room! The new OCP project is what will make this possible for you. But I wouldn't want to leave you empty-handed. So let me at least give you this. The project's called Afterlife. Afterlife. So someone in OCP is working with Wendell on another big project? If not Becker, then who? Sorry to disappoint you all, you ungrateful fucks. You didn't think I'd find you here, did you? Since I'm already here, entertain me. If I'm no longer your suspect, then who is? 
I mean, we're all thinking it, so I might as well say it. What if it's the old man? Ha! <laughs> You've got some balls to even mention something like that. Nevertheless, good luck. Even if it's true, he's untouchable. Unlike you, I've got some work to do. Final preparations before the expo. So wish me luck. Why are you even Good still luck. here? You attempted to murder <sighs> me earlier. Becker's right. We can't just go on accusing people without proof. What else is there? Seems that Wendell found himself another gang to work for him. What do we know about them? Guns for hire. He's paying a lot for their services. They're supposed to be very computer savvy. Real high tech shit. Dr. Blanche mentioned her computer was hacked. Then I think we found ourselves a new lead. Murphy, I want you to pursue this. I will pay Dr. Blanche a visit. All right, everyone dismissed. All Can't right. wait to go back out there, partner. You're not going anywhere. But, Sarge! I need you here. That's the end of the discussion. All right. Sadly, Anne doesn't get to come with me on this occasion. And, uh, okay. So, uh, right. We need to pay attention. Yes, we need to go and visit the doctor by the looks of it. And I'm guessing fishy situation is going to be the same location. Though, no one actually said specifically where her place is. But I'm going to work under the assumption. Murphy. It is. Mayor Kusak wants to talk to you. He's waiting in Reed's office. Well, it did just, I kind of just backed him. So okay, I I I we'll, we'll we'll go we'll go say hi to him because we did just yes like very publicly back him. You Should called. we have done that? I did, Frankenstein. I hate to sound like a broken What's record, but the election also, is days away. The, the future of this city is at risk. That's why I wanted to be blunt with you. I want your support. Just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. Is it money? Do you want me to pay you? I will remind you, Mr. Humanity. Mayor, that bribing voters is illegal. But if that's what it takes... I'm already backing you! You know as well as I that we can't have OCP rule this city. I may have overheard that there are some serious accusations pointed at the old man himself. What more do you need to know to support me? I, 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 I did on TV! It. Sure, take your time, but not too much time. The election is in two days. I went on TV saying I was on your side! And the game knows I did! What's the... <laughs> and yeah, the game didn't ask you to make any choices here, but said you, know you supported him, presumably because you did it Why before. I guess! So very highly confusing. So highly confusing stuff. The, the politics, trying to figure out which you're actually, take, you're, you're actually doing at any given point is catastrophically confusing. It's very difficult to follow that. So uh, I'm guessing we'll probably go into a brand new area at this point. I'm guessing a brand new like, little area we can walk around in and whatnot. Which I'm guessing is going to be, yeah, the same area where Blanche lives as is where the fish shop is. Uh, yes, indeed. And uh, meantime, shout out to Bill, who gave us $20 and a little heart emoji. Very cute. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, indeed. Ooh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, this area looks not so bad. And Murphy, are you on your way to see Dr. Blanche? Yes. Let us hope I will not be slowed down by another cheering crowd. So, the preparations for the election are in full swing, huh? Fortunately, I am just by the hotel. Good. Keep me posted. Ass, the hotel opposite the road from the gas station. We're actually back in this area again. But in which case, if I go for fishy situation, and also crime evidence collect 400, find 300 things. Okay, it is in that area. The fish stop Wait, is... find 300? 300 crime evidence, but like one one folder could be worth like 75. Oh, I it's not see, actually that much. See, so fine. The the dicey area over there, that's where the fishy shop is uh, and the hotel here. So, okay, we're back on this block again. But once again, everything's kind of, you know, been refreshed for election day. And also, that is the shop where the sex crime happened. You guys here for a reason? Guys? Okay, you guys, you guys are just staring at that door. That's absolutely fine. Right, Claire, while I mosey around and try and find some, like, you know, crime evidence, etc., etc. Yeah, shout out to Critical Maz, who's been a member for eight months, uh, and says, I would just like to say thank you for getting me through another year, including college. Ooh, hope you're having a nice time at college. Yes, indeed. 
Well, I get a, a pretty nice time. Given you said get me through, I, I uh, hopefully it's not like you know, so so bad. But like it sounds like uh, I hope it's okay at least. If I didn't, sir. Your father must be proud of you. Don't know if we're Oh, Daniel Briggs! That's that's the kid of the dead police officer. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, he yeah, did a, he yeah. just did a good thing for an old person. Good for him. Clap. Uh yes, indeed. Uh shout out to Quinn C who gave us five euros and says, Dead or alive, I'm super chatting to you. Oh, appropriate message under the circumstances. Love yes, it. Yes indeed. Uh wait a second. Is your car leaking oil? That sounds Littering. like a crime to me. Hazardous oil spillage. That's a nice, easy, legitimate ticket. Right there, dear oh flipping dear. Oh, is there anybody parked in front of a hydrant or having not paid? They get the highlighted if they do. Or... There's been a parking oh, meter before. They get highlighted in my crime vision. That's why I'm just checking for some nice, easy oh, cars. Oh, that's why you were in crime vision. Exactly. To okay. see if anyone's done anything silly. Well, uh, and uh, let's see. Not silly at all from Niche Icon, who gave, uh, who's been a member for 64 months. Happy holidays, everybody. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, indeed. Uh, do, 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 do. Yes. <laughs> uh, Sir Vault here in chat says, um, if you find enough fish shops being fishy, it'll become... A school of crime evidence. <laughs> eh, oh. <laughs> dear, oh, flippin' dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Uh, not, I don't trust bikers. They seem to cause trouble in this game. You two seem to be not actively causing trouble. Mm. Everything seems to be, yes, well set up for Mare Day today. But okay. I think as we are now at half midnight, I think Claire has just indicated to me we are all caught up on everything. We're not going to kick off a new mission. We're kind of, you know, in this nice area where we've got a few new things to take care of. We could, you know, go and say hello to the fish shop, etc., etc. And Your arguments against voting are baseless. As residents of this city, you have an obligation. Get lost, kiddo. I don't want them to unsuspend my sentence for beating up a snot like you. I appreciate your sense of civic responsibility, child. Well done. That was delightful. Yes, I think we'll probably wrap things up there for the evening. You is... just walked it right into a wall because you turned your head towards me. That was I beautiful. I did. I just, it's absolutely fine. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm just, just having a Robocop malfunction. Robocop malfunction sometimes. It's just a thing. We don't need to, we don't need to worry about it. But yes, there was definitely some flashing lights over on that side of town. So there's like another sub crime to solve. And now that we're over on this bit, we've got obviously, you know, we've got the the fish business we've got the main business of the hotel clearly there's something going on with uh, the parade there'll probably be something at the courthouse as well my reporter friend will probably show up to this there's a lot in this game there is an awful lot in this game but i would say yes let's let's wrap things up for this evening right there absolutely delightful game really good this is going to be it's going to be high in the list of my games of the year robocop rogue city has i think been uh, an, an underappreciated little thing this has been this has been a cracking little game. So uh, yes, indeed, we'll wrap things up there. Don't you worry though. We have got all sorts of bits and pieces coming up for you, of course. Uh, yes, obviously beyond your usual Starfields and Fallout on Saturday. I'm hoping House Flipper Two is out now, so I might come what? up with all sorts of exciting new ideas in the field of open plan bathrooms. Uh, coming up on Saturday, adorable little indie game I want to showcase on a Wednesday. And if I can, okay. And I've got a little project I want to try and get working a week on Saturday, the 23rd. The final one-off before Christmas. Yeah, before Christmas. And uh, if I can get it, okay, it's, it's, it's just something, it's something that's been a long time coming. So, yes, indeed, there's there's all sorts of exciting stuff to come. And then I take a few couple of days off for Christmas. Take, I'm going to take the 25th and 26th off. And many True Nerd Awards coming up in the next two weeks, too. As I say, the first ever top 20 We've had to do, which is wild, and then all sorts of bits and pieces too. So yes, indeed. Hopefully, you'll find something you like in there. Claire's currently spamming the chat with little cat pictures. If you would wanted to look at little pictures of cats of the community, they are floating around now, which is delightful. But yes, as for us, we're going to go eat some dinner, cuddle some dogs, etc., etc. 
Cuddle a, a dog singular. Yeah. Yes, he loves. Sometimes he's, he's so awake. he's very big and feel he's so he feels so much space when he stretches he feels like more than one dog. But I will say, everybody in chat, say congratulations to John for for the first time ever deciding to actually take two days off at Christmas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because yeah. they're bang holidays. Yeah, it's it's it was a fun it was an odd coincidence that Christmas Day was mm-hmm. on Monday. And because that's like a day you have to travel and see your family and whatnot, I kinda yeah. want an actual proper relaxing day. Because you know well. what? This year, uh this year we've worked it out so that Claire doesn't know about John's secret other dog. Lol. Mm-hmm. Uh well, okay, this year, uh, Ted is staying here with yeah. a dog sitter because yeah. last year he didn't really enjoy having to travel. He and doesn't there's like traveling. People there's Christmas. people he doesn't know. He had to, you know. because the, the homeowner we were staying with, they did not keen on dogs. He had to stay out of the way a little bit. He wasn't well, very happy. Well, he's a downstairs dog anyway. Exactly. And the Christmas was happening upstairs and he was a bit confused. He was a bit so anyway, confused, yeah. He's staying here with a half sitter, which means that we're spending a good portion of the day without the baby. So yeah. then when we get home, we're going to want to focus on him. Exactly. So we'll have a nice, nice, nice day hanging out with Ted. And it also makes it nice and easy for us to uh, to catch up a little bit. Because, yeah, it'll mean there'll be one less video that week. Because there'll be one Starfield, not two. Which means it's a little bit easier for us to get everything ready. So we can, like, you know, just relax a bit over the Christmas period. So, yeah, plenty of stuff to come regardless. All sorts of one-off series, all the rest of it. And, yes, I think especially in uh, less than two weeks from now, the many True Note Awards are the first ever Top what? 20. And I think that there are some controversial rankings <laughs> in that list, shall we say. <laughs> so, uh, yes, hopefully oh, you're dear. looking forward to all of that. But in the meantime, I've been John. I've been Claire. It's been many a, it's been Ted over there as well. It's been many a true nerd. <laughs> and this has been the wonderful Robocop Rogue City, which is on that list. But where? You'll just have to wait and find out. Wait and find out, even. Thank you very much. And have funk. Have funk. Funk. Funk not found. Error.